Get up and dance in your blessing. blessing. Too long, too long you've been struggling. Time to dance in your blessing.
soak me down, soak me down with your blessing, Lord. How are you soak me down, soak me, soak me, Baba, oh. How are you soak me down, soak me, soak me, Baba, oh. How are you soak me down, soak me, soak me, Baba, oh. How are you soak me down, soak me, soak me, Baba, oh. Lord, how are you bless me, and I don't know why you stop. Not just financially, but in my health and even my family. Lord, take me deeper. The laborers of few harvests is right, but I am ready. Make me mal, oh, make me mal, ah, make me mal, ay, ay, ay. Uh, them kind of blessing does make me feel to cry. Oh, ah, ay, ay, ay. This not no sorrow, but just tears of joy. Ah, oh, why you soak me down, soak me, soak me. Morning, neighbor. I think you need to get up and dance in your blessing. Too long, too long you've been struggling. Time to dance in your blessing. Oh, why did it? Why, why, why? Lord, I want you bless me until I tell you so. Lord, I want you bless me until I go to you. I want you to me down, when me down with your blessing, Jesus. I want you to me down, so me down with your blessing, Lord. I want you to me down, so me so me baba, I want you me down, so me so me baba oh. I want you me down, so me so me baba oh. I want you me down, so me so me baba oh. Lord, I want you bless me, and I don't want you stop. Not just financially, but in my health and even my family. Lord, take me deeper in my ministry, 'cause the laborers are few. This is right, but I am ready. Make me mal, oh, make me mal, ah, make me mal, ay, ay, ay. Uh, them kind of blessing does make me feel to cry. Oh, ah, ay, ay, ay. Oh, this not no sorrow, but just tears of joy. Ah, oh, why you soak me down, soak me, soak me, baba, oh. Ah, oh, why you soak me down, soak me, soak me, baba, oh. I'm not dancing by chance. I was dancing while I was struggling. So let me dance in my blessing. Lord, help someone to get up and dance to the healing. Make me mal, oh, make me mal, ah, make me mal, ay, ay, ay. Definitely make me, make me yell, make me scream. Feel the Hi, good morning, Trinidad. Good morning, Tobago. Ah, ay, ay, ay. Oh, hey, good morning, world. How are you today? Just get a joy. Hey, thank you, Foxy. Uh, you just keep on blessing me, okay? It's a new day in the land of the living. Uh, what are you being soaked with? Uh, what sort of blessings are you having today? Uh, north, south, east, west, and central. Uh, good morning, Toya. Uh, just keep on blessing me, Father. Uh, just keep soaking. Someone, somebody today needs it. Somebody today gotta have it. Somebody today is demanding it. Somebody today is reaching out and taking it. So just dance. I mean, if you could dance in uh, for other reasons, why not? Hey, to the baker of all bakers, good morning, Master Baker. And your staff. Queen Mother Cassell, Mother Janet. Good morning, Teacher Anita. Good morning to you. Annie Patsy. Peggy. And of course, uh, Brother Valentino. Good morning to you. Here's hoping you are getting soaked in your blessings today. Trini Albany, good morning. Island Bix, what's up? Kathy and Leon. Claire and Gemma. Lynette. Them 
Miserable Wendell. Uh, Miss Mora, Miss Monripo. The Rosie Lack Dogla boy. Good morning to you. You may not understand the reason why I'm dancing, but me tell you, leave it. Uh, just left my lemma dance. I was dancing while I was struggling. So let me dance in my blessing. Lord help someone to get up and dance to the healing. Make me ball, oh, make me ball, ah, oh, make me ball, ay, ay, ay. Uh, that kind of blessing just make me feel to cry. Make me ball, oh, ah, ay, ay, ay. There's not no sorrow but just tears of joy. Hi, uh, uh, good morning, Maria. Bless me on the land of the soul. Hey, it's a good morning to you. Hey, Savi, good morning, Russell. Good morning to you. Oh, I'll walk with you 90.1 FM. Good morning to you. Good morning, manager. I'm looking for a walk. I'm going to tell you to check the manager. I'm going to tell you to check the manager very early. So somebody now call me and tell me that the manager called me. So I put it in my application to the manager. One time. One time, one time, one time, one time. Blessings, darling. Blessings, blessings, oh. blessings. So another beautiful week again, mm-hmm. you know. And we have to live, we have to laugh, we have to enjoy ourselves, you know. Blessings, blessings to all my work family, mm-hmm. from the Cali family. Yeah, so let me know on the air, you know. I ain't want yes. nothing to happen on the back. <laughs> so I'll go back and tell me when to come for the interview. How about this day? I love you. <laughs> I'm a beautiful one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey guys, I got me some um, bills to handle and then we dive back in on the inside, okay? Mm-hmm. It's an all-inclusive vacation to Jamaica with your music, your culture, and your entertainment. You get a choice of six restaurants, 11 bars, three pools, beach days, day tours to Dunn's River Falls, plus meet and greet with fellow West Indians from USA, Canada, Trinidad, and other places. Also, a private entertainment night with Ronnie McIntosh, Crazy and DJ Madman Maddie, a beach day with more music, six days in Jamaica, your music, your culture, your entertainment from TT, $12,995. August. August 8th or 9th and return August 12th, 13th or 14th. Call Amrals for your Jamaica all-inclusive at 6653383. That's Amrals at 6653383. It's an all-inclusive vacation to Jamaica with your music, your culture, and your entertainment. Tomorrow presents Bueno Kaiso 2024 on Sunday, 28 April 2024 at Garden Jewels, Southern Central Road, New Village Point 14. Featuring an incredible lineup, Abby Bailey, Brian London, Miguel Simon, Pauline Quashi, Tiny, Keon Cupid, Sexy Susie, Tish Official, Juby, Fire Tender, Christopher B, Wendell Eon Morrow, and Wally the Saxman. Sound powered by Chrome Audio and the original Inferno Asylum. Doors open at 6 p.m., showtime at 7 p.m. Early bird tickets are $140 available at Wayne Electronics, Main Road Point 14. Thanks to the Music TT and the live district music don't miss bueno kaiso 2024 see you there live streaming on whack.tv something good gonna happen in this year and i am grateful that i'm being on saturday may 11th it's Eba Music Festival, the ultimate Mother's Day event. Napari Mabol Amphitheatre San Fernando. Come, let's celebrate the divine feminine energy with Empress RJ. Collis Durante, Nisa. 
Stephanie Joseph, Naomi Sinnett, Jaron Nose, Darren Shepard with NLCB Fonclair, and Farmer Nappy. Tickets are $250, available at Cache, Eastgates, Center City, Trin City, Port of Spain, and Gulf City. Java Nation at Food Hall, Piaco Plaza, Sion's Bar, San Fernando, and online at Island E Tickets. Naprima Bowl Box Office, Friday 10th and Saturday 11th May from 10 a.m. Or call Pat at 770-1241. Showtime, 6.30 p.m. Gates open at 5 p.m. An exciting welcome party awaits you. Best Dressed Mom wins two airline tickets to Grenada. Eva Music Festival, Saturday May. May 11th, Napri Mabol Amphitheater, celebrating the divine feminine energy. A tribute to Reno Bayer, a gifted singer, an entertainer, a panis, a Trinbigo cultural export in the provinces of Canada and Orlando, Florida. Representing these twin islands with pride, come relive some memories of this stalwart. Hear his struggles, hear his triumphs, hear his history. Monday the 15th, 8 p.m. on WAC.TV and WAC 90.1 FM, where we honor our cultural icons and stalwarts. Don't miss it. When you want some fun, I bet you can't get your hand to raise. That's why I'm a whoop, whoop. My, I done. Ah, uh, short and sweet. Whoops, whoops. Hey, good morning, Laura. Good morning, Femi. Uh, Ari Perro, good morning to you. Good, hey, strong good morning. Uh, Van Trover, good morning to you. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, hey. Well, it's me, the I, the B. Hey, Wack Reader 91 FM, good morning to you. Hi, blessed morning to you, Tony. Hi, good morning, Sav. How are you this morning? I'm good, I'm good. Outside nice. We mm-hmm. got twice or three times, we got a drizzle of rain. Mm-hmm. So it's cool right now. Mm-hmm. So love and blessing to my Wack family. Everybody live nice. Peace, love, and blessing to you. You have a blessed day. I locked on and there with you, okay? All right, thank you, Sav. Have a beautiful one, would you? It is happening again. The locomotive going on my pain. No, I have to say I love you. Hey, it is happening again. The locomotive going on my pain. No, I got to say I love you. Tell me, I'm jumping up to the ceiling. What a wonderful feeling.
So please take a moment to pray We need it now, we need it now Please take a moment to pray It would be nice, it would be nice to take a moment to pray yeah. We need it now, we need it now Please Like no one seems to know, it seems like things will never cease. Is this the way to go? I see a need of change, oh Lord. We can take a one now, we don't need a one now. Ah, there must be a way now to turn things around now, oh. I'm asking you to please take a moment to pray We need it now, we need it now Please take a moment to pray It would be nice, it would be nice to take a moment to pray yeah. We need it now, we need it now Please Just one moment. That's all. It would be so sweet. Hey, good morning, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take a moment. Rise up, O oh young men of God, yeah. Have done with lesser things. Apply thine heart and mind and soul and strength to serve the King of Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rise up, O oh daughters of Yahweh. His kingdom suffers long. Bring in the day of cross denominational brotherhood and end this cold night of wrong. Cause there's a storm coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, 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 and only the rooted will be standing Aye. His everlasting kindness and a mercy Nuclear arms still in mass 
production. The new world order lurks the background with its evil intention. Cause this is the calm before the storm. Youth and youth be warned. Can't you feel the place so waxing warm, yeah? This is the time people hear. Bridger in the way. Who are theirs to hear? Then let them hear. Blow on. This is the calm before the storm. Youth and youth be warned. Can't you feel the place of waxing warm, yeah? This is the time to be here. Bridger in the way. Who are ears to hear? Let them hear. Well, well. Act two, scene one. There seems to be a unification amongst the major religions as several heads come to one. Has peace finally come down? Or has it come up from the bowels of hell? A scheme of things in which two entities can't gel. One, the born again believer. Two, Israel, the tree of David for the prophets, them to see and clearly tell that. Them see the war it increase, they sign peace treaties, but Revelation say no peace. It's time for them to pay the dues, cause Satan they choose every time they refuse. Good news, situation waxing hotter and hotter, man melt like butter because them can't stand up under the pressure. And Say the strong, you know, them I get throw down because the truth is below the surface. Them roots not long, they wouldn't open their eyes and see how the devil have an imps them in camp around we and open the ear and hear revelation instruction that comes so clear. There is a time to burn and a time to die, a time for your man to laugh and a time for your man to cry. Aye, aye.
Uh, the Magic Man is coming. And good morning to all the taxi drivers on the outside. And the PH drivers, as usual, you know, going to places where the taxis are don't normally go. And the seven-seated drivers, uh, uh, good morning to you. And the, uh, the Max is a PTSC. Uh, good morning to all the construction uh, workers locked on the walk, reading 90.1 FM. The first and, the last. and the sanitary workers and the farmers, good morning to you. Let him hear what the spirit says. Uh, all the security personnel, good morning to you. To all the people working in the various uh, health uh, facilities across the nation, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Samuj. Hey, Scorcher, good morning. Froggy, good morning, sir. Nelly, miserable girl. Good morning to you. Benji, good morning. Uh, to the main man himself, good morning, sir. Hey, Gooch, good morning. And across the border, what's about? Hillary, good morning to you. Hey, Grandpa, good morning.
gotta praise him and be very much grateful and thankful for being alive today and we are about to jump into the uh, international uh, news update headlines. They're gateways to understanding the pulse of our islands. 90.1 FM News Pulse, where the future of news, the future is, of now. news is now. It's time for international news to 10 a.m. on News Pulse 901. In the headlines... Good morning and welcome to WAC Radio International Pulse News. I'm Kerwin Borneo, bringing you the latest headlines from around the globe. Landslides on Indonesia's Sulawesi Island on the weekend kill at least 18 people with rescue efforts, including police sniffer dogs, still ongoing for two missing persons, local authorities said on Monday. The local government also reported that two persons were in a critical condition in hospital. Landslides triggered by high-intensity rains affected two villages in the region of Tana Taraha in the southern district and destroyed four homes. Photos of affected villages provided by the agency showed rescuers shoring through the rubble for survivors with homes flattened and reduced to planks of wood and concrete. Emergency response efforts have been complicated by poor weather conditions and damage to roads into the affected areas, making it difficult for vehicles, including ambulances, to evacuate victims. President Joe Biden warned Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu the U.S. will not take part in a counter-offensive against Iran, an option Netanyahu's war cabinet favors after a mass drone and missile attack on Israeli territory. The threat of open warfare erupting between the Arc Middle East, foes and dragon in the United States put the region on edge, triggering calls for restraint from global powers and Arab nations. Deputy U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Robert Wood called on the Council to condemn Iran's attack. Turkish, Jordanian and Iraqi officials said on Sunday that Iran gave wide notice days before its drone and missile attack on Israel, but U.S. officials said Tehran did not warn Washington and that it was aiming to cause significant damage. Iran launched hundreds of drones and missiles on Saturday in a retaliatory strike after suspected Israeli strike on its embassy compound in Syria. Most of the drones and missiles were down before reaching Israeli territory, though a young girl was critically injured and there were widespread concerns of further escalation. The United States will announce an additional $100 million in aid to respond to the conflict in Sudan as Washington seeks to spur international response ahead of Monday's anniversary of the war. U.S. Agency for International Development Administrator Samantha Power in the statement said the additional funding would go toward emergency food assistance, nutrition support and other life-saving aid. 
Powell is also set to call on the warring parties to stop hindering humanitarian access and participate in good faith negotiations to reach a ceasefire in order to prevent famine and further suffering, according to the statement. The man who went on a stabbing rampage in a Sydney shopping centre appears to have targeted women. 40-year-old Joel Kuchi sent the crowded Westfield Bundy Junction complex into panic on Saturday when he began stabbing people with a long blade. Five of the six persons who died were women. Several others, including a baby, were injured. Four persons who were injured during the rampage have since been discharged from hospital. Another eight continue to receive care in conditions ranging from serious to stable. An Apple's smartphone shipments dropped about 10% in the first quarter of 2024, hurt by intensifying competition by Android smartphone makers aiming for the top spot, data from research firm IDC showed on Sunday. Global smartphone shipments increased 7.8% to 289.4 million units during January-March, with Samsung at a 20.8% market share, clinching the top phone maker spot from Apple. That's all for now. Thank you for joining us on Walk Radio International Pulse News. I'm Kerwin Borneo. Good morning. Hey, Trinbago music lover. Trinbago. Music Never miss a beat with Wack 90.1 FM on YouTube again. Whether you're catching up on a live stream you missed or revisiting a show that touched your heart, experience music anytime, anywhere. Stay updated always. Don't miss out. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay ahead with notifications on new streams, shows, and exclusive content. Be more than just a listener. Your views, likes, and comments do more than connect us. Subscribe now. Subscribe now. Hit the bell. Hit Your bell. next favorite show is waiting for you on WAP 90.1 FM on YouTube. And of course, Lake Asphalt says it's a sweet 16th. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 the Lake Asphalt Sports Club presents a bedrock sweet 16 in full bloom. It's on Sunday the 5th of May from 4 in the p.m. until 11 in the p.m. at the Scenic Lake Asphalt Administration Grounds in La Brea. La Brea. Yes, get your limited edition uh, bloom tickets for only $1,000 while stock lasts. Available at, at Athletes. That will be by the park, uh -huh. Papi's Water Hold in San Fernando, uh, the Teacher's Restaurants and Bar, uh, Soka Island Restaurant and Bar in Point Fortin, and also online at islandetickets.com. Hey, for more information, you call 292-0222. It's Bedrock Sweet 16. The United States is consistently ranked among the best internationally for its competitiveness. Are you planning to start a new business or branch of your business in New York? Attend our Chamber Coalition's five-week webinar series, Small Business Sense Bootcamp. We provide education and business preparation for small business owners and startups. Learn the basics of business planning, how to finance your business, business credit, marketing, and social media strategies. Small business solutions, legal, tax, accounting, banking, and insurance, and how to do business within New York City, New York State, and corporations. Register at startupsbootcamp.eventbrite.com. Get ready for an electrifying night with Connector's Music at Connector 32 on Sunday, May 5th, 2024 at Twilight Family Restaurant and Bar in Scarborough. Celebrate 32 sensational years with Connector and the band Impact. Featuring show-stopping performances from the likes of Preacher Barnett Henry, Marco Mefifi, Sandy and more. Experience the magic of music with top-notch artists DJ Double Impact and DJ Jackie. And the vibrant energy of MC Shane Supal. Doors open at 3 p.m. The musical extravaganza kicks off at 4.30 p.m. Don't miss this unforgettable evening where melodies come alive. Be part of the musical journey with Connector 32. Twilight Family Restaurant and Bar, Scarborough, May 5th, 2024.
The Anglican Church in the Diocese of Trinidad and Tobago, St. Barnabas Parish presents its B-I-N-G-O, Bingo, Saturday, April 20th, 2024 at the Pleasantville Community Center, Pleasantville. Doors open at 2 p.m., game start at 3. Tickets are only $100 with two bingo cards. There are nine games, then blackout. Lots of prizes to be won. Refreshments on sale and extra cards are 3 for $20. Call 742-0433 or 770-4258 for tickets. Tickets are also available at the Pleasantville Supermarket and Pharmacy. Play to win, but enjoy the fun. I like the play to win part. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me make sure you have your microphone. So let me hear your microphone. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Sue. Welcome. Nice. Welcome. Welcome, you guys, uh, to the series of WAC Radio uh, 90.1 FM. And, of course, uh, we're speaking um, B-I-N-G-O. Yes. Lots of go. money. Lots of money. Yes. Lots of money. Uh, Sweetie Pie, do you want to come a bit closer to the microphone for me, though? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something kind of... Uh, I don't yes. Be, I don't want to say i cheating here, girl. That. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, you are? I'm June Thompson June? from St. Barnabas Parish. Mm-hmm. I'm Raymond Jordan from St. Barnabas, from the parish of St. Barnabas, Pleasantville. Okay, well, okay, so, okay, uh, okay. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So, uh, speak to me about uh, what your, what the activities that you're having. Yes, well, um, this is one of our other activity. We have had many from since 2016 mm -hmm. to now. We have been raising funds to build a rectory for our church. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone is aware what a rectory is. It's, mm -hmm. And who do, do not know, it's a building for housing a priest. Mm -hmm. Because you know they are not um, paid and they, when they come to a church, we have to provide accommodation. So this is what we are doing because we never had one in our parish. So we are in that process. So we are once again and this is a pro uh, project that is being built on fundraising. Mm -hmm. So this is an mm -hmm. additional fundraising this year. And as I say, the bingo is part of it. Uh, okay, so the bingo is part of it. Mm -hmm. And what role do you play? Um, well, we, this is not the first time we are here asking for the support of the public, mm -hmm. you know, pertaining to this project. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we had started, as Ms. Thompson said, in 2016, and we, we, were, we were faced a lot of challenges, COVID, and a lot of challenges that set us back from this project. And first of all, we want to be very thankful for all those who have supported us up to now with this project, bringing us to the stage where it is, where we're almost at a complete stage. You know, and um, as Ms. Thompson said, this project was done wholly and solely on fundraising events. So this bingo is one of the events that we depend on to help us to take us to a certain level in this project where we almost Com the project is almost completed, you know, and um, this, this bingo will take place at the Pleasantville Community Centre on the 20th of April. You know, you can have tickets from, you can call 77 North, 4258 or 742-0433. Yeah. You can also go to the office on Thursdays, on Tuesdays, between, three, between 9 and 3 p.m. Okay, the office is open at that time, so you'll be able to access your tickets. And even say if you don't have a ticket, you can still make yourself present on the day of the bingo, mm -hmm. and you will be able to still be part of the event. Yeah? Of the event. Of the uh, event. You, you mind giving me uh, those numbers again, please? 77 North, mm -hmm. 4258, mm -hmm. 742-0433, and you can also call the office at 22 North 7613. You can actually visit the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays mm -hmm. between 9 and 3 p.m. and you will have your tickets, you know. Okay. And we look forward mm -hmm. for the public support on this because, you know. Yeah, so you guys have been doing that for uh, the past couple of years, two yeah, years, yeah. Um, generating funds to, mm -hmm. to, 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 for a worthy cause. For the rectory. For the yes. rectory. To house, to house our the, the, the priest that mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. is attending to that particular mm -hmm. parish, you know? Because so rectory is nothing new, you know? that is something that I want all the time, but not just all churches have it. Right. So we right. are trying for the first time to... Right, erect one, to have know, one, yeah. Yes. And we're very thankful for the people who contribute, and we want mm -hmm. them to let them know 
besides them contributing to the red tree, mm -hmm. there's also, also contributing to the building of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Outside of, of, of the bingo, do you all have any other um, fundraising events? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Actually, we have a... a um, we have the um, what we call an October to Remember. That is an annual event. Mm -hmm. It's an a event we try to host in big places like Naprima Bowl. Mm -hmm. that, that is one of our annual events for the very building, mm -hmm. for the rectory. Mm -hmm. So that is in October. And we call it October to Remember. It will be the fifth one. Okay, number five. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, October yes. to remember. Yes. People, get ready. Get mm -hmm. ready. Yes, we're coming. <laughs> the train is coming. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, October to, to remember. remember. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, okay, so we have the, the bingo. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. October to remember. Yes. Sorry. It's coming up. Right. What is happening um, to the parish and... and, and and the, 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 the buildings and what, what do you guys do uh, during point A and point B? In between that, yeah. you said? Mm -hmm. Well, we mm -hmm. have small, small events. Small events, yeah. Yes, That's like what I was, I was heading looking to. For. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have mm -hmm. a, um, a Mother's Day package right, coming up. Right, right. Um, we have that. And we try little um, things like selling cup of tea and okay. a little cake on a Sunday morning too to all all in in you know towards that same project and this is how we are going right, right. so guys uh, so we're working very hard yeah I, I, that's <laughs> what I'm saying I, I mean um, when you're having projects of, of, of this particular nature mm -hmm. uh, you really can't rest you know no. Th that's correct you know that's you can for the time people stop hearing about you they start forgetting yes that's right. you mm -hmm. know forgetting mm -hmm. about you you know so you have to keep keep um yeah yeah yes. keep trudging and keep knocking and mm -hmm. you know correct. and, and it, it's a beautiful thing though it's a beautiful mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. um that you all are doing that you know in your parish mm -hmm. um you know when you started up and you said that um the the, the, the priest and they do not earn a salary i went like mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they do voluntary work we give them a little a stipend mm -hmm. you know um, ga gas for the car and that sort of thing but we have to um, provide accommodation okay beautiful yes. and that you know renting is not oh cheap. no 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 <laughs> build your own best to have your well, own that is why we are going the way we are because mm -hmm. I said we never had a building like that right yeah. so that will I mean well right now we are working towards a small loan because mm -hmm. we had in spite of all the fundraisers, we still had to take a, a loan. Mm -hmm. So we're in a position right now where we are paying rent and paying a loan. So it is not an easy task. So you people understand when I say that the law's work is not easy. That's or, or correct. I normally tell people it is not easy, mm -hmm. um, as other people make you believe. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you just say yes, mm -hmm. and, it's, yeah. and it's just that. It's mm -hmm. a lot of hard work. Yes. Yeah? And a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Another challenge. Yeah, because yes. you're doing this towards that, and so the enemy is going to keep saying no. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because he sees down the road, he sees what's going to happen. Yes. So his job is to create um, obstacles Schools and and, and, push it up yeah. and test you regularly yes. Yes. to see if your heart is in the right place. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yes. And the thing yeah. about it is that the minute they start to do something good or right, yeah. the challenges always increase. Yeah. Of course. If it's not, doing so, if it's not something constructive, mm -hmm. you, you don't get you don't get that sort of challenge. No, and the closer you get, the harder it get. Yes. You mean? For you. Yes. Yeah. So yes. Yeah? Because mm -hmm. we are just five percent away from completion. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't like to know mm. the problems that have mm. occurred. <laughs> 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 but as you say, you have to be strong. Yeah, you have. It, it, and where there's a beginning, there will be an, an end. end. Mm -hmm. And God never leave us or forsake us. No, no, so no. So we're moving on. Hey, guys, thank you guys so much for gracing us with your presence uh, this morning. I wish you all the very thank best you. Thank um, you. going forward. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe one time you might, I don't know, maybe. You might see a face like this. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> just maybe. <laughs> yes. All things are possible. Yeah? Yes, yes. We love right? to have you when, uh, when yeah. we are opening. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> which which we, I, I know will be very soon. Very soon. Yes. I, I, I know it's going to be very soon just yes. as well. We yeah? claim that in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, we do. We do. We claim it. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. ours. It's mine. We want it. Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so we give thanks to what we just teaching for having mm -hmm. us. And yes. We pray that this will be very effective. Thank yes. you. I have no doubt about it, guys. Yes. No doubt about and, it. And uh, as I say, um, you would have heard, we've been here many, many times mm -hmm. because WAC has been very good to us, and yeah. we want to thank them for their support mm -hmm. and helping us to, um, you know, 
send the message out to persons outside. So it's and thank you very much for having us well, this thank morning. Thank you for, for being here this morning. Yes, thank, thank you so much, you. guys. Have a beautiful one. Same and to you too, man. May they be blessed, sir. Yes. Yeah, man. And be safe and have a good day. The, yes. Anglican, yes. the Anglican Church in the Diocese of Trinidad and Tobago, St. Barnabas Parish presents its B-I-N-G-O, Bingo, Saturday, April 20th, 2024, at the Pleasantville Community Center, Pleasantville. Doors open at 2 p.m. Game start at 3 Three. Tickets are only $100 with two bingo cards. There are nine games, then blackout. Lots of prizes to be won. Refreshments on sale and extra cards are three for $20. Call 742-0433 or 770-4258 for tickets. Tickets are also available at the Pleasantville Supermarket and Pharmacy. Play to win, but enjoy the fun. Keep yourself so untidy as you wake in the morning, Melda. Before you wash your face, you start kneading your flower. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. No, Melda, you mustn't pay. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Yes, darling, it must prevail. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. bed is of interest, then you throw away your last night business. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Don't bang, don't stop at all. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Come on up, Kim Ka. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Well, Melda, you mustn't be. Get your clothes ready You give your teeth a good brushing And then you wash your face And you something, something Wash your hands and clean your fingernails Now, Melda, you mustn't be Wash your hands and clean your fingernails Kimmy Nam, Kimmy Nam, Kim Kama Wash your hands and clean your fingernails Ah, Tung Pang, don't stop at all Kitchen and with pride and joy you can start your cooking. You'll feel much cleaner all over. Place your hands on your Julia Caesar. Wash, Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Ah, don't stop at all. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Melda, you mustn't be. Wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one hard working people. Never give up in our life. Until you achieve everything you're aiming for. Champion, me keep moving on. Champion, me keep moving on. Go on, keep moving on. Set your goals, them and take them on. We all, we keep moving on. Champion, me keep moving on. Go on. Go on, them na know me story though Champion, me keep moving on Champion, me keep moving on Go on, keep moving on Set your goals, them and take them on We are, we keep moving on Champion, me keep moving on Go on, go on Them na know me story though them no know how hard you fight up to make it in a life, so make them a hype up Bad minded, them waste for light up You too bright, you want me for die though Tell a boy, 
can't stop me shine up I want me fight and that them I like to hey, Tell them say you no like who Me never like you, you fi die to Sing oh sing oh Me have to try and take off Sweat and tears racing on my jaw Hustle hard for the sauce I have to make your mother proud before she pass Feel like this a play thing Boy chill out yourself is a scare film Tell them give me my ratings Make it in a life and that at the EM we done We keep moving on Champion we keep moving on Go hard Keep moving on Set your goals them and take them on We all We keep moving on Champion we keep moving on Go hard Go hard Them no know me story though Champion We keep moving on Champion we keep moving on Go hard Keep moving on, set your goals, the man take them on. We all, we keep moving on, champion. We keep moving on, go on, go on. Them no know me story though. Anything me achieve in a life, get it from working hard. Anytime them come with a hype, we never take them on. Free up, can't give up, can't slow, can't stop. Good to be back. Revenge up, bottom of the park, aiming to the top When you see me on the road, do not ask your best I feel work hard, can't do not the less than Hustling hard, try do your best man I feel make it out, yes, that me stress man Take serious with the test man See me, see me too, fear me make strong Sing it out, release this chest man Champions out here in action
Tell me how you do Africa. They found the jewels are hidden in the earth. And now that I want, I can't buy a shirt. I hope that the air is still mine to breathe. Ain't I your brother? You used to believe. Hello, 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 Africa. Jambo. them down so we was some on the stage down the down the down the down put them away now on the stage yo mr marshall ben jai what you say good hey. faith now this is what the benjamin said there's too much killing going on come men gone astray yeah hold faith now this is what the benjamin said there's too much killing going on now come men gone astray them gone men gone astray
That's another story. I flat on the ground on my belly. I'm not resisting why you're pressing on me. If 46 send an angel to help me. If 46, I'm dying already. If 46, what did I do to this man? If 46, that's my only question. Oh mama, there's a knee on my body. Oh mama, it's the life that you gave me. Oh mama, your son is dying. Oh, mama, can you hear me crying? I can't, can't breathe. Take your knee off my neck. Please help your brother. I, I can't, can't breathe. Take your knee off my neck. I can't take the pressure. I, I can't, can't breathe. breathe. Take your knee off my neck. Oh, help me, mama. I, I can't, can't breathe. breathe. Take your knee off my neck. I can't stand the pressure. Shouting, please stop, but you're not listening. No expression on your face, you're kneeling. On my neck and my life is fading. A 46. Are you a man without mercy? A 46. Your hand cuffed me already. A 46. I beg for some water. A 46. Not a drop or an answer. Oh, mama. There's a knee on my body. Oh, mama. It's the life that you gave me. Oh, mama. Your son is dying. Oh, mama. Can you hear me crying? I can't breathe. 
Take your knee off me now. Please help me, mama. I can't breathe. Take your knee off me now. I can't stand the pressure. I can't breathe. Take your knee off me now. Oh, help your brother. I can't breathe. Take your knee oh, off me now. I can't take the pressure. Killing me is your main intention. Cause in your mind I'm less than human. Four to one just killing me slowly. Eight minutes, 46 seconds. Help me. Please help your brother. I can't breathe. Take your knee off me now. I can't take the pressure. I can't breathe. Take your knee off me now. Oh, help me, mama. I can't breathe. Take your knee off me now. I can't stand the pressure. I tell me, tell me, tell me what's your intention to take the life. To take the life of you take the life of a black man. I can't breathe. Take your knee off my My mama's calling to me. I can't breathe. No, no, no. It's not the way it should be. I can't breathe. A change must come. A change must come. I can't breathe. A change must come. Our brothers. Uh, we're looking for a particular change. It says uh, it must come. Hey, Carol Coombs, good morning to you. Hey, Carol out there in uh, La Romaine, good morning. A change must come. Uh, looking for a particular change to come our way. Mm, can't breathe. They too bad mouth. Way too more than they too bad mouth Far too more than I feel we have a room on mill Yeah, yeah Somewhere inside train bingo Yeah, yeah And every hour it does spill Lies of truth and in you and know They know your history from since you're born Your whole ancestry and who get on Won't even tell me about a rape Things get so smelly, so in the state They say how come blood and smoke weed They too bad mouth Like no ganja they assume Much too more And how they find a bag of seed They too bad mouth Fire window yes yeah, she rules In battles of this special life, yeah, yeah. for character assassination, none but them is the first prize. They target all worry to get him down. Say how he picked me, was shooting guns, was up Kamuto, yes, on the range. But Daniel, they didn't know, I find that thing. How come now they could recognize? Hey, too bad, no. Forest should run from the side. But when you pull the dead but time From the two the dark and high Far to move it They do bad mouth Much to move it out When they mouth spout They was a trap They do bad mouth Way to move it out Running all about Your good name to hand
cross up on the road. The Shannon band feel like way. They say they find she body and pass. Remove she kidney, liver and heart. Some say was Obia, some say was Rave. And all the leader, he done escape. Some say it's human trafficking. Say too bad, boss. It wasn't one man but a girl. It's an organ transplant wing. Too bad, boss. And now all of them should have. Definitely just too bad mouth, too move along. Yeah, 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 hear the words coming out of their mouth. We ain't trendy like a rape. Yeah, yeah. That is how newspapers sell. Yeah, yeah. The bomb and mirror take the cake. Jack Warner sunshine as well. They say you will see great factor in. Cause half that whole see they teeth from till. How they get their money, they cannot tell. But like their belly, their pockets swell. They say, don't talk about the cabal. They too bad, boss. They could line with Donald Trump. Much to go there. Tourism and money land. They too bad, boss. How in foreign banks they don't. Much to go there. They too bad, boss. Much to go there. Much to move along. Bad mouth people. Way, 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 way to move along. Way, 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 way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, now, boy. Mm-hmm. Way to move along. Day to bad mouth. Hey, that's a trini for you. <laughs> uh, gotta take care of some bills and then we dive back in on the inside, okay, guys? Bad mouth people. I feel we have a room and mill. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere inside Trade Bingo. Yeah. Hey, Walk Radio 90.1 FM, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Tony. Hi, what good. are you doing here today? <laughs> <laughs> this is upstate Leroy. Hey, Leroy, I what's up, brother? I haven't heard that word move along in years. <laughs> 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 oh my god, all the children <laughs> Move along. I hear that whole in the years. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Anyhow, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Everything is good, my brother. Everything is blue, beautiful, blessed. Great, great, yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Well, you keep, you mm-hmm. keep, up, keep up the good work. Yeah, keep up the good work. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, take care. Have Bless. a good day. Yeah, you too. Right. Politician, yeah, yeah. In battles of this special life, yeah, yeah. For character assassination, none but them is the first prize. They target all worry to get him down. Say how he picked me, was shooting guns, was up Kamuto, yes, on the range. But then they didn't know, I find that thing. How come now they could recognize? Gossip on the road. The 
shall not bad be like way. They say they find she body and parts. Remove she kidney, liver and heart. Some say was Obia, some say was rape. And all the leader, he done escape. Some say it's human trafficking. Say to bad mouths. It wasn't one man but a girl. It's an organ transplant wing. Say to bad mouths. And now all of them should have. Far to move it out. Say to bad mouths. Much to move it out. They too bad more, they too move along. Huh? Hey Patricia, good morning to ya. Yes. Mm-hmm. Join Supat and friends, Sharon and Alicia, on a return trip to Ghana from the 13th to the 22nd of November 2024. The tour will cover three regions, Accra, the capital and surroundings, Kumasi, the capital city of Ashanti region, Aslan Manso, the Slave River Last Bath, Elmina, Cape Coast, Door of No Return and Impact during the slave trade. Let's meet up on tour again. Call Supat 240-472-2140 for occupancy rates and details. Limited space is available. Ghana, we are coming back. And of course, the 98 uh, hundred batch uh, who enlisted into the Trinidad and Tobago uh, Police Service on the 18th of April uh, 1977 will be celebrating their 47th uh, year of policing experience. Yes, retired members and their families are invited to attend a church service and to give thanks and to celebrate uh, this achievement. On Sunday, the 14th of April, 10 a.m. at the St. Bernard No. 1 Independence Baptist Church at 5 Grand Road, Coquille Village in San Fernando. Hey, Batch, uh, Pastor Lester Huggins of the Church of Christ in Miami will officiate this particular service. For more information, you call 724 604 Six one. That's seven two four six zero six one. Ayo. It was nice, so we're doing it twice. Join us for the WAC Meet and Greet in Ocala. We're celebrating the 20th anniversary of WAC 90.1 FM at Myron Oaks Community Center in Ocala. On Saturday, June 15th, the Father's Day weekend from 6 p.m., 
Dress code is white with a touch of red. Come and meet Mr. Feely. The Sea of Rock Radio, your favorite radio station. You make the wrong choice. That's for singers with them Music for dancing by DJ Richard C of Rock Radio. All inclusive tickets, singles $40, couples $75. Book your ticket for the Wack Meet and Greet now. Call Shortman at 813 263 2127 or Dance a Boy at 917 753 3123. Get discount and hotel accommodation. Call 352 261 0024. Mention WAC 90.1F. It was nice, so we doing it twice. Hello, Mr. Feely. You're locked on to WAC 90.1 FM with Tony D. better believe it. that's all that they want to do they call them whatever your whatever name hey but you got to do what you got to do for all the reasons you got to do it uh, try not to make too much of wrong decisions you know uh, just try hey jones scott good morning to you i know good morning Hey, Fishy, good morning. Uh, to the Queen of Tisha, good morning, Babs. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, don't mind them, don't mind them. It's a 
new music expression. Shake what you got. Uh, hey, good morning, uh, Evelyn. Good morning, Mr. Carl Matthews. Uh, good morning to the Bane song there in Ari Parra.
come to stay. One love, one love. It would be happiness to see such sweet unity. One love, everybody now. I'm a 
I go and body. You ain't see the way the streets in Trinbay go, I get bloody. Shots not ringing out here, dog. My daughter trying to study. And on news before news, it's two more dead bodies. Things are heading down, he look like he don't intend to stop. Telling now me. my son no short to come back if I send him to the shop. There was another pandemic, go the body set my trap. Cause every other get a huge shot. For real. Sometimes I feel like the new music bring badness back in style. Place full of fully dance, man, woman, and child. I wonder if it's cause the people that now hear us from a while. The whole country I get fired, but we fed up on the boom, fed up on the bang, fed up on the we, war, we, we fed up on the gangs, fed up on the violence, time in fist up, mm-hmm. time. I mean, like, I have to do something about this thing, you know. Somebody has to bring back the balance, you know, eh? Yo, Sash, okay. Why go on, body? You ain't see the way the streets in Trinbay go, I get bloody. Shots not ringing out here, dog. My daughter trying to study. And on news before news, it's two more dead bodies. Things are heading down. He look like he don't intend to stop. Telling now me. my son no short to come back if I send him to the shop. There was another pandemic on the body, set my trap. Cause every other get a huge shot. For real. Sometimes I feel like the new music bring badness back in style. Place full of fully dance, man, woman, and child. I wonder if it's cause the people that now hear us from a while. The whole country I get fired, but we fed up. Fed up on the boom, fed up on the bang, fed up on the war, fed up on the gangs, fed up on the violence, time in fist up, time to bring the country back. Fed up on the boom, fed up on the bang, fed up on the war, fed up on the gangs, fed up on the violence, time in fist up, time to bring the country back. Hey, you see the news last night, Sash King, man, a ball. Hold on, eh? I feel like I didn't see it to the call. Hold on! Brothers, when I see two great ones call me to what do I owe the honors? Ziggy boy be trying to reach them, use them on the corners. Them who giving up the ghost, calling themselves what kind of numbers. No fix them in the streets, belly balling out the younger. Till somebody asks them, what team you rocking under? And them youths lost, and they started when they small. Only watch vibe now, dog, like King David trying to call. Yo, David, go far right when me know true, but bridge, you know, telling me shots busting up by you. Dan, and up to now, me near a single siren. Yo, switch the video there, and I call with Ziggy and King. Serious? Oh, brother, it's like a meeting call to order. Oh, David, now Man, we just happen to link each other. Well, I don't feel that this just happened. I think now is the time for us to free the youth and mind. Cause we fed up the boom, fed up the bang, fed up the warring, fed up the gangs, fed up the violence. Time if we stop, time we bring the country back. I mean, like, I have to do something about this thing. You know? Somebody has to bring back the balance, you know, eh? Yo, Sash, okay. Why go on, body? You ain't see the way the streets in Trinbay go, I get bloody. Shots not ringing out here, dog. My daughter trying to study. And on news before news, it's two more dead bodies. Things are heading down. He look like he don't intend to stop. Telling now me. my son no short to come back if I send him to the shop. There was another pandemic on the body, set my trap. Cause every other get a huge shot. For real. Sometimes I feel like the new music bring badness back in style. Place full of fully dance, man, woman, and child. I wonder if it's cause the people that now hear us from a while. The whole country I get fired, but we fed up. Fed up on the boom, fed up on the bang, fed up on the war, fed up on the gangs, fed up on the violence, time in fist up, time to bring the country back. Fed up on the boom, fed up on the bang, fed up on the war, fed up on the gangs, fed up on the violence, time in fist up, time to bring the country back. Hey, you see the news last night, Sash King, man, a ball. Hold on, eh? I feel like I didn't see it to the call. Hold on! Brothers, well, I see two great ones call me. To what do I owe the honors? Ziggy boy, we trying to reach them, use them on the corners. Them who giving up the ghost, calling themselves what kind of numbers. No fix them in the streets, belly balling out the younger. Till somebody asks them, what team you rocking under? And them youths lost, and they started when they small. Only watch vibes now, dog, like King David trying to call. Yo, David, go far right when me know true. But bridge, you know, telling me shots busting up by you. Dan, and up to now, me near a single siren. Yo, swing to link each other. Well, I don't feel that this just happened. I think now is the time for us to free the youth them mind. Can we fed up? Fed up on the boom, fed up on the bang, fed up on the warring, fed up on the gangs, fed up on the violence, time it fits up, time to bring the country back. Fed up on the boom, fed up on the bang, fed up on the warring, fed up on the gangs, fed up on the violence, time it fits up, warlord, time to bring the country back. Long time was moral, bitch and upscotch, now it's only gunshots everywhere a hot spot. The music was top notch, now it's only boss clock, so we need to bring the for the madness to stop. Don't want them already, but things are get dread. And now we need to show the youths how to love one another. Too much can walk your run violent time in this time. 
book out. The prophet on the line. Bobo. King Warrelly going on in this country. Who is that? Like all them new song making gun factory. <laughs> Last night they run in a house and kill tree. I know a Utah call with David Sash and Ziggy. You we know saying it's time cause the youth and them blind. And How many more bodies the police must find? And who stands to benefit the most of a crime? Yes. Press down to the six, seven and the nine. So we fed up on the boom. Fed up on the bang bang. Fed up on the war in. Fed up on the guns. Fed up on the violence. Time if we stop. Time if we bring the country back. Fed up on the boom. Fed up on the bang. Fed up on the bang. Fed up, fed up, fed up. Uh, time to bring this country. Uh, this beautiful nation of Trinidad and Tobago, huh? Time to pull it back, you know, guys. Mm-hmm. Hey, you gotta take me a short break and then we dive back in on the inside, yeah? of music, passion, and community like never before. Fonclair presents the Fonclair Forever family. Naparima Bowl, San Fernando, April 27th, 2024, 6 p.m. Showcasing the excited Gabrielite Steel Orchestra and Peville Panjama. Fonclair Juniors, Fusion Steel, and the one and only Fonclair. <laughs> performers, the Fontlair Golden Steel and San Fernando West Secondary. Get your tickets now at Fontlair Enterprises Lotto Center and Gift Shop. For more information, call 377-3185 or 610-8852. Fontlair presents the Fontlair Forever family. The League Asphalt Sports Club presents a Bedrock Suite 16th in full bloom. It's on Sunday, the 5th of May, from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Scenic Lake Asphalt Administration Grounds in La Bray. Yep, get your limited limited edition bloom tickets for only $1,000 while stock lasts. Available at Athlete San Fernando, Papi's Water Hole, San Fernando, Hey, the Cheetah's Restaurant and Bar, and also uh, Suka Island Restaurant and Bar in Point Fortin. Yep, yep. Or you can also uh, get your tickets at islandetickets.com. For more information, you call 686-4101 or 292-0222. In the heart of our community, the rhythm of compassion echoes strong. This April 26th at 7 p.m., we invite you to experience I Am My Brother's Keeper, a concert with a cause, live on WAC.TV. Karina Shea, Chucky, Trinidad Rio, Lady Gypsy, Lady Adana, Pharaoh, and many, many more. They are not just hitting the stage, they are standing shoulder to shoulder with Ronelza Joel Peters and her family. Every contribution, every view, every share makes a difference. Act now, spread the word, and let's show that together we embody the spirit of I Am My Brother's Keeper. April 26, 7 p.m. Be part of this extraordinary night. TV. be there, be the change. We are our brother's keeper. You're locked on to WAC 90.1 FM with Tony D.
Do 
have to do. But anytime you don't hear, it's a Spanish replacing you. Aha, I don't play the man. If you know what to hear, it's a Spanish in the van. Mm-hmm. Every man on the pool, from your slip and your slide, it's a Spanish on the road. Uh-huh. No excuse on the road, if you don't want to be on the road.
Back with the 90.1 from uh, Good Morning. Good morning, Mr. Tony. What is this going on in the story? <laughs> Why can I have mad? This is going on. I'm getting ready to go on, but like I, I, I'm sick here, boy. Take a wine before you go. Take a what wine before you go. <laughs> music, 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 Mr. Tony. <laughs> Mr. Tony, behave yourself for me, please. Take a wine, take a wine. Take a wine by the time. <laughs> Hey Tony, you have a day, you have a day Tony, you have a thunder come on. Oh man, blessings. I like a, I like a, I feel like an umbrella underneath. Eh, 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 eh. Full time brother, enjoy it. Yeah man, blessings man, love. Plan cause he come, come back and give me jam like you are To turn the pressure up, but I do, do why you like the boss because Like you went by a bartender, and you take two shots of liquor I don't know how you're doing, but oh gosh, feel it
definitely don't need no company taking a mental day. Hey, walk with the 90 point bonus from good morning. A pleasant, 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 good morning. Pleasant, good morning. <laughs> I just call it to say thank you for the wonderful music this morning. Mm -hmm. And on behalf of the children, them from a Damien show, I would like to tell Damien thanks, thanks very much. Mm -hmm. We enjoy the program. Mm hmm. Right. Everybody was excellent. Boy, if he had was to give prices in first, second, and third, everybody began first price. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, don't know how it was. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really nice. For those who didn't see it, don't worry. Go up on YouTube, you'll find it. Oh. Uh, advertising for Damien. One time. Go up on YouTube, and you'll find it. One time. And you'll see all the children perform nice. One time. We so everybody who have a day today, happy birthday, Damien. Happy birthday again. Happy, happy birthday. From the whole of the Missouri crew, happy birthday to my sister, who is the following day. Mm -hmm. right? And to everybody else who have a birthday, all enjoy all the days, all the day. Enjoy to the fullest. Nice. Many more to come later. Bye-bye. Yeah, blessings. Reach home safe, don't get wet. Mm, will do. Hey, we have a 12 major news cast uh, coming up. Uh, and for that, you know, the fireman himself, Mr. David Matthews. Hey, walk good night, Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Tony. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, boy, because you see rain fall, you are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Please and tango for that reason. What tango that tango, boy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, uh, it was terrible. Mm, it was really, really. We yes, so tried days. calling to talk to Mr. Um, Philip, but I couldn't get through. Oh, okay. Time was kind of busy. Mm -hmm. All right, and the children and them went very good. I see them, but I hear them. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice, man. I wish all the young people and all the children could have been that. Things would have been different. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, God is good. God will work out something, right? All the time. Anyway, you save Johnny home. Don't get wet, eh? Because he cool out. Yes, girl, I've been battling one for myself, you know. I know, I know how it is. I know mm -hmm. how it is. But look, men don't get it cold, so just take some time. To... That's all? Yes, that's all. That's all. That's all that there is to it. <laughs> that's all that. <laughs> all right, <laughs> All right, you have a good day. You have a beautiful one. Bye bye. 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 So fish has no care in myself, that's when you touch down. And when you in Trini, go carry me and watch this kind of type is in action. Oh gosh, I say, I'm so happy that I'm from the Swan Island. This is where the sleep and come from. We got lots of tourist attractions, so come one day. And if you come on tiny part, I'm in a session. Choosing this destination was the best decision. Sweet TNT, go happy. Tribute to Reno Bayer, a gifted singer, an entertainer, a panis, a Trinbigo cultural export in the provinces of Canada and Orlando, Florida. 
representing these twin islands with pride. Come relive some memories of this stalwart. Hear his struggles, hear his triumphs, hear his history. Monday the 15th, 8 p.m. on WAC.TV and WAC 90.1 FM, where we honor our cultural icons and stalwarts. Don't miss it. When you want some fun, I bet you can get your hand to raise. And of course, uh, the Lake Asphalt Sports Club presents uh, Bedrock Sweet 16 in full bloom. It's on Sunday the 5th of May from 4 in the p.m. to 11 in the p.m. at the Scenic Lake Asphalt Administration Grounds in La Bray. Hey, get your lim- limited edition bloom tickets for only $1,000 while stock lasts. They are available at Atli San Fernando, Papi's Waterhole San Fernando, uh, the Teacher. Uh, Cheetah's Restaurant and Bar, Soka Island Restaurant and Bar Point 14, and also online at uh, islandseticket.com. For more information, call uh, 686 4101 or 292 0222. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow presents. Bueno Kaiso 2024 on Sunday 28 April 2024 at Garden Jewels Southern Central Road New Village Point 14 featuring an incredible lineup Abivele, Brian London, Miguel Simon, Pauline Kwashi, Tiny Keon Cupid, Sexy Susie Tish Official, Juby, Fire Tender, Christopher B, Wendell Eon Morrow and Wally the Saxman. Sound powered by Chrome Audio and the original Inferno Asylum. Doors open at 6 p.m. Showtime at 7 p.m. Early bird tickets are $140 available at Wayne Electronics Main Road Point 14. Thanks to the Music TT and the Live District Music. Don't miss Bueno Kaiso 2024. See you there. Live streaming on WAC.TV. CK 90.1 FM. This is News Pulse 901 to 12 noon. In the headlines. NWRHS CEO promises transparency in investigation into babies' deaths. Ramsaran Dairy Products threatens lawsuit over forex scarcity. Regionally, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister praises Sandals for huge help during economic decline. And internationally, Bird flu spreading to more farm animals in the U.S. With the news in detail to 12 noon, I'm Kerwin Borne. Good afternoon and welcome to WAC Pulse Major Newscast. Northwest Regional Health Authority CEO Anthony Blake is promising full transparency and disclosure to the parents of the babies who died at the Port of Spain General Hospital after an outbreak of a bacterial infection at the neonatal intensive care unit. Speaking before he received the pre-action protocol letters sent by the attorneys for the baby's families, Blake maintained he was committed to being honest and truthful throughout the investigation. He said Caribbean Industrial Research Institute and the Pan American Health Organization have been approached for help in investigating the deaths. Describing the incident as tragic and quite unfortunate, Blake apologized and said he hoped it does not affect the public's confidence in the hospital where thousands of babies are successfully delivered each year. Meanwhile, the opposition is demanding an independent probe into the deaths of seven babies at the Port of Spain General Hospital to ensure there is no cover-up. Speaking yesterday at the United National Congress Weekly Sunday News Conference at the party's Shukwana's headquarters, both opposition Senator Wade Mark and opposition MP Dr. Lak Rambodo stressed the need for transparency. The opposition members called for the resignation of Health Minister Terence Dial Singh and for the Prime Minister to fire him if he fails to do so. Mark said the Health Ministry's internal department alone cannot investigate this incident and the UNC is calling for the establishment of an independent, unbiased and impartial investigation into the tragedy surrounding the deaths of the seven babies. Bodo Againakonagel said he has delivered thousands of babies as he detailed the care that would be required treating babies in a neonatal intensive care unit. He questioned what unit infection prevention and control protocols and practices were breached. Three houses, six vehicles and a pet dog were lost in a fire in Freeport that police and fire officers were told was initiated by a resident burning trash on Sunday. The devastation took place in the community of Mirage Avenue on Mission Road, located within a few kilometers of Freeport Police Station. 
The concrete and board houses were decades old and occupied by three families. Spokesperson Michelle Ranjit said her relatives were left in shock, distress and anguish over their losses. She said while the family was grateful that no lives were lost, they were still reeling over the financial losses in the wake of the fire. Police and fire officers were told that a resident was burning trash close to a bamboo grove at around 10.30 a.m. when the flames began to spread. Within minutes, the fire reached the premises, destroying three houses, six vehicles and a pet dog. The fire service responded with four fire tenders and officers extinguished the blaze. Police officers from the Freeport station also responded and are continuing investigations. If anyone wishes to assist the families, they can contact a relative at 771-0927. Director of local beverage producer Ramsaran Dairy Products, RDP, is threatening legal action over his inability to source foreign exchange to import paper-based cartoons for a new water product. A pre-action protocol letter to the Attorney General on April 15 said in March and September 2017, Requests by Rajdanan Ramsaran, founder of RDP, were refused by Finance Minister Colum Imbert. The letter alleged that Ramsaran's application for foreign exchange necessary for his livelihood have been consistently been refused, while other companies and consumers of forex are treated differently and more favorably. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has returned from a vacation in Ireland. The Office of the Prime Minister said via a statement that Dr. Rowley returned on Sunday, April 14, 2024. Dr. Rowley left with his wife Sharon Rowley on April 2, 2024. The Prime Minister previously indicated that the trip was not health-related. Regionally, Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez has hailed Sandals Resorts for the impact it has already had on St. Vincent and the Grenadines, pointing out that the luxury all-inclusive chain provided hope for the country when it faced economic challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic and after the 2021 eruption of La Sofia volcano. Pointing out that he enjoyed a great relationship with Butch Stewart, Prime Minister Gonzalez outlined this country's plan to celebrate Stewart's memory and contributions to tourism and economic development in the Caribbean. Sandal St. Vincent and the Grenadines is the chain's 18th resort in the Caribbean. Internationally, a bird flu outbreak in U.S. dairy cows has grown to affect more than two dozen herds in eight states just weeks after the nation's largest egg producer found the virus in its chickens. Health officials stress that the risk to the public is low and that the U.S. food supply remains safe and stable. In sports, TNT men's futsal team fell to an agonizing defeat in their second match at the CONCACAF Futsal Championships in Nicaragua on Sunday as they were beaten 5-3 by Guatemala in an eight-goal Group C thriller. On Saturday, the local team battled hard and showed quality, but they eventually succumbed to a 7-4 loss at the U.S. The top two teams from each group, along with the two best third-place teams, will advance to the knockout stage. TNT will need to get a victory against the Dominican Republic to give themselves a chance of advancing from the group and keeping their 2024 FIFA Futsal World Cup hopes alive. The semi-finalists will qualify for the World Cup. An Italy-based company Mondo is busy fine-tuning the building of a vibrant purple truck for the Olympic Games in Paris, France from July 26 to August 11. Christopher Samuda, president of the Jamaica Olympic Association, said the move is helping to redefine sport. The truck is expected to offer faster performances than the one used at the previous Olympics, where three world records were broken. That's a look at news to 12 noon. Recap in the headlines. NWRHA CEO promises transparency in investigation into babies' deaths. Ramsaran Dairy Products threatens lawsuit over forex scarcity. Regionally, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister praises Sandals for huge help during economic decline. And internationally, bird flu spreading to more farm animals in the U.S. That's a look at news at 12 noon on WAC 90.1 FM. You can get more news online at www.wacradio901fm.com. Join us at 4 p.m. for another major newscast. I'm Kerwin Borneo. Good afternoon. spirit of Trinidad and Tobago continues to resonate through the alias of WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC TV. While the rest of the world goes on, we stay rooted in the rich soil of our culture, celebrating the Trinbagonian spirit that dances in our hearts all year round.
Wack Radio 90.1 FM is your constant companion, bringing you the essence of Trinidad and Tobago. Music lover. Big music lover. Never miss a beat with What 90.1 FM on YouTube again. Whether you're catching up on a live stream you missed or revisiting a show that touched your heart, experience music anytime, anywhere. Stay updated always. Don't miss out. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay ahead with notifications on new streams, shows, and exclusive content. Be more than just a listener. Your views, likes, and comments do more than connect us. Subscribe now. Subscribe now. Hit the bell. Hit Your bell. next favorite show is waiting for you on WAP 90.1 FM on YouTube. Ready to experience a celebration of music, passion, and community like never before. Fonclair presents the Fonclair Forever family. Naparima Bowl, San Fernando, April 27, 2024, 6 p.m. Showcasing the excited Gabrielite Steel Orchestra and Peville Panjama, Fonclair Juniors, Fusion Steel, and the one and only Fonclair. <laughs> Performers, the Fontlair Golden Steel and San Fernando West Secondary. Get your tickets now at Fontlair Enterprises Lotto Center and Gift Shop. For more information, call 377 3185 or 610 Fontlair presents the Fontlair Forever family. In the heart of our community, the rhythm of compassion echoes strong. This April 26th at 7 p.m., we invite you to experience I Am My Brother's Keeper, a concert with a cause, live on WAC.TV. Karina Shea, Chucky, Trina Rio, Lady Gypsy, Lady Adana, Pharaoh, and many, many more. They are not just hitting the stage, they are standing shoulder to shoulder with Ranelza Joel Peters and her family. Every contribution, every view, every share makes a difference. Act now, spread the word, and let's show that together we embody the spirit of I Am My Brother's Keeper. April 26, 7 p.m. Be part of this extraordinary night. TV. Be there. Be the change. We are our brother's keeper. For inspections, the car Trinidad. It's not a real place. Yes, we have a big bitch lake on the road, and damn it, never paid. It's not a real place.
For the BBL or how the property tax seems so unfair Cause it's something the rich man not going to bear But if it had one man I'd love to be I want to be a landlord just like Al Rari oh, But that's too much back and now And I don't like that at all My people and them to know Whenever you see me there on a show It's not a politician singing a guy so Despite what is the task they give to me Calypso is rooted in my belly So I want everybody here to see Is a Calypso union representing we And one time, one time he get cool your mouth Some people they smile and some people cuss 
saying how this youth play in black conscious. The parliament staff, they all agree. Kai so inside, yeah, it's so strange to see. From his perspective, of what he's going to say. And how he interprets the lack of a Like if the opposition and Jack unite after they had one of the biggest fights. Or if we PM get put in court by the same Venezuelans for which he fought. Or if our ex minister end up viral. Fighting to get inside a funeral No invitation, boy, you see, get tense If you see how she stick up on top of the fence But hey, that is too, too much fuck and no. No. Hey, hey, no. And I don't like that at all Man, that is too much politics <laughs> And I don't deal with them tricks I could wear my hair up, I could wear my hair down It don't change the lyrics inside the song So if you hear me on your radio It's not a politician singing a guy so Whatever the role they want me play Calypso's a part of my DNA So I hope it makes everyone happy Here's a Calypsonian representing me And Kai Sonia start to criticize And immediately start to roll their eyes By talking him like they were not friends And saying it really should have been them Hoping his job will distract him So this year he won't get no chance to sing But this Calypsonian will fill his shoes And always sing the relevant issues Like how the people are afraid to use their lights Cause they find tea and tech not treating them right or when you go down inside HDC House is mashing up like Chini BB Or maybe you want to try to protect your home Cause the bandits and them won't leave you alone Calling the police boy you might get this They might say and you know where the station is hmm. But that is too much back and now And I don't like that at all Singing Calypso is in my nature So despite wherever you see me go It's not a politician singing a guy so I just follow God Almighty And I'm not sure what he will choose for me But I'm satisfied once we all agree It's a Calypso you're representing me Creating something from nothing 
want to send a message to Black Stalin. It have some people that need burning. With honest people, you know where you stand. But not so with deceitful ones. For them black is white and last could be first. About the truth, they couldn't care less. What was wrong for them yesterday? Now ten times worse, they have nothing to say. For everything they was complaining, now their silence is their fooling. So Black Stalin, now to you I turn. Them deceitful people must burn. Rowley shut down Petro Twin, they say not a word. Fire, fire to burn them. No foreign exchange, they yet to be burned. Send a message to Black Stalin It have some people that need burning With honest people, you know where you stand But not so with deceitful ones For them black is white and last could be first About the truth, they couldn't care less What was wrong for them yesterday Now ten times worse, they have nothing to say For everything they was complaining Now their silence is their fooling So Black Stalin, now to you I turn Them deceitful people must burn Rowley shut down Petro Twin They say not a word Fire, fire to burn them No foreign exchange, they yet to be heard Fire, fire to burn them It's six times he raised the gas price When we were producing it, they had it nice But his protests like rain, they go on down flat If you and Z did do that, so Stalin, light your fire. We cannot wait any longer. Stalin, time to wonder them deceitful men and women. What is right is right and wrong is wrong Whether it is spoken or put in song Those who fear the truth, them hypocrites Will always hate the people who speak in it It's five and six murders every day With bullets and bloodshed everywhere People are living in gripping fear While the police tell you to pray And the only reason you're still alive Is nobody ready to take your life For the right price you could be history That is where crime reaching sweet P&P Now is I'm home in vision from them not a word Fire, fire to burn them Daily drive by killings they yet to be heard Fire, fire to burn them People charged with murder could escape jail Cause under the P&M they will get bail But it's protest like green they go run down If you and Z did do that, so Stalin, light your fire. We cannot wait any longer. Stalin, time to burn them. Them set a deceitful PNM. There's more taxes we have to pay But all them snake in the valleys, eh? Not one word you would hear them say And food prices going up daily You can't buy food for your family While government live in luxury Inflation strangling everybody And for the sick and the elderly They can't buy drugs in the pharmacy But there's none so blind The Bible tell me Than those who have eyes and refuse to see Now it's property tax They're very quiet Fire, fire to burn them Increase light bill They're very silent Fire, fire to burn them Them but bossing how they quiet Because 
says P and M, they wouldn't riot. The bottles protest like a rain. They go bun, bun, flat, flat, flat. If you and Z oh, did no! that, so Stalin, light your fire. We cannot wait any longer. Stalin, time to run there. Time to burn out the PLM. Did not listen to Patrick Manning. Now the country is suffering. It's arrogance and incompetence, corruption and nepotism. Ministers get millions for government rent, while workers only get in four percent. Contract for their friends to get richer, while poor people have to suffer. One hundred million in fake oil scandal. While there's no beds in the hospital, Mr. Manning advice they did not take. Now we bread that the devil did. Now it's corporate man slaughter from them, not a word. Fire, fire to burn them. And those who are guilty still on the job. Fire, fire to burn them. Oil and gas production is at all time low. The Minister of Energy don't have a clue, but his protest like rain. They go bun down flat, flat, flat. If you and C did do that, it's done. Light your fire. We cannot wait, we cannot wait, we cannot wait, brother. It's done. Time to bun down. Time to fire the PLM. Remember, people who can't face the truth will always hate the people who speak it. I'm a hypocrite and hypocrite. In this life, what? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. In this life, it's 28 minutes before. In this life, one, 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 one. In this life, thank you very much, Tony D. That's right. The admiral is on the inside with you. Having some kaiso for lunch today. Having some kaiso for lunch today. In this life. Another week of productivity. Yeah, yeah. If you work from Mondays, so your week of productivity has begun. And the week started off with some rain this morning, all right? So the week started off nice and cool, all right? In this life. Anybody could sing Kaiso now, you know. Anybody could sing Calypso now, you know. In this life. Anybody could sing Calypso now, you know. And so, Roger, I mean, you. You sing, I mean, what are you doing? You're singing or you're talking, eh, boy? Anyhow. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. You should be arrested and charged for treason. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> you brave. Um, um, what did I do wrong, all right? <laughs> Carefully you lose your fan base, you know? Oh, my goodness. You like the Kaiso? I love the Kaiso. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I find you brave to play them kind of song. Well, um, um, the, the scale balance. All right. No. <laughs> the scale balance. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the listeners understand that. Well, the, the scale balance. Why do you start singing Calypso too? No, 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 no. What? Um, I, I didn't think I did at the skate stage, right? But I could write. Well, well, write that kind of song for me now. I write in one about the Dijani, right? Oh my goodness! All right, what's the uh, first line? What you doing <laughs> outside after two in the morning? <laughs> well, um, drinking. Come in from a political meeting. <laughs> and drinking? Oh, <laughs> and um, who who are you with? Well, we need to find that out because apparently the police. Hush, hush about it. No, why? She didn't want to say nothing. But let's see what that ex. Let's see what that ex. Uh, yeah, let's see what that ex. But 
what are you doing outside with an ex drinking and you're married? Well, look, play the um. music. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> All right, the Kaiso start, right? Good. All right, the Kaiso start. <laughs> In this was Hey. Kaiso is for anybody. Anybody can sing a Kaiso, right? Anybody can sing a Kaiso now, right? Anybody can sing a Kaiso now, right? Well, I mean, I mean, I hear, I mean, who are you, boy? Well, I mean, Kenny, as a producer, he tries singing. Um, Pelham Goddard, as a producer, he tries singing. Um, Aibo, you sing anything yet? I think so. All right. And then, um, and then, who again? Who's the poli- Any politicians sing yet? Oh, gosh. About a about, about two Christmas again. Uh, about two three Christmas ago, boy. Brian Man out. Talk a parang. My goodness. In this life, <laughs> Brian Man out. Talk a parang about two Christmases ago. Oh my goodness. In this oh good. Life, yeah, boy. So. So, um. Life, so now. Roger. Singing. Um. Any more. Any more. Um. I wonder who will be the first, who will be the first politician to sing a, a, a Kaiso boy? And yeah, who will be the first politician to sing a Kalipso? I wonder. I wonder. Wait now. Gypsy, you want a politician? Oh my goodness, I forget Gypsy. Gypsy, I forget you are a politician. And you sing Kaiso? Alright, okay, I forget you. Alright, alright, right, right. Um, we have any more boy? Any more? But there's one who died. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember any more politician as singer Kaiso. Well, ask back, were you a politician? No. Well, you died. You were not a politician. You were just a senator. Right? But I'm trying to remember. I can't remember any more Calypsonians. Any more politician as sing. Gypsy seems to be the only one. Are we waiting to see who's the next one? And in terms of union, union leaders? Well, um... Okay. McLeod? You jump out front, you jump out. All right. Okay. All right. Hello. Good afternoon, David. Uh huh. Julian Lucky Boy. You remember Julian Lucky Sanga Kalito at a political Kalito competition? I can't remember what oh. year it was. Oh boy, are they saying that now? It'll come back to mind, but I really can't remember it in truth, boy. Yeah, I have the character on tape. Yes, they say that I remember him, but that it just yes. don't come to mind. Right, oh, right, yes. right. Julian Lucky Boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, boy. Well, um, when um, when this man with this long, long, funny name, the former, uh, the former president, what's his name, boy? He had a, a what's his funny name, boy? Well, he used to sing Kalisso too. Kamora. Anthony Anthony yeah. Kamona. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um something out to people. Yeah. Something else. Right. Something out to people. Right. It was, um, nice, you see? So yeah. so that's the thing, boy. I wonder who mm-hmm. who could be the next Calypso then, boy. You think Dr. Rolly could sing a Calypso? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but 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 they had him singing a gospel song, right? Remember a couple years ago he sang it. He was singing in a um in one of the shelter Baptist um right right thing. right yeah yeah, yeah. and a DJ take it boy and put a mm-hmm. rhythm to it boy uh-huh. yeah and yeah. who we have again boy we are nobody else nah I can't think of nobody else right now right right. Well, uh, uh, let me wait and see. I'm um, waiting now. What about Kamala Posad? I think she could sing. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, she could try. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, well, what about she and Dr. Rowley? Could, could do a song together? They could do a duet? Yeah, I do. Right. 
you sing a boss on the PNM, you sing a boss on UNC. Boss on PNM, boss on UNC. Boy, that's an example, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh, boy. That, that'll be a nice one. No? Who you feel will win? Who you feel will win, boy? Uh, uh, Kamal does more, more things, so she might win. Eh? Yeah. You feel, eh? You, you feel she gonna be probably, boy? Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, All right. All right. I hope you are the judge. Mm -hmm. oh, All right. I hope you'll be the judge, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. All right, man. Cool. Okay. Nice. Eh, eh. All right. In this life, so wherever you are locked on internationally, regionally, and all my local listeners and viewers, good afternoon to you. Don't worry, that's just the way of the world, right? In this life of trying to please people, it leaves you without the choice of pleasing yourself. Life was meant to live, it was made so easy It was meant to do things you want to do But some people think you must follow their direction And you have to do what they want you to Them alone have the blueprint for living The things you should do, them alone must tell And if you should follow in their direction They make your life complicated like hell Somebody going to love the things that you say Somebody going to hate you for saying it that way Somebody going to love the things that you do Somebody will hate you for doing them too Somebody, Somebody going to love the way that you look Somebody going to find you look like a book Nothing you could do, it's out your control That is just the way of the world Trying to please everybody Something wrong with you, you have to be mad Take a walk to the sun, that might be more easy But trying to please everybody is hard You might just end up like little Jack Horner Everybody pulling you in a different corner At no time in life would you be at ease If everybody you're trying to please Somebody going to find that you are real brilliant Somebody going to find that you are world class Somebody going to find that you are a genius Somebody going to find that you are real ass Somebody going to find that you are kind hearted Somebody going to find you callous and cold Nothing you could do, life must take its toll That is just the way of the world Of over seven billion, you must understand that you are just one. Nothing that you started is ever finished, nothing you think you finish is ever done. Somebody always there to criticize it, they know exactly what you should do. This pleasing business so complicated. Sometimes in life you can't even please you. You just tell yourself you ain't saying nothing, but something inside you say you must talk. You just tell yourself from here you are moving, but something inside you tell you to walk. You're hungry like hell, your boy now need something, but something inside you say you're too fat. Nothing you could do, you can't even please you, cause the world is made up like that.
Heading up to 8 minutes before 2 o'clock, boy. Some guys are for lunch inside our first tower on this Monday afternoon. That's right, you inside the afternoon sizzle. So right now we're still doing some guys for lunch. Enjoy the, enjoy the heat, Lynette. Enjoy the heat. I know when it's cold, you're ducking. That's right, they locked on to 90.1. So much happen.
CK 90.1 FM. This is News Pulse 901 to 1 p.m., bringing you the latest in news, sports, culture, and more in just 60 seconds. In the headlines. Good afternoon, I'm Kerwin Borley, and welcome to a 1 p.m. News Pulse update on WAG 90.1 FM. Northwest Regional Health Authority CEO Anthony Blake is promising full transparency and disclosure to the parents of the babies who died at the Port of Spain General Hospital after an outbreak of a bacterial infection at the neonatal intensive care unit. Three houses, six vehicles and a pet dog were lost in a fire in Freeport on Sunday. Director of local beverage producer Ramsaran Dairy Products is threatening legal action over his inability to source foreign exchange to import proper base cartoons for a new water product. Regionally, as Ghana works aggressively to meet its 2025 food production targets, the country is on the brinks of achieving self-sufficiency in egg production, backed by strategic initiatives and visionary leadership that promises to redefine its role not only domestically but also regionally. Internationally, the World Bank says in a report on Monday that half of the world's 75 poorest countries are experiencing a widening income gap with the wealthiest economies for the first time this century in a historical reversal of development. And that's the look at a 1 p.m. news pulse update. Join us at 2 p.m. for another update on WAP 90.1 FM. Hey, Trinbago music lover. Trinbago music lover. Never miss a beat with WAP 90.1 FM on YouTube again. Whether you're catching up on a live stream you missed or revisiting a show that touched your heart, experience music anytime, anywhere. Stay updated always. Don't miss out. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay ahead with notifications on new streams, shows, and exclusive content. Be more than just a listener. Your views, likes, and comments do more than connect us. Subscribe now. Subscribe now. Hit the bell. Hit Your bell. next favorite show is waiting for you on WAP 90.1 FM on YouTube. Are you interested in investing in real property, a home, or investment property in New York or other states? Then Equity Smart Realty Inc. can work with you. From potential returns to portfolio diversification, buying international property comes with its perks, but it's also a complex process and there are tax matters to consider. Equity Smart Realty Inc can help you purchase real estate in New York. We have the knowledge you need to simplify the process. Ready to discuss your options? Schedule a consultation on this matter or start a business or a branch of your business at www.askthelawyer.us. That's www 
www.askthelawyer.us or call 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. Dive into the rhythms of the Caribbean with an unforgettable getaway. Join us for Kai Soka in Panama Memorial Weekend, May 24th to the 27th, 2024, with an unforgettable getaway. Package includes round trip from JFK, New York, Miami, or Trinidad, airport transfers, and hassle-free travel. Four days, three nights, accommodation in Panama, at the Tourist Day Alba Hotel and Suites. The highlight, Saturday night, jump out and dance the night away with the chosen one, or optional, a tour of the Panama Canal, or city tour. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity on Sunday. It's Last Lap featuring Posa and Prince Unique. Enjoy fantastic music and make memories to last a lifetime. Book now for only 899 US dollars per person, double occupancy. Limited availability. Reserve your spot today. Give us a call 646 399 0000. Kaisoka in Panama Memorial Weekend. These products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Experience the power of five. Experience five of the world's top antioxidants in one powerful nutritional product. Introducing to you, La Vie from Artis. La Vie, the power of a drink in a bottle. Experience the power of mangosteen, noni, acai berry, goji, and pomegranate. Experience the power of five. Experience La Vie. With the regular use of La Vie, you would experience a decrease in the level of harmful free radicals, which cause aging. It helps maintain a normal cholesterol level, helps maintain a healthy blood pressure, helps fight virus and bacteria. It also keeps your skin and hair healthy, improve your vision, enhance your sex drive, improve digestion, increase your level of energy, controls your blood sugar level, improve your memory, protects your children's health, lose weight, and allows you to have a better night's sleep. Experience the power of five. Experience La Vie, Mangosteen, Noni, Acai Berry, Goji, and Pomegranate. Now what are you waiting for? It's time to feel good again. Get back your life. Take charge. Call 516-286-7079. That's 516-286-7079. Get all the information you need and place your order now. It's time to speak out. Speak out. Hey, good speak afternoon. Out. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Fine. With David Matthews. Hola. Yes. Hi. You have a question? Yes. I have a question. Please go ahead. TNT. Dial those digits now. Thank you very much, Cola. Yes. Speak out. It's time to speak out TNT. Weekdays from 1 p.m. Numbers to call. Numbers to call. Local 652-4901. International Gentlemen, seven minutes after one o'clock. Good afternoon to one and all. It's time to speak out. If there's anything that you have on the uh, plate to speak out on, this is the opportunity for you to speak out. Caller, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Mr. Matthew. I get in early. Yes. Because sir. I know you would have a lot to speak about and a lot of contributions coming. No, I don't have much to speak about, you know. My issue is with the now i hope it don't come it don't come across as political but it involves the minister of public utilities mm -hmm. he made a pronouncement where he apologized to residents of the area that they were being um where he alleged racketeering with water no 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 out. hold on he never said anything about alleged no i say in alleged why because I want to protect your program and your station, so I'm using the protocol. Right? Okay. 
right? So I could take off the alleged then. Well, if if the minister never used the word alleged, I don't know. What's the, what the problem? Nobody have challenged him? Right. So if nobody challenged him, right, then they, they, that tells me there some that there will be people there will be people who will be brought to justice. No. Right? Well, because you can't, you can't <laughs> offer an apology and leave the criminals at large, Mr. Matthew. No. You think anybody will be brought to justice? But I wish he uses, I wish he could use his power in whatever way to cripple these people and who has been using their their, 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 um, their extension to strangle whole people for something that they were paying for. It is very unfair, and Mr. Matthews, if it's left unabated, it could go underground and it could start up again. Well, caller, basically, what the minister was referring to as the commission, as the commission of water supply, the wells out there in Mon Diablo, basically what he was referring to, and it's not the first time you'd have made mention of it, is water trucking racket. And he said it's been going on for decades. Under several governments and councillors and ministers. And it's been going on and several chairmen. And basically it's been going on and on and on and on. And as I he said, ask, basically it's under investigation now. I hope that it, it bears fruit with the investigation and it doesn't stop there. Right? Yeah. Because right? It's, it's, it's nothing new that water truck trucking racket is happening. And as he said, people have been paying between three to six hundred dollars for a tank of water. So it's that's been going on across the country for a while. We have been saying that these people have been locking off the tune. Cox and them have been locking off water. Right? Locking off the water so that the truck the truck could get work. You understand? Yeah. Good. Yep. Mm hmm yep. So don't hurt, don't hurt your head and talk about alleged. All right, no problem. I'm just trying to follow the your program and your station at, at the same time, right? Yes. I, I still want to know, does the opposition carry on meetings after 2 in the morning? The members of parliament has to be out that hour. What do you mean? You have to tell me, no. You have a week to tell me. What is that? What are you talking about? I, I mean, you don't know? No, what? I lost. I mean, you want me to tell you? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, come on, man, David. You listen to the first word I'm using. I mean, I don't know what you're you talking you? about. What was she doing outside after two in the morning? Lyman. And why your partner holding you against your will? Hold her against her will? Well. Look, leave. Watch, listen, wait, 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 wait. Listen. They were they were liming, I I would from what I got. And when they left, they left in his vehicle so that she could get a job to pick up her vehicle. And on oh. their way, on their way, I don't know what happened, but Apparently a little verbal, I don't know, maybe a little verbal thing what did take place. And she got, and she got, ah, uh, me and know, I don't know if it's a hand or a blow. Wait, what's in the happening all over again? Well, she, well, no, no, that didn't happen. But apparently <laughs> she was struck and uh, on her, on the lower part of her body. And then she slammed against the door. And, uh, well, I don't know, a report was made. But at the end of the day, she didn't want to say anything. Mm. She didn't want protecting to say anything. Uh, is she protecting her perpetrator? Maybe. But, as she said, she's all right. All so, right. again, we had a wonder. Um, I don't think she really come out and say whether there's any truth in it. But, I don't know, information was in the station. 
So it, and it has to be lodged as a proper report. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come out. Eventually. Mm-hmm. Better not make a note in Parliament next few weeks. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, yeah. I wonder who will bring it out, boy. <laughs> Better not challenge anything. Anytime he stand up, mm-hmm. you go hear it, you know. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's All right, Mr. Matthews. Thank you right. for your time. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, hello. Good afternoon. Hey, good morning, David. Oh, good morning to you, sir. David, I was reading an article with uh, this Dinesh Sarambali person mm-hmm. speaking out against the party. And I just have a question. How many people does the former prime minister fall out with? Because it looks like it's Dinesh, Gary, Jack, just to name a few. Mm-hmm. So it just seems it just seems like any partnership that she has is all of a sudden to a bus. Why? I don't know what to say about them now. <laughs> and I don't know if you read the article, but part of their salary is going somewhere that they they have no idea. It cannot be accounted for. It is a requirement. Yeah, they have to pay a money. To, let me say, let us say it goes into a party fund. I know, I mean, but why he now? Why they now talking about it? How long now that going on? Why they now talking about it? Eh? David, what is done is in the dark has come to light. I. Well, but you know, but you you know the saying. Uh, sunlight, sunlight kills. Oh, no, no, no! Sunlight, sunlight kills what COVID? <laughs> we ain't going to, look, we'll, we'll leave it there. But um, uh, just an interesting article, which is um, uh, what a song by Sparrow making plans for a wedding. All you do, you can't get through. Boy, you know, <laughs> for, for, you know, I, you know, I, I mean, I take you know, this. I wonder into if it's a game them playing to you know, in order to attract attention to the party. I wonder if it's a game they're playing. But wait, wait, wait! But if Mr. Rambley is he trying? Because from what I read, it sounds like he's putting in um, his petition to run for the prime minister. Is that correct? Well, I don't know for the prime minister. I don't know for the prime minister, but I know he to run for SVT game because I think it's Chogo, not West. I think he, he represent. So I know, I know he's um he want to run again. So I don't know what is going on there because all of them who are making noise now against the leadership of the party, they are still trying to run again, you know, f- for the next for the next upcoming election. So I really don't know if it's a game that they're playing. To but they, David, they have one thing all in common. What else? They're asking for her to step down. Yeah. You think she will? How you expect, how you expect to stay inside of a party? If you're asking your leader to step down, but and you're who, talking negatively, who step down, but she not stepping down. Well, hey, this is not the first time. Well, we'll just, we'll just wait for a misstep. But anyway, you have a good day. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, step down. She not stepping down. She wants to be the next prime minister. I mean, as she, as she said, Mm-mm, they don't tolerate no dissidents and that kind of thing. So, so there's no stepping down, right? She's not stepping down, you know? Uh, as she said, the party have a constitution, and when the time comes around, well, they will work with it when, it, when, 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 when that time comes around. Because, okay, when, the, when it started, boy, um, Paris, who started making the first noise about it for them to have the internal election. And from Parry, well, it moved on. It has moved on, you know. But where is that going? I, I really don't know where that is going because all those people who are making noise, they still want to go up for re-election. They still want to go up. Right, so I don't know where all that is going. So I just tell myself some kind of game they they playing. You understand? Some kind of game 
they playing. And then this latest thing with this with this with this woman from the party again. I don't wonder again if that's another if that's another piece of the typical. You know? You don't wonder again. Because there's all kind of craziness that's taking place within the party. But where is it going? We don't know. At the end of the day, they're supposed to have the internal election by June. Is this going to happen? From what I'm hearing, from what I understand, from what I gather? No. Because they say the general election is more important than that. Right? The general election is more important than the internal election because the resources they had to put out for that internal election. But they hold that back for the general election. You understand? So there'll be no internal election before the general election. And you know what's supposed to happen to? Next year, they're supposed to have the election for the leadership of the party. Who knows? That may be put off also. Good afternoon, take caller. Good afternoon, Mr. Matthews. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, all these things that these people call in and discussing about UNC, I think that makes sense. They know everything about UNC. Let me talk about what happened in the hospital for the state. Seven what? babies died under the this health minister. How come here, here nobody saying nothing about that? I listen in offer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Yeah. So so these are the things that that's happening. So next year they're supposed to have election for the leadership of the party. I want to say the leadership. The leader. That's supposed to happen next year. So who knows? General election is next year. So if they put off, if they're putting off the leader, the executive election, then the leadership election will be put off also. So all this will happen. All this will happen. The people's national movement supposed to have the internal election. I'm very sure they're going to have it. I'm very sure they're going to have it. Very sure. Good afternoon. Good afternoon again, Mr. Matthews. Yes, sir. Concerning the situation in Portland General Hospital, mm -hmm. I don't think as much as people might go the political direction and call for the health minister's resignation, I don't think it's warranted and it's not fair that he should be um, put in that spotlight because at the end of the day, the nurses who were on shift who did not keep the place sanitized enough, whoever that department is, Let's start the investigation with them, right? Mm -hmm. Because I don't think, yes, you have to jump straight to the minister. What happens to the nurses on shift? What happens to the, 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 the people who work at the hospital? They have the CEO and all of right. them. Why, why, why you jump yes. straight to the minister? He, he wasn't, he's not working in policy in general hospital. Because it's politics. I don't understand it. It's politics. I don't understand it, right? But, again, my frustration is, just like the situations when it happens where police brutality or excessive force, the state has to end up paying. Why these people are not held to pay out of their own pocket? You think it? You think it's just enough that the state has to pay for for their mistakes? Well, or am I asking too much? The state has to pay. That's how it is. I find that shit cheap. Well, I, I don't really know. I find that should change because these people are not looking for any 10 cents in compensation. Eh? Yeah. Right? Mm hmm. But, but the, state, right? the, so, state, the state will have to pay if it ever reaches to that. Right. So the state has to pay, you get suspended, and then you resume your practice elsewhere? Hmm. That's, that's what we're settling for? Who? We, the citizen rich, I mean, nobody else but me. Oh, oh, okay, I was just wondering who. <laughs> who is WHO? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right, Mr. Uh, Matthews, so don't call for the health minister head yet. He, he, not in this case, man. Well, who's... We deal with the doctors and nurses who, 
who could have arrested the situation before it reached that far. Who's calling for them? Who's calling for him to go? Well, the, 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 the caller who called in before, he might have been alluding to that without saying much. No, but... Because again, coming off of what is in the spotlight, some one of those ministers, a shadow minister, is calling for his resignation, stating that when the health, health ministry does well, the health minister does give himself a pass on the back and say he, he's doing well. Did you, did you, I, I can't remember his name, you know, the MP for Fight Abad. Uh, you That's know, the shadow health minister, is he yeah, that yeah. Right. Yeah, you, yeah. Up to, he, he, he's one who called him for him to go. Right, so... Yeah, well, he's the bell ringer, you know, and when you ring the bell, a lot of people will answer it. Mm-hmm. But they answer into the wrong call. Well, you know, anything anything to tell a PNM minister to go, they will use it. True. Right? Anything True. to tell a PNM minister to go, they will use it. Right? So, it's nothing strange, it's nothing new. Like hearing in the pipeline again, how much millions were spent on the PNM on the Prime Minister's vacation? What is that? What is that about? Wait, is it it's not this vacation? You know, not just this vacation. It's his vacation since he's in office. I think over the last couple of years, but it's not just for this vacation. No idea how much eleven something million or two something come out with millions, but it's not just for this vacation. Right, because Mr. Matthews, I will tell you, mm -hmm. if it was me, I would have been in Ireland still. <laughs> Do you know what? He just went on Vaca vacation. Vacationing. Oh, oh. I would have been vacationing still. You know, well. so, so if anything, sometimes people just feel as though when you're in that position, you will not take advantage if you get the opportunity. And I say so, not financial wise, but the opportunity to go. No, I'll call up. Hold on. Places. Hold on. The Prime Minister is entitled to one month vacation every year. Right. Right. Okay? And uh, and the money that they spoke about, it was broken down to the different CARICOM summits he went to, the different summit he went to the United States and different parts of the world, and how much was spent on these things. There was a breakdown of all of that. Right? How much was spent. So it not money that was spent on this vacation right okay so okay. all the different caricom summits that he that that he attended and all that sort of thing and the different summits that he attended across america um the united kingdom and thing that is where the broke down or the breakdown took place so right? is it is are not these international meetings needed as part of his tenure as Prime Minister, what should he do? Stay home and just say, all right, I'll go zoom it. Well, he had to go. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I really find it strange that that came up in this press conference. No, they, 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 want to, they want to put it out there, you know, like if he was bad spending public funds. But at the end of the day, if it's part of his tenure and you don't catch him in any wrongdoing, like other people, then let it be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because at the end of the day, when you were traveling and your sister suddenly picked up a portfolio as your personal hairdresser and being paid as such, as part of your, what do you call it, your entourage, mm -hmm. you didn't see anything wrong with that. Mm -mm. Okay, I would leave it there for somebody mm -hmm. else to call it. Okay. At that time, the ball was in your court. All right? Exactly. Good. And none of your ministers and them found anything wrong with it. Those mm -hmm. who find any reason now, or those who want to break down. Right? Correct. Mm -hmm. How much How much was for the roti again? A million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Trinidad is my Trinidad is a paradise. Keep on singing, so you're talking good. <laughs> Later. Cool. All right. Mm hmm. Six five two four nine zero one. If you need to speak out, All right. So that that is what it is, and you know, it is it is really 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 crazy to see how 
these people just try to go on the Prime Minister for every little stupidness. Good afternoon, speak out. Good afternoon, Brother David. Yes, sir. Brother David, mm -hmm. that call for the Minister of Health to resign, it's not he they want, you know. The doctor only they come in at you know, but they come in through here. Oh. Everything happened. Everything for that yellow side there is the, the health minister must go. Doctor Rowley must go. Right now, the whole cabinet has to go, you know, hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But this, 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 this is a good time for black people to wake up and smell the coffee, you know, mm -hmm. and 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 listen to the rhetoric of the yellow brigade, you know. Mm -hmm. It take them 10 years for Rodney Charles and Anita Haynes and people like them to know that they have no place on the yellow line, you know. Mm -hmm. And while I am a Dutch, Brother David, yeah. I would like to hear a little something from the yellow side who kidnapped Khadija I mean. hmm. <laughs> I, I want I want to hear about that because it seems so like that. None of them, you know, because nobody has seen anything but let it was a... A uh, PNM MP who called in and said their life in danger and they're uh, uh, being held against their will. Mm -hmm. You would have hear all kind of thing already. Yeah, they have to resign from the cat from 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 from, from, from report, you know, a cat, you know, report, you know. Uh -huh. You just see how you just see how you watching the treasure like a cat will watch it fry fish. <laughs> you never watch the man say. Uh -huh. You never see that. Okay. Yeah. You see these things that were weighed back and naked. And that next drunkard, Anil Robert. Them, these are the things we want to hear from them. What mm -hmm. is taking place? For every minute, Dr. Rowley had to go. Well, Dr. Rowley staying right there and will be there for the next 10 years. I am gone. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, now. There's a warm up for the 2025 general election has taken place here. Right? It's a warm it's a warm up and and the warm up starts very early. Yeah now. It could be real madness next year, please go there. Yeah. It could be real, real madness next year, please go there. Yeah, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, David. Yes, my brother. I want to pick back on the last caller a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the weaknesses of the opposition United National Congress. Mm -hmm. is that um, after the periods in governance, when they fail miserably, they have not taught it fit to come to the population, either in a major press conference mm -hmm. or in incremental releases over time, to atone to the population for a lot of the ills that they left the country with a lot of the things that they did during the tenure in office. I'll mm -hmm. give you an example. Mm -hmm. You hear the people in Siberia complaining about water. No, it might be a legitimate complaint because they are the end of the system. Siberia is way down in the south and the way the system developed, mm -hmm. developed in what is called a kind of herringbone system where they, 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 they don't have major pipes around communities to kind of keep the water circulating. It's kind of going to dead ends yeah. as community builds communities bill mm -hmm. and they add them in now in some instances they have been able to put some of these kind of arterial lines to keep the water circulating mm -hmm. uh, but under all these complaints you would never hear a member of the UNCCA in under Kamala's tenure this SIS man who used to be advertising all over was paid 400 million dollars in advance mm. a wastewater project Wastewater, we talking mm -hmm. water business, yeah. and he was paid in advance, and he absconded a day or two after the general election, and is now residing in Panama. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You would hear them talking about shortage of water, but they wouldn't talk about that. You would hear them talking about shortage of water, but you wouldn't hear them talking about the contract that they renew for the desalination plant until something 2035 at a highly increased and exorbitant rate of lease. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They won't talk about that. You understand? Yeah. You'll hear them talking about um, traffic on the road, the road so bad, it is that. You would never hear them atone for the fact that, hey, a billion dollars almost 
had to be recovered on the project with the highway to point fourteen. That's why we able to kinda do it partially going down the road. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And it, you could go on and on and on. You would hear them talking about um no crime talks, no this, no that, no rah 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 rah. Where the crime talks gone? Hmm. Where all the big crime talks they were holding with Gary Griffith and thing, would that just disappear so? Somebody rub it. Right? And you know the thing is, yeah? Mm-hmm. They wouldn't acknowledge that they we didn't we didn't um support Gary Griffith. We have been um recalcitrant in the parliament. We have been supporting absolutely nothing. The president asked us to uh, get together at least on crime and that months after we scuttled the crime talks by talking about the Prime Minister had to be there and and on and on and on. If you go to the Caribbean Court of Justice, mm-hmm. which by the way, if that is effected, it, it is likely to lower the course of justice marginally across all 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 services, all legal services, because the privy council is extraordinarily high mm-hmm. and, and a reduction there will see a minor reduction coming down the train. They wouldn't even consider that they wouldn't even consider the fact that the British um, culturally um, no longer impose the death penalty and that we stand a better chance of it being enforced because culturally the people in the Caribbean might be more inclined to it and therefore our own court might be a little more um, user-friendly when it comes mm-hmm. to it, 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 You know, nothing like that. So until they are prepared to come to the population mm-hmm. and atone for... Um, a lot of the things they do, and I just mentioned a few there, and try to take a different course. Then from an engineering standpoint, the decisions is, in engineering, the decisions is generally come down to not whether I like this or I like that, you know. It's advantages versus disadvantages. And if we have to look at who on the opposition side, starting with Gary Griffith, Pep, um, David Abdullah, MSG, all these bunch of jokers, hmm. and go to the big one, which is a bigger joker, then in terms of advantages and disadvantages, if I ask myself the question, mm-hmm. what are the advantages of replacing the present administration with this uncertain, um, pick up side, confusion oriented, recalcitrant group? Then I, I feel the answer so easy. Hmm. But People don't look at things in that, not everybody, look at things in that kind of broad, analytical kind of way. Some people just say, hey, Dr. Early, too dark. Hmm. And that is make the decision. Hey, Dr. Early, too ignorant. Mm-hmm. And that is the decision. Hey, you see the PNM, the men office too long. And they don't, they don't recognize that the day after the polls, we, uh, under the present arrangement, mm-hmm. we will either have Kamala Passat be Cessa with her, approach to governance mm-hmm. and her record um, the bucket or Dr. Rowley and his approach to governance and his record that is the kind of choice before us mm-hmm. you know and um, I always say um, the first time I vote mm-hmm. I voted for Lloyd Best of the Tapia House movement okay. and my intention was that day not that I thought the PNM wasn't the party to govern you know but mm-hmm. I thought that they needed a strong opposition. And all along the way, I have not seen a strong opposition in this country mm-hmm. that could actually deal with issues and confront the government. Because for, 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 for whatever stupid reason, Mr. Pandey say he is not prepared to make the government look good. But you know, if they assist the government in properly implementing the property tax, mm-hmm. you know, both sides will look good. You know, the country will look better. You know, they they could take a bow and say, hey, we have done something constructive. But instead, they understand they can't make the government look good. Mm -hmm. And they they, they wouldn't atone, as I tell you, to the population and say, hey, a week or two before we left office, when we lost the election in 2015, our Minister of Finance, Conrad Hawaii, who we paid $10 million to come and do the job for us, our Minister of Finance, Mm -hmm. on hands and on record, as it was removing the sanctions they had on property tax because they had put tax sanctions on it. They removed the sanctions. They were collecting all three sets, commercial mm. and and, proper, and um, residential. They mm. were collecting the, 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 the property tax, the, um, the commercial first, mm. 
mm-hmm. at seven percent, which is way higher than anything that being done now. And they wouldn't have turned to the population and say, hey, we intended doing this, you know, so and so so. But they want people to take them seriously. Mm-hmm. Add up all that, and you can see what I'm telling you about advantages versus disadvantages in making decisions. Mm-hmm. Have a good evening, Henry. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a lot to add up, you know. It's a lot to add up. So, those who are eligible to vote, they will have to put it together and start thinking for themselves and not allow people to impregnate their brain with garbage. David. Yes, good afternoon. Uh-huh. Good afternoon. Yes. You know what I want to see? Mm-hmm. Both party, both PNM and UNC do. What's put that? out a plan like what money had. A twenty twenty vision for, for them to really work towards something. Instead of this sort of talk, you know, back and forth. Mm-hmm. Put out a plan so that the, the, the country could see what the what the plans are and we will work together to, to you know to implement it. I want to see. Did the um, 2020 plan, did they shift it to 2030? That was Manning plan. Mm-hmm. I thought the present group of people, we were Rauli and them, mm-hmm. as well as um, Tamala, let them put out a plan what they have for Trinidad and Tobago. They were want to see. You understand? Mm-hmm. So that we could work towards something instead of. We're only saying one thing, Kamala saying one thing, as I said, back and forward. I don't want to see that. You understand? Put out a plan that we could work towards that any country. Because right now, besides crime, we have a lot of different ills that, are, that affect any country right now. Instead of people talking about yellow and red and all kinds of things, let me have a plan to work by. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I don't want to hear this. Who say and who say? We don't want that. You understand? Mm-hmm. Let us have a plan so Chanel could move forward. You understand? Right. That is more productive to, to me and the present state of the country right now. Okay? All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Well, there's two times you will hear of these plans. One, budget. Two, election. When election is in the air, you will hear of those plans. Those are the two times you'll hear of those plans. Call her. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Matthews. Hi, good afternoon. I was hoping the guy who called in about the baby, I thought he had some more information for him right now with his topic that he wanted to. He want us to talk about it or he want to say something about it. Oh, no, you want... He, he you understand what I'm saying? Because if I want to change the topic, then I will bring my argument, you know? Mm. And um, I don't understand why they don't do these things. Um, and do you really care about these seven babies or you just want to bump your gum? Um, because I am pissed about it and mm-hmm. I think that um, I think um, it's time we do better with our hospitals. And I don't just think it's the Minister of Health. Um, and one of the reasons I, I talk about this topic is because my mother died uh, from a simple procedure at Port of Spain General Hospital. Right? It has nothing to do with the Minister of Health. It's to do about the nurses who didn't want her, who didn't take her to walk around, who didn't, you know, after mm-hmm. you have surgery, you're supposed to either put pressure boots on your, on your foot. I don't know. They don't know what they're supposed to do or what they're not supposed to do. So I think mm-hmm. they really need to revamp the whole medical system in Trinidad and Tobago because at a NICU, supposed to be a sterilized area, yes, it's going to have bacteria because even in the hospitals here, we have that problem, okay? Mm-hmm. But not for seven babies to die at the same time. Because, mm-hmm. and that is why we always keep the air condition at a certain temperature. So any dumb person supposed to know that you need to ventilate the place and you need to have it cool so mm-hmm. bacteria can grow. Yeah. So something really needs, I hope that these babies don't die in vain. And Ooh. if I was the parent, I would have sued the pants off of all who I could sue. And I hope by doing that, they will revamp the medical system. They will upgrade the hospitals to the queues. Fire half of them nurses and doctors who double dip in and get people who really love the job. Mm-hmm. That's just my take on it. Mm-hmm. So I've given you how I feel about them and I've given you my solution. I yes. would have fired half of them because all those nurses 
some of them, 80% of them, those 20% of them those work very hard and they have had to pull the load from all the slackers. Mm. And then the others just want to sit down, scrolling down Facebook and WhatsApp, mm. and that's what they do when the day comes. And I'm saying it because I've seen it, okay? Mm -hmm. So, who want to bash me now can bash me. And I just always tell all you, if I bump me, put, please put me back on a plane and bring me back to Boston. Mm. And not going in all your facilities. I don't care how free it is. <laughs> That's how I feel about your medical system. Okay. Have a blessed one, Mr. Naki. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Good. No. Um, good afternoon. Speak out. Hey, good afternoon, David. How are you doing? Well, my brother, I'm here speaking out with you. I had a nice weekend, I see. Yes, 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 it was. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So, I, I want to be real quick. I, I heard one of your callers, and I know I'm, I'm probably on a delay. Maybe somebody answered the question already for him, or tell him, you know, give him some more information. But I heard one of your callers, callers asking for both sides, or both political parties, to put out a plan. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I hope you, I hope you, you, you helped him. You, you answered some questions for him, right? No, no, no. You gave no, him some information. No, no questions were answered on that yet. Uh, so you are the first respondent. So here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. You know how we, you know, Princess Town made a point. You know, uh, where you, uh, you, you, you make a decision as important as uh, as choosing who's going to govern and uh, what's good governance. You, you you have to you have to draw some on some information that's already in the, in the in the domain, right? Mm -hmm. You know you have this this experience, and you have these people who have this experience. These are the experiences. These are the reality that you, of your choices. So you have to make an analysis. So when people say uh, both sides should put a plan and stop all the old talk, they, well, that is you, you're showing your ignorance, sir, because there there is a plan. <laughs> <laughs> the P and M does have a plan, but mm -hmm. but is that so important for you to for them both sides to come with a plan? Is that is that really the importance of your uh, decision or driving your country forward? Because the, the you know the, the former former Prime Minister Patrick Manning had a plan, mm -hmm. and what happened to the plan? What happened to that plan? So it's not so important to say whether you have a plan. I think more importantly is that we have to change the way we 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 we, we accept these things. So, for example, I think whether it takes constitutional reform or some kind of tweak to the parliamentary system, mm -hmm. what we have to drive for is for both opposition and the the the, the leading party. To, to write something into the, the law, the Constitution of Toronto Tobago, when there's a national plan in place, mm. whether it be for construction or institutional reform, that that has to govern, that has to be. One party can come and say, we don't want that no more. Hmm. Because the resources of the country have to be considered. So it's it's we can, you, they can both people can, can can spend or can could they get the the, the, the the technocrats together and they can write a plan from long till like the Ten Commandments long. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter because unless you're going to give one country, I mean one party or one or one part of this, you know, um, um, a, a majority uh, for extended period of time, it's it's, it's not going to make any difference. Hmm. I mean, there was a plan. <laughs> Former Prime Minister Patrick Manning had a plan. Mm -hmm. And what happened to it? Some portion of it is still in play for 2030, but that overall plan well, call has it, been. It's, it's, it's simple. Top, that, top, top. No, no, no. Because the government changed. Yeah, and that's when it, the plan fell apart. So That's my point. So blame that's ourselves. my point. We had to tell blame ourselves well, for it. That's my point. <laughs> because once the government changed, <laughs> they, they they they're not gonna they're not gonna let they're not gonna let whatever agenda they have mess up the country's. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and do their plans, even if it's in the even if it's gonna hurt the country. That's that's the politics you're playing. So that is what we have to address. 
when we have these national things, if this one particular government decides, to, hey, we're building this road, unless there's some kind of, you know, uh, corruption or something, this is what we have to build because we spent this much money on this road already and this will have to happen. You can't now, I mean, abandon that and lose all that money. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, pause. So, how does it work out there in the United States? If one governance, if one government is in power and things change, what do they do? Continue what the um, the party in governance were doing or they come with a new plan? How would they do it out there? Well, well, it's a little more complicated because we talk. We have states and federal, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if, if a road is being built, most probably in, in Florida, most probably it's not the federal government building the road. Mm -hmm. uh, or they have some kind of, you know, um, corporation where they're funding a portion of it or they're funding this particular program or something. But it's a little more complicated because the states have their, their states' rights. And and, 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 and and adopts a lot of these developments, just like how, uh, you know, like uh, if this plan come into play, too, Puna would have certain rights to, to build certain roads. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the central government wouldn't have to come into play. It, it's, it, 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 that's the rule that you're going on with, with, um, with this um, reform. Yeah. But so it becomes a little more complicated. But for the most part, yes, these things, when, when there's a, these major programs like the, like for example, um, like Biden um, adapted this program where they're gonna they're gonna put all they, they're gonna run all this um, all this cable and all this technology that's going to um, into um, fiber and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. in the, in the Midwest and, and 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 to bring the country up to speed with uh, with that information highway te te technology highway. Mm -hmm. Th that's not Trump is not gonna come in and and, and stop that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's there's more continuity because uh, I mean I'm probably in, in, in impacted by the states and stuff, but uh, for the most part, I, there's not that type of issue where one party comes in and 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 and, and it, it, I'm sure it happens. I'm sure it happens, but I think for the most part, it it it, it there's more continuity. And, and 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 again, you can't compare Trinidad to America in that regard because the resources are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's more important for, for you to have continuity because of the scarce resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh. So I think that's where we have to spend focus on, on how we, we get the both sides to have continuity and have a oneness to develop the country. Yeah? In my life. And not take, and not take cred for it, you know, not take cred for that development and then lose resources because you're trying to take cred for the development. But to, the, but to the caller, maybe he needs to do a little more research because there's a 2030 plan. All right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, bless up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Speak out. Hey, good afternoon, David. Yes, sir. Hey, David. Mm -hmm. Just tapping off of some of the sample was just saying. Here in the United States, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Obamacare. Obamacare was brought in by President Obama. Mm -hmm. When the Republicans... You know, when he was still in office, they tried to overturn it. When he came out of office, they tried to overturn it. Mm -hmm. But guess who stopped it? Oh, yeah, it was the it was the constituents and Congress. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem that I'm saying we have in Trinidad, which is if we see something's put up by the previous administration and it makes sense to continue it, why do we not say something about it? And on the other hand. With the desalination plant, like you were saying, mm -hmm. where the previous administration signed a contract that made absolutely no sense, why are they not being held accountable for it? You know, why to this day are they not driving upon them to say, what are you doing to get to, to, to rectify, or what will you do to rectify this? Or in terms of the, the man who ran out of Panama, mm -hmm. what is the UNT doing to get the money back to the country? Do you, see, do you see what I'm saying? It is, it is, so, so people should be asking the prime minister, you know, the, the ex-former prime minister, um, so you made a bad deal, the guy ran off with your money, so now you're leaving for the next administration, n the next prime minister, to fight to get the money back because uh, you made a mistake and you, you made bad contracts. Mm. 
I wonder, you see, the first thing you have, to, if you do not admit that you were in error, then nothing will happen. See, no, 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 David, what I would like to see, and this is, I would love to see the former UNC minister, prime minister, and Dr. Rowley have the debate. Oh. And he just starts throwing these questions at her. I feel like just throwing the questions at her. I want to go on. <laughs> I yawn. Somebody, somebody, and I need a few drinks or a few sips. <laughs> <laughs> With that question, <laughs> later. Thank you. <laughs> that debate between the Prime Minister and the opposition, they tried to get that already, and the opposition refused. The opposition leader refused. Good afternoon, T. Caller. Good afternoon. Um, who is the, le- who's the man who went off the pie? Panama is this guy talking about? I can't remember. Somebody, somebody went to Panama. Somebody ran up to Panama. I don't know. Years ago. I don't know. You, uh, you don't know? Uh, I hope it's not called the heart you're talking about. I, I don't know. Somebody before called the heart. Oh, that's, um, that, uh, that was right with it. Do you know song come from? I go into Panama. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. No problem. Good. I got you. Yes. Um, I want to speak out about a totally different issue this afternoon, uh, David. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but I want to say I agree with that caller. It's for the last two foreign callers, where, where one where especially said, the citizens have to demand better. If things are working for the citizens, mm-hmm. we have to stop these, these, these politicians from not fulfilling the, the, the mandate mm-hmm. and, and, and make things happen. I, I keep speaking about the 2,500 mm-hmm. that I see, that I see, there's a small crew working on it now, and it seems to be being worked on, mm-hmm. right? But the last regime had a had a a plan to demolish those buildings, mm-hmm. right? I would hate to see the, the next election, the hands of the regime, the leadership turn over. And after all of money, time, and things is invested in those buildings, the first thing the next government do if they should get into power is to tear it down. Right? Those buildings were built under which government? Under the Patrick Manning regime. Okay. And 15 years now, them buildings build there and can't finish up to now. Okay. All right. Right? Mm-hmm. That building there, the U.S. Department, the PNM has been in office for eight years. So far, mm-hmm. and eight years of governance, and them can't get that, build, that, that building finished for housing for people. Well, I know sometime right? recently, the Minister of Housing spoke of it, and they were, they said they were working on it. To get and, they it. Were, and the timeline that they mm-hmm. said they would have finished, gone already. Mm-hmm. Right? And what, what is particularly disappointing to me is that when I started paying attention to politics, Dr. Rowley was the housing minister. Mm-hmm. And he... He really impressed me as a housing minister. He did, uh, I went as a, but I was now starting to pay attention to our politics, and he was the minister that stood out there because real houses built under him and was distributed under him as housing minister, right? Mm-hmm. And now he is the prime minister who is in charge of our minister's housing, and we can't get houses as when you were housing minister. You know that? Do we have the resources today as we had before? They were going to have three million dollars spent on painting and forty million dollars spent on this. And yes, I feel we this country have the resources. Yeah. When you hear the kind of money being spent by the government in this country, and the kind of money fifty billion on a, on, a, on a feasibility study for a re- rapid rail, and all the different money that's spent that we not see the results, mm-hmm. right? I sure if you do an investigation. Or how much money was spent on that, um, that, that, uh, they had a, uh, nice, um, computer graphics of what the, the boat placed in, 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 in Point Lisa is going to be. And they had a nice graphics about what the port in Tobi, in Toku is going to be. Mm-hmm. Only people who seem to be making money is the people who are doing the ideas, the planning, the graphics. But after that, mm-hmm. nothing being done in terms of implementation and nothing in Trinidad and Tobago. How long they talk about a, 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 a 
port to fix boat and this will be the only region out of the hurricane season that people can bring the boat in Trinidad. Do you remember that idea? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about that? Well, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Okay. Remember the port to from, from Toko to, to Tobago? Mm -hmm. What about that? Well, I know they're working on the roadway. Eight years now they're working on the roadway. They're not, they're not doing nothing in terms of building a port. They're working on the roadway. And you accepting that and repeating that as a journalist and journalist. Eight, eight, as, as eight years now, they're speaking about that? They're coming to office talking a campaign about a port of Tobago. You forget it not. I didn't know so long. Eight years now? Oh, okay then. Okay. Anyway, I ain't really call for that. Mm -hmm. I ain't really call for that. I just, I just, these topics that people call about, I, I have my opinion on it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my concern, David, mm -hmm. is the police and confidentiality in the police service. There seems to be a, a lapse in confidentiality when making a report to the police. The police keeps harboring on, if you see something, say something, and they have all kind of five, five, five tips and all kind of private hotlines and whatnot. Right? But just recently, we had a situation involving a a uh, 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 senator or minister, whatever she is, Kadisha I Aming, mean, I'm speaking about, mm -hmm. where she had a domestic situation and was caused to make a report in the station. And uncirculated to my, I want to be honest, I'm not surprised because it has been done before. So it's not to my surprise. The complete transcript of the report given to the police word for word, verbatim, is being circulated on social media. The whole incident with Kadisha Amin, involving Kadisha mm -hmm. is out on social media, direct from what appears to be direct from a station diary. So how am I to have confidence in giving police information when, when, I, when, when, when what I tell you, it's been circulated on social media. Is this the first time things like that has happened? It is not. It is not the first time. One would have thought, now that it involves some, some uh, my member of parliament, they would have been a little more discreet and a little more diplomatic about it. But if it happened with a minister of parliament, what, I, must, I must wait till it happened to me to say something. No, I'm going to speak about it now so that if something happens to me, it may not happen with me. I learn it from other people's experiences. And if it could happen to her, mm -hmm. there's no reason why it can happen to me. So let me talk about it now. Right, yeah. I remember even um, there's a lot of confidential information from a ministerial portfolio leaks into the public, again, from through social media. And uh, I... I, I hear, I don't really hear anything about it also, but uh, it's good that he could raise this now. Maybe, maybe that, and we need to start to talk about it. The confidential information given to the police must not be circulated on social media. That is how, when you read, when you read the, the report on, on, on social media, it comes, you can see it comes direct from our station diary, you know. Just how it was written, mm -hmm. it was circulated on social media. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence in the TTPS. Mm. Or giving a report to anybody. Or telling you, hey, the drug block is next door to me. Or anything like that. That doesn't give me confidence at all. If you, um, you call the police to make a report, right? And they ask you for your phone number, would you give them it? If they ask me, I wouldn't give them it. But I know there are ways they, they, they have already have your number where they could get it because I've called police anonymously mm. and they call me back to ask me, where is the address again? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 I've done it. So I know they have it, but I wouldn't voluntarily give them a number. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes hesitate to give them a name. I will give them a last name alone. Yeah. You know? I sometimes hesitate to give them, if I decide to make a report on something. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I made a report on something Probably about a week ago, since I came back in the country, a week ago I made a report about a vehicle outside my, my premises, a block over, outside my premises. Mm -hmm. 
So this day a police has show up to say to see what um if the vehicle was stolen, if the if the vehicle was is not stolen, nothing to this day. Uh-huh. The vehicle come, it was parked up there for days, they, they come and move it and they go on with it and the police never showed up. So I really don't have a lot of confidence in the police where, 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 where given information is concerned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yes. All right, well, we had to take the 2 o'clock news update now. All right, then. Take it easy. All right, thanks. On WACK 90.1 FM... This is News Pulse 901 to 2 p.m., bringing you the latest in news, sports, culture, and more in just 60 seconds in the headlines. Good afternoon, I'm Kerwin Borney, and welcome to our 2 p.m. News Pulse update on WAC 90.1 FM. A 69-year-old former school maxi driver was found murdered in Aruka early on Monday morning. Several teachers and students of the Barpur East Secondary School stayed away from classes today following death threats. Three houses, six vehicles and a pet dog were lost in a fire in Freeport on Sunday. Regionally, the Bahamas government has welcomed the return of the Agri Business Expo after an absence of five years, saying that it could not be more timely. Internationally, at least 41 people have died in storm-related incidents across Pakistan. And that's a look at our 2 p.m. News Pulse update. Join us at 4 p.m. for details of those stories and more in our major newscast on WAC 90.1 FM. Hey, Trinbago music lover. Trinbig- Music. Love. Never miss a beat with What 90.1 FM on YouTube again. Whether you're catching up on a live stream you miss or revisiting a show that touched your heart, experience music anytime, anywhere. Stay updated always. Don't miss out. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay ahead with notifications on new streams, shows, and exclusive content. Be more than just a listener. Your views, likes, and comments do more than connect us. Subscribe now. now. Hit the bell. Your next favorite show is waiting for you on WAP 90.1 FM on YouTube. With cutting-edge technology at our fingertips, we're not just covering the news, we're bringing it to life. Dive into a world where stories are more than just headlines. They're gateways to understanding the pulse of our islands. 90.1 90.1 FM News Pulse, where the future of news the future is, of now. is now. A tribute to Reno Bayer, a gifted singer, an entertainer, a panis, a Trinbigo cultural export in the provinces of Canada and Orlando, Florida. Representing these twin islands with pride, come relive some memories of this stalwart. Hear his struggles, hear his triumphs, hear his history. Monday the 15th, 8 p.m. on WAC.TV and WAC 90.1 FM, where we honor our cultural icons and stalwarts. Don't miss it. When you want some fun, I bet you can get your hand to raise. That's why I'm a whip, whap. My, I done. Get ready to experience a celebration of music, passion, and community like never before. Fonclair presents the Fonclair Forever family. Naparima Bowl, San Fernando, April 27th, 2024, 6 p.m. Showcasing the excited Gabrielite Steel Orchestra and Peville Panjama, Fonclair Juniors, Fusion Steel, and the one and only Fonclair. 
best performers, the Frontlier Golden Steel and the San Fernando West Secondary. Get your tickets now at Frontlier Enterprises Lotto Center and Gift Shop. For more information, call 377-3185 or 610-8852. Frontlier presents the Frontlier Forever family. Tomorrow presents Bueno Kaiso 2024 on Sunday, 28 April 2024 at Garden Jewels, Southern Central Road, New Village Point, Fortin. Featuring an incredible lineup, Abivele, Brian London, Miguel Simon, Pauline Kwashi, Tiny, Keon Cupid, Sexy Susie, Tish Official, Juby, Fire Tender, Christopher B, Wendell Eon Morrow, and Wally the Saxman. Sound powered by Chrome Audio and the original Inferno Asylum. Doors open at 6 p.m., showtime at 7 p.m. Early bird tickets are $140 available at Wayne Electronics, Main Road Point 14. Thanks to the Music TT and the live district music. Don't miss Bueno Kaiso 2024. See you there. Live streaming on WAC.TV. It was nice, so we're doing it twice. Join us for the WAC Meet and Greet in Ocala. We're celebrating the 20th anniversary of WAC 90.1 FM at Myron Oaks Community Center in Ocala. On Saturday, June 15th, the Father's Day weekend from 6 p.m. Dress code is white with a touch of red. Come and meet Mr. Feely, the CEO of WAC Radio, your favorite radio station. You make the wrong choice. That's for singers with them Music for Dancing by DJ Richard C. of WAC Radio. All inclusive tickets, singles $40, couples $75. Book your ticket for the WAC Meet and Greet now. Call Shortman at 813 263 2127 or Dance a Boy at 917 753 3123. Get discount and hotel accommodation. Call 352 261 0024. Mention WAC 90.1F. It was nice, so we're doing it twice. Hello, Miss Trafili. What's the show in that boy? Wak 90.1 F. Wak 90.1 F. Okay, what the F is for? <laughs> Numbers to call. Local 652-4901. International 1786-292-2789. Okay, so it's just about 10 minutes after 2 o'clock inside our number 2 of our speak out on this uh, cool Monday afternoon here in Trinidad. You know something that was touched on earlier. We are in the month of April. How many months ago? What month was it? February? When these seven babies lost their lives over a period of a few days at the Port of Spain General Hospital. It was quiet. It was under the radar. Until the latter part of last week when the mark was bust and then it came to life of these seven babies that lost their lives why was that so quiet hmm? those who work in a neonatal ward quiet Chairman, quiet. CEO, quiet. Minister of Health, quiet. Who knew of that? Until 
It was brought to light last week. And we're hearing everything now. We're hearing so much now about that. Suddenly, investigation took place. They realized it was fungus, too fungus. Now, international, I don't say international health organizations are now assisting with the investigations. Why that was not done before? I'm sure those in authority were aware of these babies that would have lost their lives. But nothing was said. If it was COVID, the whole world would have known, right? But fungal infections on the ward, quiet. And then you're hearing now of how it came on the ward. So it came on the ward through a baby that came from a private institution, right? How we, you all knew of that all the time? So when that happened, who spread it now? The baby? A nurse? Clothing? Um utensils? Well, I don't know if you I don't know if utensils and everything is used. Um 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 How did that spread? To take out all these babies. And then you're hearing now, more are coming forward now to say, hey, my baby died on that ward in January. We learned in the year, so my baby could have died from the same thing too, because unexplained. Same thing, fungal. Fungal infection. You see how these things happen? And they try to keep it under the radar. But eventually, what in the darkness comes to light? Nothing stays under the radar, right? It is it's similar to what the, a caller was, the last caller alluded to about a police report that ended up on social media, right? How it happened? Somebody put it out there, right? Somebody who had it, who had access to it, put it, right? Good. And it's the same thing, someone who had access to the information brought it to the media, right? So... As this broke, suddenly, a law firm jumped on one time and filed pre-action protocol letter against. One time. You see? So, so, we don't know. I, 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 I want to see, this is an interesting one, you know. I want to see who will be held responsible for this. Because if you ought to get help from Paho and all of them seeking information on this, I don't know exactly, exactly how this one is going to play out. Because when it comes before the court, That's another one again. Who will be answering the questions? Who was on duty when that happened? Well, boy, a lot of money will be spent on that one. Because all those workers, they will have to be defended. So a lot of money will be spent on this case. A lot of money. Right? So, keep your eyes open because it's infants, children, young babies, months old, weeks old, who would have died. 
and I find it was under the radar. But it's out in the public domain now. And uh, where is it going? To the court. Once it goes to the court, it will take some time before it comes to conclusion. So watch on, people. Watch on, right? Because things happen. A lot of things happen. And it's interesting, this particular law firm, boy, this particular law firm, I mean, there was a time when he used, when, 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 when he used to be, every prisoner, every prisoner, once a prisoner have a issue, he was the defender for them, you know. But anything I realize, once it comes to the government, government, once it comes to government, hmm, boy, they're jumping on board one time. Because in any way they could get at this government, they're coming, you know. They're coming. So, let's see. The Prime Minister is back in the country. So, let us see how things go from here. And if it have to go to court, well, it's going to take some time. And I'm sure a lot of uh, health institutions, international health, health institutions, will be offering some support on this. Because this is a very serious matter. Right? A very serious matter. Good afternoon. Speak out. Yes. Good afternoon, Mr. Matthew. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we have to blame for this. So where we start it? Well, I don't know. I don't know who is to no, be for, for for keeping it on the low. Let me let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. Right. I sure the health minister did know about this. Well, I, don't I am know. positive sure here that he didn't know about it. Uh-huh. You sure? Right? I am positive sure he didn't know about it. Something like this wouldn't be, you understand, wouldn't be hiding under the, the radar for so long. So so if he had known, he have to take the blame? He has to do what is right. And he failed. What is right? What he had to do? Then come out in the public and talk and then do do what they have to do before the Prime Minister come back in the country. Get that investigation going. What going, what happened? Now they want to investigate that the people will going to sue them or whatever. And take them to court. Yeah, but but that didn't happen now, caller. That happened a couple months ago since those babies died. Well well why now why is only now they want to investigate? It has only now come to light. It only now come to light, right? If I was the Prime Minister, as I come in the country, I, I send home the health minister. For what? Posting. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do, do, do your job. What you did wrong? Do your job. What you did wrong? He, he didn't do his job. By as, not, far as I could. By that not, is, this is my point of view. By not doing what? Right? I have, oh. He didn't do his job by not doing what? He do what he's supposed to do. Get to the bottom of this and see what's going on and see what... I... I I think he's supposed to be on a, on a, on a holiday. The city prime minister came back from his holiday. I would have sent him for a holiday. With all three. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. But Mr. Matthews, I checked something. All your callers, all the PNM supporters, mm -hmm. right? All of them. Mm -hmm. they, they could talk. They know everything about UNC. They don't know who talking, they know who everybody personal business, they know what's going on in, in in the party, on outside the party, everything. But how come they do they they will never call and put and say something but this government who are feeling right now. Mm. Mm. This government is a big security, health, oh God. I don't want to go anymore. Let me let me let me take. Uh, I know everybody go have everybody go. Let me see everybody go know now. They know what is the right thing now. All of them go call now mm -hmm. and say right the PNM thing. You see what happened to Tobago? Tobago people not stupid. And they had a plan for Tobago PNM after twenty years ruling. Mm -hmm. Eh? Where it is now? 
the same thing will happen to them. I tell you, watch me, listen mm. to me very carefully, Mr. Matthews. Uh-huh. By radio, only on one station, by 90.1. Okay. I listen to it from 6 in the morning to 9 in the night every day, you could see. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? That's me. Good. And I'm telling you, and I will be here next year oh. after the election to be calling you and telling you. I was telling you what going on. All right. Put it people on the calendar. Sense. That's telling you, people get in sense. You see what going on in Tobago, Pete? All of them, all the supporters who just call you and think, they turn a blind eye on that. And PNL rule it for 20 years. But it's only when the other parties come in, all of us on the other big plan. Well, where the plan was for the past 20 years. Mm. So come on. All of them have something to say about UNC for this. I, they may even rule for five years. PNM ruling this country for how much years? Mm. How they go blame one one party who was there for not even four years? Because when you go in, they take government. In 2010, they take a whole year to get familiarized with whatever was going on. They run the country and then what happened? They run the country for three, not even four years. PNM here for 40 odd years. Mm-hmm. And we're still the same way. We can get water, racket going on. They're not investigating. Don't blame them. You in charge. This is the government in charge. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Them in charge. Okay. Don't blame the... Uh, the the, everything that the PNM fail on after eight years, mm-hmm. they still blame UNC. They're in charge. They have to, to run the country. So all these people who call in and bawling about this and that, all of them know everything, you know. Mm-hmm. They know everything about Kamala. They know everything about the, everything they know about UNC. But they know nothing about PNM. Well, let me tell you something. Yeah. I, as a man, I know a lot. I think I talked to you a while back. Yeah. I tell you, I know a lot. Mm-hmm. But I will not come out here and say nothing. I just listening to all these people who feel that these MPs, I'm talking about one, all of them, mm-hmm. care about anybody in this country, you know, they only care. You see, let me tell you, you see the next year coming up? Yeah. All of these MPs, everyone, will care so much about you, they come in home and sit down in your house. Mm-hmm. Everyone. I'm talking about the red, uh, from, from the red and from the yellow. Mm-hmm. All of them. And after they get to where they want, mm. you can't even get an appointment to see them because it's happened to me. Uh-huh. You understand? It's happened to me. Who's your MP? Yeah. I went call it. Nah, nah. It's <laughs> you, you, you went believe. I know, I know who's your MP. No, not, not, not in my area. Not, not where I live in right now. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. In, in your area. Okay, all right. In your area. I have family in your area. Okay, good. That, that, that's that day, and that's the same thing, and I... Well, and we both turn up, San Fernando East and Sabaki. Right. I, 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 I know the, everything, right, so... Mm-hmm. And even, um, my ex-wife did work for San Fernando West. Mm-hmm. Under uh, this government. Right. That's all I could see. But I was to say, I just, I be wrong, I know, I do things... And now to get to meet them for us is problem, you know. Real problem. Yeah. They don't care about nobody, you know. Them don't care about nobody. All you could say what you want. You could say where you want. Long term get in that office today. Anyone, any any office. It could be opposition, it could be a government, if they don't care about you. They them don't have time with you, you know. Mm-hmm. You have to fight up until the next five years again when they come back by your house again. Uh-huh. So you see me, I Mr Matthews. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to take my bash you now. All of them who are to call now and say what and what. But I'm, I'm going to take it. I, I, I know, my back brother. Okay, I'm sir. I'm going to take it. Yes, sir. But I, I'm telling you, we have right now, all of them, we feel it. They feel it. Mm. The National Security Minister feeling. The Prime Minister supposed to be running this country. He can't study nobody. He in charge. I just always say that. He's the Prime Minister. Mm. Forget about who do what and who do what. I run in this country. Run the country for the people. That's what I just always say. Right. It, it doesn't matter. I like I as a man. I support who long, long to get in good governance. Mm. I support in you. I don't care who you are. Right. That is me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. I don't care. It could be red, yellow, black, pink, whatever. You have my support. Long to do the what they're supposed to do. I run the thing, do the thing for the people. Right. But up to now, they're not doing nothing for the main thing. Okay. Mr. Matthews, 
Have a good day and listen to you all. Bye. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> good afternoon. Speak out. Good afternoon, David. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I love what you did just now. I love the fact that you didn't. You choose not to defend the PNN, and you allow this man to attend the event and see everything he had to see. Well, it's right? speak out. Yes, I like that. Uh, I like what you did there, sister. So anyway, mm-hmm. um, I want to contradict him. I want to contradict him. However, what he doesn't realize is when PNM come out, comes out of office. Is PNM people who is not satisfied with PNM, and they show PNM that they're not satisfied with them, and they boot them out of office or don't vote, mm-hmm. which causes the other party to win. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I hope you will pay attention more to politics and not just talk off the top of your head. PNM people are some of the greatest, the harshest. Um, judges of PNM. Mm. Mm. You understand? Mm-hmm. I I voted UNC when UNC when the partnership got into office. Okay. And Kamala Prasad, the sister, lost me the week after she won. I don't know why UNC people don't pay attention to these things. Kamala Prasad, the sister, lost me the week after she got into office mm. when she gave the Gopals. Ten million dollar gas contract, whose house she was staying in at the time in Tunapuna. You remember that, David? Mm-hmm. That the Gopals who had no affiliation with gas whatsoever. They didn't have a gas station. They didn't have a gas company. They didn't have a gas rig, rig somewhere. The Gopals who had no previous affiliation with, with gas, uh-huh. but simply because she was staying at their house. They were able to, uh, to get, I don't know if they ever fall, follow through with it, they ever got it. But it was public record that the Gophers get a $10 million cap gas contract. She lost me in that first week of winning the election, she lost me. Hmm. I wouldn't even bother to go into all of the other things that the USC did, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't, know, I don't know why the USC people remember when there was crime under the pandemic regime. This is also public knowledge when, when they were talking to Pandey about. I don't know if it was, it was corruption or crime, but it was crime. When they said it, it is said that he threw his hands up and said, What do you want me to do again? Do you remember hearing anything like that? Pandey, yeah, yeah, when he threw his hand in the air, yeah, I remember, yeah. And said, What do you want me to do again? Mm-hmm. Crime and nothing that happening now. The government fight with crime and nothing that happening now. It's not a lonely problem. I just came back from a, 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 a U.S. store. Food increase in food prices. I wish more people, more so UNC people, would travel and recognize. Food prices are increasing in Trinidad alone. Rolling really increasing food prices in Trinidad alone. A soft drink, a Coke in the United States, but I used to pay a dollar for, mm-hmm. is now two dollars and fifty cents. Mm-hmm. You're paying more for a Coke. You're paying less for a Coke in Trinidad than in the U.S. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when they, if they still have a dollar ten, they got a can a Coke for a dollar. Is the small one that you just get on the plane. Oh. But when I when I travel and I see these things on the mature that I feel is rowly increasing prices. You understand? Okay, right. I thought I, I thought so, it was rowly was increasing the prices. It, 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 you would swear it's rowly have some control over price increases in, in Trinidad to be good. Not and, not knowing. And I thought it was only Trinidad. Alone. Alone. I thought it was only crime in Trinidad alone. All, and this is something that we don't acknowledge. Mm-hmm. All over the world have these gas problems. All, not, that's not to say that Trinidad is too small that it cannot be managed. You see what happened in Australia a couple of years ago, boy? Yes. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> you understand? 
I thought I thought that happened in Trinidad. I didn't know that Australia. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> These things happen all over the world. Oh, oh. Right? Yeah. But for some reason, Trinidadians, especially UNC Trinidadians, feel is a wrongly problem. That everything will stop if Kamala Prasad or the UNC win the election, food prices will go down and crime will stop. And and, and the, the, the the guns will stop and the gun crimes will stop if UNC get into office. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I just wish to get into office because I want to see what the, them talk show hosts, the 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 the, 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 the um the Stefan Reese and all of them. I and, and and all of them are nine one nine. I want to see what they will say a year into the UNC regime, when only certain people getting the ten million dollar contracts. And only certain people and crime still going on, and them still poor. What they gonna say after that? I really would like the UNC to win the next election. Just to hear what they will, what they gonna say. You, you, know? you sure you really want them to win? Just well, to I hear? don't want them to win because I don't. I don't want them to win because I, I don't want our country to end up in 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 the, in the place the the, the, the squander that it will be in. Because I see what they did in the last five. The, the last time they got five years and three months. Mm -hmm. But just to satisfy the minds of these these people who believe that we can go be milk and honey if you and see win the election. I'm really curious to see what, what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. That is not to say because I just, I just call and criticize the PNM government. I just call and spoke about the towers of Georgia. I just call and say they do deliver on the things that they promised. I and I, I used to be a PNM, right? Mm -hmm. I have I have decided I'm not going to do like my mother. I'm not going to be voting anymore because I'm not taking part of the, the BS, right? Oh, all right. I'm not taking part of the BS. If I see a, a party doing what they say they're going to do, I would vote for that party. But when you tell me you're doing to do something. And five your term passed five years. Take for example the constitutional reform. Mm -hmm. Um the local sorry, the local government reform. Mm -hmm. Right? Just prior to local government you see all kind of fancy talk about local um, local um councillors having a full time job and it's going to be they're going to have their own office and they're going to have staff and they're going to have all a nice talk before the local government election. As the local government election done, you stop hearing any talk about that. Councillors still fighting up. With a with a with a with a, with a rinky dink office and still have to go and do the normal job and thing and next three years when local government start back again, we're going to hear the same jackass talk sorry, excuse my language, you're gonna hear the same stupid talk and then and then everybody go get caught up in the hype again and we run with that foolishness again. Right? I I I I I call it out um to this fella, I ain't tongue too long. I know you're not going to get caught up with that hype. Mm -hmm. oh, eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. All right, man. That's so bad. <laughs> oh. Speak out. Hey, David. Yes, sir. It's me again, mm -hmm. real quick. So, you know, it, 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 this kind of segues into what I was saying earlier, right? These kinds of situations. Mm-hmm. So just like with the common criminal or the, the, the issue that you have in the country with criminality and crime, mm -hmm. um, for the most part, crime, people make the analysis or the assessment about risk when they're committing crimes. Mm -hmm. So if there's a chance the criminal believes that they're not going to get caught, then, you know, it increases, you know, they're feeling that they can commit the crime. If there's a 60, 70, 80% chance that somebody's going to be onto them, that risk, that assessment is going to be reconsidered. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Coupled with, obviously, if the law backs up the, the, the findings, yeah? Yeah. So I say that to say this. If the police person who took that report believes the worst case scenario is that they're going to get suspended with pay. Mm. With pay. <laughs> mm. Meaning that they can go and do another job mm. 
why are they getting paid? Like if they were working. So in other words, this they're getting longer rest because they're sleeping when they sh- when, uh, and getting paid. If that's the if that's the, the worst that can happen to them in that scenario, wouldn't it be what's the big deal if they if they if they if they sell some confidentiality information or, 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 or put it on their social media or whatever they did, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, the lady who took the, who, who said that you tell the guy, well, why don't you go down to the station? If she, if the worst that can happen is suspension with pay, it's easy. Oh my! But call, call her, and I know I could commit a crime and get bail. Well. Yeah, well, that's my point. And so, so I said, the law has to back up the, the, the thing. So my point, but my point, I, I say not to say that it, mm-hmm. both of them roll hand in hand with each other. So, you know, the, the criminality and crime, <laughs> you know, it, sometimes we think it's so far removed. Like, you know, first we thought, well, oh, it's only happening in this area, so we don't have anything to worry about. And now we're realizing it's, it's, it's everywhere. So it's the same thing. We have to look at crime and criminality in the same way, not just with the people who commit the, the boo boo and them who's committing the crime, but criminality happens all the time. Corruption is right throughout the system because the system encourages it. Mm-hmm. The system doesn't punish anybody. The the, the, the service commission, whole, the whole system of the service commission, uh, the, the, that whole thing that uh, how they, that has to be revamped because there's nobody can get fired, whether it be a nurse or a police, or a fireman, or a politician, nobody can get fired. Nobody gets fired, nobody steps down. So what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, we can't curb, we, we can barely curb corruption because, I mean, there's no, re, there's no recourse. And then, you know, somebody, somebody I mean, this is, a, this is a member of parliament, like the, like the caller said. <laughs> so so <laughs> if, if, comfor- if that person is comfortable enough, to, to, to put that information in the public domain and that's private information, what would they do with your information, bro? Or my information? Same thing. Yeah. So, to, to, so w- w- here's, what, here's the question. What, on, when they investigate and find out who's responsible for that leak, what happens? That's the question. No. And what should happen? If, if, if information is in the, the diary... And everybody have access to it. You think you could figure out who ex- who, who did that? Hmm? Well, here's the thing, David. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Yeah. We're in 2024. First mm-hmm. of all, information is supposed to be in the diary, okay? It's mm-hmm. supposed to be in a computer. And then you can figure out who, 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 who did it. Oh. Yeah, uh. that's the first step. Well, Let's start with that. Well, well, maybe, automate, the, automate the thing now. Automate the thing. Well, maybe um, Anan could look into it. <laughs> All right, bless up, man. But uh-huh. yeah, you see the problem, though, David, that, that the service commission has to be reformed, bro. People have to start to be responsible for their actions, bro. You, you, you can't continue to, 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 to say you want to do better, you're moving forward, and you want to stop corruption, you want to stop crime, and people, people in, the, in those positions, those powerful positions, can get away with whatever. A policeman did something, did something wrong, broke the law that he's, he's sworn to uphold, and he's getting paid for not working. Th- something is wrong with that, bro. Something yes. is wrong with that. Is there a better place than Trinidad and Tobago? No, not yeah. for not for not for citizens. Okay. <laughs> it's the best place on earth. All right, good. <laughs> Bless up. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Hi. Good afternoon. Oops, we lose you the call. I could always try us again. Um, let's see. We get you back here. Yeah, try us back and. See if we can get you here, boy. Um, I get up to him and speak out. Uh huh. You know, um, just to follow up on, on what um, that caller was saying. Mm-hmm. See, uh, if you listen to Dr. Terrence Park, he's a member of the Constitutional And he said that one of the major um, pillars of constitutional reform should be public sector. Looking at that lack of accountability throughout the system. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. He used as a reference the DPP. He said the DPP could do almost anything he wants, and nobody could. Who does he answer to? Then he basically asked that. Question. The DPP was asked about a $55 million um, rental paid by the government mm-hmm. for office that he has not even meant um, clearly why he didn't occupy it. Mm-hmm. Is it mm-hmm. Who is accountable to? Maybe the um, judicial. Um, all of them just stand between the parliament, mm-hmm. the executive, the then. Um, put in there to prevent political in- interference. Yet still the politicians are held accountable by the electorate mm-hmm. at least every five years, you know. But we need to really look at all those things. Well, uh, the DPP is elected or selected? The DPP is chosen by the judicial and the well okay. commission. He, so, he probably selected from a group of candidates good. and re- recommended either to the president or they are not sure, the parliament. Or so it's like different that. to being elected by the citizens, the citizens. Yeah, well, this, this is why I'm saying if you get elected, right, and you are, you are the head of a ministry, Clearly, as the head of the ministry, articulating cabinet policy, it's difficult for you to function with a commission operating between you and said agency. You know, even if you have a commission to function as a, um, a HR department, right, to see about human resources issues mm-hmm. um, to some extent, that might be acceptable. But to actually be sitting there, like, like what you would see happening with the yeah, the, the, the police service commission and all the backward and forward and the this and the that. You know, um, who really running the place? Now, I don't want the politician to select the police commissioner, you know, mm-hmm. which some, some jurisdictions, they elect the police commissioner, you know, but um, the point I'm making is the, there's need for public sector reform to enable either who, who, in, who in charge to be in charge, either the cabinet the minister, the CEO of whoever, but they had to be able to be held accountable. Eh? Mm-hmm. But look at the look at the attendance at the at the at the at the reform, the constitutional reform. You have more people going to um, anything almost than that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, once at the empty seats. Now, at the end of the day, um, people already including the opposition, questioning the process. Now, who is supposed to run the process other than the elected government? As long as the process is clear and you can see what's going on and you have an opportunity to question it, you know. Mm-hmm. But who question it just because of the government running it? Because other than the government running it in terms of um, outlining the process, right? Mm-hmm. Um, then who else? The president? Mm-hmm. Maybe. You know, but, but, you know, we, we as a population need to get mature man just playing around. And I want to commend the fellow who pointed out that um, when the government changes in Trinidad, the opposition votes move, you know. The opposition votes always there mm-hmm. with the opposition. It's because votes move from the PNM side to the opposition side. As an NAR with Carl Hudson Phillips and the ONR going to join with the alliance which formed the NAR. Mm-hmm. You know? And so on and so on and so on, you know. Right? Um, but um, at the end of the day, the, the, the caller who, he, who is pulling up made a comment that has always um, amazed me as a citizen. I can only talk from my perspective. I see the need. To go to a politician, an MP, mm-hmm. a councillor, if you really feel you need to. But in all my life, I have never gone to a councillor, the ax or an MP, the ax or any assistant. Oh. I never felt the need to, right? Okay. Now I, I feel I need to withdraw that a bit in the sense that um, mm-hmm. I now remember that I went with a group of fellas who um, asked me to go to the 
Um, at that time, he was the, 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 the he, he was in the council. Mm-hmm. He became an MP afterwards, he, you know, and he was living close to me. And it was about sport. They wanted to get access to the ground for football when the ground was being um, um, used exclusively for cricket, mm-hmm. which was a kind of a kind of biased thing in the area, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we went as a group and we spoke to him, and he understood and. And therefore, we got access, right? Okay. But beside that, to say, well, I, especially on a personal level, to say, well, look, I go and buy this person that for that. But I could see somebody in a situation where they feel they need to. But I don't think that that, at least from my perspective, is really, is really a criteria for for me voting for somebody because I ain't see them and after thing I ain't see them. I look at the governance. Mm-hmm. If a man is the Minister of Foreign Affairs and he's my MP, I, I reasonably, I can't expect to see him or the Minister of Finance or so and so. If I really, really need them, I'll expect that thing. But at the end of the day, I agree with what the same fella said. It is be, do, it is be up to you within the society to manipulate yourself and try to make the best of the situation that are available while you might articulate and, and be activists in some ways to change it because we could always try to improve it. But that don't mean that you don't have to get up in the morning and try and sacrifice for you and your family. Mm-hmm. That is not the government that gives you that. If you're fortunate enough to benefit in some legal way from the government, you know, you will see what. But you can't go out there with that kind of mindset that the government owe you that. Yes, I worry about six I'll vex for them if they can't do that. Hmm. But I ain't looking for nothing from them in the sense that on a personal level, except good governance. Pension for, for me, all right, pension for this one, that for this one, that. Mm-hmm. Once it's legal and it's legitimate and it's justified and what have you, mm-hmm. you know? And as I say that, Trinidad is a real nice place. I will end by saying this. Eh? Mm-hmm. There's a fellow who came out of prison and lives in a pavilion close to me in the area then. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the best thing for him. And later I was hearing somebody saying, boy, you know, that period he out, he bought a year and something out. He said, that is the best, the longest I see that man outside for a while, boy, that man always in jail and so on. Mm-hmm. Well, I just listened to the old talker. Mm-hmm. And then the conversation developed, and the fellow said, well, look, boy, that man so slack. That man get any pension. And the man wouldn't even play safe for a place to say He preferred to stay in the pavilion there, mm-hmm. so, so I asked but the man has been looking good these days. I said, well, maybe going by Red Cross and thing and mm-hmm. getting some clothes and thing because Red Cross is a good clothes because people do need clothes that, you mm-hmm. know, a couple of times all kind of thing, you know. He said, boy, that man, all that money, so and so, so I laughed mm-hmm. and I said, this man, Trinidad is really a nice place. After all, all he probably do, distress people up and down, what and what. Yeah. He collecting our pension and living in the pavilion. Well, it's a best, it's <laughs> a good place. Have, have a, you have music playing in the night, you know. <laughs> if you're walking late in the evening, you plug in something and you <laughs> go check <laughs> that. You know, uh, yeah, we know what we have here now. Anyhow, <laughs> have a good music. I know, thanks. Well, of course, you know, it's a nice place. It is, you know. And um, who don't want to accept that? Sorry, but it is a, I mean, it's a nice place. It's one of the best places in, the best place in the world to live is right here, yes? You know? But that's how we um, do it here. So that's how we, um, we, we, we do it here. You know, um, interested, interesting conversation and um we see how things to go from here tomorrow please god we see what's on the agenda because a lot of thing happens overnight so um tomorrow please god we see what's new because you know things happen so quickly we had to keep up, right? And there's a lot to keep up with. I have a set of documents here, but I didn't. Uh, I, I don't have time to go through all of them today. You know, things to discuss. But the discussion today was interesting, and um, there's always something to learn every day, 
right? Every day, there's always something to learn. Because there's always something that you don't know about, you know. And these programs will help to rearrange your ignorance. So, stay tuned to speak out. And information will be passed on to you. All right? So I think I'm going to pull it down for today. Until tomorrow, please God. Keep your feet on the ground and keep on reaching for the stars.
the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago continues to resonate through the alias of WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC.TV. While the rest of the world goes on, we stay rooted in the rich soil of our culture, celebrating the Trinbegonian spirit that dances in our hearts all year round. WAC Radio 90.1 FM is your constant companion, bringing you the essence of Trinidad and Tobago. Shine bring the way you're watching with your eye glistening. Give me a rhythm with a dance and swing. End up denied with some good, good loving. And I'm so blessed to know you. So please just let me show you. Cause you're everything I want and need. And when you walk all, you know what giving it all. Yeah, let we get it on. I love the way you're up down inside. Come now, let we bubble up a good time. So 
you, baby, when you come, I'll be fine. Come now, let me hold on our waistline. Woman, come bless me. Come bless me, woman, come bless me. Come bless me, woman. Come bless me, woman. So raise a battle, yeah. And in a theater, you're loyal, yeah. Girl, you alone want me to hold tight to me now. Your body, your car, so you start to perform. You know me love just how you turn and twist. I've been in love, but nothing quite like this. We up in the party, couple smoke, couple drinks. Prime time wine, make you feel pure bliss. So what me tell you? I love you when you're up down with time. Come now, let we bubble, love a good time. Baby, when you come, I'll be fine. Come now, let me hold on our waistline. Come on, let's go. Come, let's go. So come right over, let's make love through the night, yeah. So we can run away, come and follow me. And if it's everything you want, that of a male. Cause that is how I feel, give you something real. So baby, come hold me closer. Cause I love you when you're up down with Come now, let me want my have a good time. Baby, when you come, I'll be fine. Come now, let me hold on our waistline. Come on, come let's me, come let's me, come on, yeah. Come bless me, woman. Come bless me. Ah yeah, woman. Come bless me. The way you give me that, woman. Come bless me. Woman, come bless me. Woman, come bless me. Won't you come? Won't you come, please? 'Cause I love the way you're up down with me. Come now, let me bubble up a good time. Baby, when you come, I'll be fine. Come now, let me hold on. Come bless me, woman. Come bless me. Come bless me, woman. Come bless me. Come bless me, woman. Come bless me, woman. Ooh, alright. Patrice again, yeah, yeah. Me not have no chill with the waistline. Every day I have some in a waistline. Give me speed, give me juke, give me baseline. Give me baseline, give me, give me baseline. The place get hot when I go down. Make it bubble like butter on the stove now. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. Steamy, what can make your bun down? Cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. I, 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 arch back, rotate. Come, let me fix you a place. You never know it could have taste like that. Good flavor, opinion. Uh, no chill with your waistline. Uh, Every day I'm some in a waistline. Uh, give me speed, give me juke, give me baseline. Give me baseline, give me, give me baseline. The place get hot when I go down. Make it bubble like butter on the stove now. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it. Cook it up, cook it, cook it up. Steamy, what can make your bun down? Tingle and stop, never run out. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. I, 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 but in a lazy, it a go wrong and wrong. Come up slow, then drop it right down if you want. Show me, show me, show me, you can take wine. Cause we know I'm no chill with the waistline. Every day I'm here, so me now waistline. Give me speed, give me shook, give me baseline. Give me baseline, give me, give me baseline. The place get hot when I go down. Make it bubble like butter on the stove now. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. Steamy, what can make your bun down? Ting on and stop, never run out. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. Get up.
see my team, we don't really waste time. Waste you come back, cause you know a real vibe. Hey. You wanna taste this one more time. Girl, let me start it. So call out the bridal party. Hey. We gonna make all the residents happy. Party hey. now, make it snappy. Hey. Put the queen in front of the king like Bobby. Hey. On the road like Bo. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run the drinks like Bo. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We wanna drink and party. Hold it. No bar when I stop it. No way. We are the life of the party. You know this. Live your life how you want it. Okay. Hold it, say we out and bad. Hold it, say we drink out the bar. Hold it, cause we life done hard. Hold it, we go party. Hold it, and every night in the bed. The best way to release your stress. Four drinks, cause we ain't done yet. Hold it, we go party. Girl, I make a trip to your hips and day. I walk away to your lips for a kiss. You're so sweet, so nice and day. And all your friends like a bag of empress. See my team, we don't really waste time. Your rounds up, cause you know what we like. You wanna taste this one more time. Girl, let me start.
and your bubble and go down there. Don't little bit, don't little bit. Why not go down there? Don't little, don't little, don't little, don't little, don't little, don't little, don't little. Hey, don't be ungrateful. Sometimes. Hey. The 1900 batch who enlisted into the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service on the 18th of April 1977 will be celebrating 47 years of policing experience. Be reminded that the yearly gathering at the Aquarium Restaurant in Kokia Village, San Fernando, will take place on Thursday, the 18th of April at 7 p.m. This is a call for members and family of Batch 9800 to come and celebrate this anniversary. For more information, you could call 724-6061. The Lake Asphalt Sports Club presents Bedrock Sweet 16 in full bloom on Sunday, 5th May from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m at the Scenic Lake Asphalt Administration Grounds out there in La Brie. Get your limited edition bloom tickets for only $1,000 while stocks last. Available at Atelier San Fernando, Papi's Watering Hole San Fernando, The Cheetah's Restaurant and Bar, Soka Island Restaurant and Bar, Point Fortin, or online at islandetickets.com or you can call 868-4101 or 292-022 292-022 or 686-4101 Bedrock Suite 16 in full bloom we coming right back of the Caribbean with an unforgettable getaway oh, no. 
Join us for Kaisoka in Panama Memorial Weekend, May 24 to the 27th. With an unforgettable getaway. Package includes round trip from JFK, New York, Miami, or Trinidad. Airport transfers and hassle-free travel. Four days, three nights, accommodation in Panama at the Tourist Day Alba Hotel and Suites. The highlights: Saturday night, jump out and dance the night away with the chosen one. Or optional, a tour of the Panama Canal or city tour. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. On Sunday, it's Last Lap featuring Posa and Prince Unique. Enjoy fantastic music and make memories to last a lifetime. Book now for only 899 US dollars per person, double occupancy. Limited availability. Reserve your spot today. Give us a call 646 399 0000. Kaisoka in Panama Memorial Weekend. Expand your mind, improve your personality, develop your skills in public speaking and hybrid leadership. To register, call Shiana Allen Productions at 764-5473. Classes begin in San Fernando, the 4th of May to the 27th of July, 10 sessions. You must be 17 years or older. Mind, personality, and skills development. It's you, knowing you, being you, give you a chance. Something good gonna happen in this year And I am grateful that I've been On Saturday, May 11th it's Eba Music Festival, the ultimate Mother's Day event. Napari Mabol Amphitheatre San Fernando. Come, let's celebrate the divine feminine energy with Empress RJ. Collis Durante, Nisa. Stephanie Joseph, Naomi Sinek, Jaron Nose. Darren Shepard with NLCB Fonclair and Farmer Nappy. Tickets are $250, available at Cache, Eastgates, Center City, Trin City, Port of Spain, and Gulf City. Java Nation at Food Hall, Piaco Plaza, Sion's Bar, San Fernando, and online at Island E Tickets. Napri Mabol Box Office, Friday 10th and Saturday 11th May from 10 a.m. Or call Pat at 770-1241. Showtime, 6.30 p.m. Gates open at 5 p.m. An exciting welcome party awaits you. Best dressed mom wins two airline tickets to Grenada. Eva Music Festival, Saturday May. May 11th, Napri Mabol Amphitheater, celebrating the divine feminine energy. Something good gonna happen in this year. Just about 20 minutes away from 4 o'clock. Good afternoon, everybody. It's the first installment of a brand new week. It's Monday. Blessings gonna find me Inside the Culture Drive, Mr. Desmond and Tony P is a bit late today. I believe he's going to be inside. Yeah. How was your weekend? Wow. <laughs> round and round, these seasons I've been facing. But this year, your blessings I've been bracing. Hey, healing have you come my way. Blessings have you come my way. Winning. And we here to stay. Is the blessings me say will find me here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss if ever gonna find me here. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. How are you going? Me, I good. I good. On you. I okay for the hour. I'm rainfalling so I'm cool. Uh, well, I, I I hear you say that already for today. Eh? Don't feel like don't be listening. I, I, hear you, you I hear you, you know. I hear you, know. Don't play that, you know. And you know why it's a walk again? Is that what? And you know why it's the girl for the phone? Eh? Uh-huh. I walk girl. Oh, okay, okay. You're a walk How lady. How was your day, you good? Yeah, good. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, tired, but good. I can get a good day yesterday, boy. Watch now. <laughs> la, la, we ain't talk about that. <laughs> All right, we'll talk next time. Then. All right, no, 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 you it, enjoy, right? it was fantabulous. One <laughs> yeah, what? No, 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 just for a little bit. All right, well, give, give your other horse a little drink. Up. The, the little you go to, to water up and come on. No, no worry. Uh-huh. All right, you go, on, you go to water up and come again. Uh, All right, cool. Cool. All right, cool. And I am grateful. 
Hey, I, I must big up the folks out there in my partner. And uh, I know there's so much of Aconian people out there too. Wow. Fantastic event yesterday, the RC Church. Until what, minutes past or oh, 10 30 last night? Incident free. And fantastic, fantastic jam. Wow, people like Sun. Whoa. Thank you guys once again, man. Everybody that I spoke with, everybody who introduced themselves to me, thank you so much, man. And all the listeners. <laughs> But this year, your blessings I'm embracing. Hey, healing of your company. You had a special host. My brother, I really can't remember your name, eh? honestly. But I wanted to thank you so much, man. You know? You know who you are and watch you smiling. Yeah, yeah, watch it. <laughs> And special blessings going out to Santana and the whole crew, Mr. Santana out there. And the whole crew put together that event yesterday, man. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Just about 16 away from 4 o'clock, here comes Keith Tyler. There are some people in this world, they want to make us in your soul. The things they do, just to get at you. If you don't have a conscious head, you could end up in jail or dead. When they provoke, them demands invoke.
in a crowded place, you make cooler and we day. It's been to find someone with a familiar face, so we could fit and celebrate. This is not the time to be alone. This is the time to wind on a bumper. So let's be amazing, be very amazing. What you're hearing, you will never get more than in the end. To play mass with me. This is not the time to be alone. This is the time to wind on a bumper. So let's be amazing. Be very amazing. When you're feeling the way every day, no time in the air. I want you to. Dexter Stewart, a.k.a. Blacks. Sleep in peace, my brother. Yeah. Ban your belly. Let's Winston Bailey take you up to news time. That's in four minutes' time. We have major four o'clock news coming your way.
much technology at our fingertips, we're not just covering the news, we're bringing it to life. Dive into a world where stories are more than just headlines. They're gateways to understanding the pulse of our islands. 90.1 FM News Pulse, where the future of news, the future is, of now. news is now. CK 90.1 FM. This is News Pulse 901 to 4 p.m. In the headlines. Former school maxi driver shot dead in Aruka. Tutor condemns threats against teachers and students of Barapur School. Regionally, Bahamas government welcomes return of Agribusiness Expo and internationally, lightning downpours kill 41 people across Pakistan. With the news in detail to 4 p.m., I'm Kerwin Borny. Good afternoon and welcome to Wackball's Major Newscast. A 69-year-old former school maxi driver was found murdered in Aruka early on Monday morning. He was identified as Dennis Afan of No. 5, 14th Avenue, Borne Gardens, Aruka. According to reports, around 12.35 a.m., Afan was shot dead while in front of his house. Police said there were gunshot wounds to the front of his neck. The body was removed from the scene to be subsequently taken to the Forensic Science Centre for an autopsy. Investigations are continuing. Several teachers and students of the Barapur East Secondary School stayed away from classes today following death threats. Reports say emails were sent to the school's official email address and two teachers of the school threatening to shoot and kill students and educators at the school either today or tomorrow. Only 10 teachers and 200 students were present today. The Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association has condemned the act and has described the action as an act of terrorism and treason. President of Tutor Martin Lumking has called on the cyber unit of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service to launch a full-scale investigation into this ghastly act and bring the perpetrators to justice. Despite the unease expressed by the school's administration and parents, Lumkin said the Ministry of Education decided against closing the school. Northwest Regional Health Authority CEO Anthony Blake is promising full transparency and disclosure to the parents of the babies who died at the Port of Spain General Hospital after an outbreak of a bacterial infection at the neonatal intensive care unit. Speaking before he received the pre-action protocol letters sent by the attorneys for the baby's families, Blake maintained he was committed to being honest and truthful throughout the investigation. He said Caribbean Industrial Research Institute and the Pan American Health Organization have been approached for help in investigating the deaths. Describing the incident as tragic and quite unfortunate, Blake apologized and said he hoped it does not affect the public's confidence in the hospital where thousands of babies are successfully delivered each year. Meanwhile, the opposition is demanding an independent probe into the deaths of seven babies at the Port of Spain General Hospital to ensure there is no cover-up. Speaking yesterday at the United National Congress weekly Sunday news conference at the party's Shukwana's headquarters, both opposition Senator Wade Mark and opposition MP Dr. Lakram Bodo stressed the need for transparency. The opposition members called for the resignation of Health Minister Terence Dial Singh and for the Prime Minister to fire him if he fails to do so. Mark said the Health Ministry's internal department alone cannot investigate this incident and the UNC is calling for the establishment of an independent, unbiased and impartial investigation into the tragedy surrounding the deaths of the seven babies. Bodo, a gynecologist, said he has delivered thousands of babies as he detailed the care that would be required treating babies in a neonatal intensive care unit. He questioned what unit infection prevention and control protocols and practices were breached. Three houses, six vehicles and a pet dog were lost in a fire in Freeport that police and fire officers were told was initiated by a resident burning trash on Sunday. The devastation took place in the community of Mirage Avenue on Mission Road, located within a few kilometers of Freeport Police Station. The concrete and board houses were decades old and occupied by three families. Spokesperson Michelle Ranjit said the relatives were left in shock, distress and anguish over their losses. She said while the family was grateful that no lives were lost, they were still reeling over the financial losses in the wake of the fire. Police and fire officers were told that a resident was burning trash close to a bamboo grove at around 10.30 a.m. and the flames began to spread. Within minutes, the fire reached the premises, destroying three houses, six vehicles and a pet dog. The fire service responded with four fire tenders and officers extinguished the blaze. Police officers from the Freeport station also responded and are continuing investigations. If anyone wishes to assist the families, they can contact a relative at 771-0927. 
Director of Local Beverage Producer Ramsaran Dairy Products, RDP, is threatening legal action over his inability to source foreign exchange to import paper-based cartoons for a new water product. A pre-action protocol letter to the Attorney General on April 15th said in March and September 2017, Request by Rajdanan Ramsaran, founder of RDP, who refused by Finance Minister Colum Imbert. The letter alleged that Ramsaran's application for foreign exchange necessary for his livelihood have been consistently been refused, while other companies and consumers of forex are treated differently and more favorably. Originally, the Bahamas government has welcomed the return of the Agribusiness Expo after an absence of five years, saying that it could not be more timely. The Agribusiness Expo 2024 launch over the weekend is being held under the theme Agriculture is Bahamian Culture, and Prime Minister Philip Davis said his administration is taking critical steps to promote agriculture and fisheries as meaningful and lucrative opportunities for Bahamians. Internationally, at least 41 people have died in storm-related incidents across Pakistan since Friday, including 28 killed by lightning officials said on Monday. Pakistan's National Disaster Management Authority has warned of landslides and flash floods because more rain is expected in coming days. Punjab, Pakistan's largest and most populous province, witnessed the highest death toll with 21 people killed by lightning between Friday and Sunday. In sport, Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association President Kath Gale said his administration is putting plans in place to host a summer training camp for junior athletes in preparation for the World Athletics Under-20 Championship set for August. Gale explained that the association is concerned that several athletes would be left without training in the weeks leading up to the World Athletics Under-20 Championships as most schools will close their track and field programs after the pen release. And the 23-time Grand Slam tennis champion Serena Williams said she is super interested in adding a WNBA team to her portfolio. Even before she moved away from tennis, Williams' company Serena Ventures had invested in 66 startups including 16 unicorns companies valued at more than $1 billion. And as an experienced investor, Williams says women's sport is an overly safe bet when it comes to investing. That's a look at Pulse News to 4 p.m. Recap in the headlines. Former school maxi driver shot dead in Aruka. Tutor condemns threats against teachers and students of Barpo School. Regionally, Bahamas government welcomes return of Agribusiness Expo. And internationally, lightning downpours kill 41 people across Pakistan. That's to look at Pulse News to 4 p.m. on WAC 90.1 FM. You can get more news online at www.wacradio901fm.com. I'm Kerwin Borneo. Good afternoon. Since God made Adam in the heart of Eden. WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC.TV are diving deep into the heart of our culture. With the most powerful message calypsos of this season. And all you're hearing from those in authority Boasting how they're going to boost the economy Yet so many of us live in poverty Join us as we celebrate the stories, the laughter, the critiques and the soul of our nation to the voices of our Calypso. all who want to see me retire Whack 90.1 FM. Just like Rose Nelson or Kitch, still could move and sing in pitch. Look, friend, don't get me in a rage. Whack Radio 90.1 FM and Wath.tv, your home for unforgettable jazz moments. Look out for more details on our programming. It's only a tune away.
Those numbers to call 652-4901 And uh, 766-4920 Carry on, come in well, Come in, uh, come, come in, come in, come in. What? Here now, I saw a video That is circulating A buddy of mine sent me this vehicle That This youth Like, it's, it's a taxi Or, or her, her, her driver Just drop out the she couldn't be more than five, six years of age from school. Hmm. Came out at the right on the right side of the street. Right. On the and going in a gap. Right. Here not to be. And and God God I mean who who say he realized all your business? Hmm. But let me tell you something. I don't know if this car was stolen or whatever, but just as the youth crossed the gate, another car jumped the the the, 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 the drain the, right. and and end up well the man closed the door in time. Right where that youth just come out. Hmm. <laughs> I tell you, within seconds, hmm. and the child start the ball because, because she, she realized. Will, she will know. Hey. So that, that, you, you hear what I tell you? I I. And, and here was the goodness about the whole situation. My boy jumped through the window and gone and run and gone and left the car right there. The man who crashed. The yeah, man who crashed the car. Crashed the car yeah. <laughs> so I wonder if it was a it, stolen car. And if it was a genuine accident, he'll do the same thing. Well, but the brother with, with the other car closed yeah. his door in time. Hmm. I tell you that to show you how the split second. But you see cameras, cameras is, is, is a real it's a god-given thing right now that because they're picking up stuff they're picking up to good, good, good bad and indifferent yeah, everything yeah, 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 everything, yeah. everything everything everything, everything. What? and these are things to show people the unguarded moment you know going somewhere and you you were supposed to leave your mind till you leave here and leave and you know but we tell people go through that in a way not camera to, to show to that, show uh, that, 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 that that time in yeah. it. but partner watch me hmm. that youth that youth that they, this thank you jesus yes Watch that. Yeah, because that'll be another, another one of the small young, and, yeah, young and, one. and you know the scene in the hospital with the 
with the babies and that? Yeah, about seven. I, I heard that. that, 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 that yes, no. Well, the thing about it, he would not know until the lawyers, like lawyers take that case. The kind of thing may not sort of read out the, the, you know, the boom, 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 but heads are the rule. Um, the minister said there's going to be an investigation because there have to be, because we're talking not one baby, it was a couple babies. Seven, I know. And what they were saying is that some people that was their last chance to even have a baby, some people that was their first. You know? So, no matter your spin, it was important. But what, what the, the, the children just got infected with something and died? Right. Or and that is where we just got a little late to the party with, with total information. So, uh, as is that, and they accepted it. Now, we did hear, well, okay, how did, what was, was that virus? And they had them in the, in the, in the space and it was contaminated unbeknownst to them. You know, so, but things have to come out. Somebody have to say something because it's more than one baby and seven. Yeah. Wow. What? That 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 just goes to show, right? You you don't know what it is going to happen in any space, any time. If you understand, well, no, true. We're, we're true. Talking about true. The day before that, everything was going good, and, then and the day it. before that, everything yeah. was. You, you understand? And you just don't know when, whatever is the strike. Yeah, with a strike. spirit on them children, you know, as you see that wap, 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 be, be, be beheading. And right now, with that whole case now, you're getting you know, I don't even listen to it because everybody now coming out and saying this news, and that. Um, and look at more, tape, that yeah. are tape playing with. And then a neighbor come and say she hear some chanting. And I say, well, all eyes after the fact, yeah, the baby gone now. But the thing about it is... I just heard on the news also about the back post school where there's death threats going out to the teachers and that kind of thing and the teachers then, then show up for school and <sighs> so <laughs> come so, on so you, so you those who we want to get education somewhere you're getting caught in the rock wow but that's not where that's coming from of course of course of course you, you know it can go be it's gotta be somebody with some with their arms along <laughs> mommy and dad, daddy coming when he pass in the school they are the hush I see, um, well, video showing everything. This one at least was true. I saw a, a busload of police taking some people away and out, like from Habana. Mm. Yeah, man, and they just put in crap, boy. But it looked like Spanish, now, so. Yeah, but because a partner of mine was telling me yesterday, he had a party to play in on Saturday night and uh, and, and it cancelled because, uh, that, that put specific, because they're going with a whole squad. Eh? Yeah, and they say they find marijuana and Xanax pills. You know? Wow. Uh, so look as though they they they, they have this the, the spots of course that they just go to because uh, when when it's done it had a group and still a lot of people in there spanish looking like them must he walk out like when we in america they must you make sure am i going out in i walk in my paper working yeah 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 <laughs> my yeah. paper work in my purse or in my bag or well, pocket so, or wherever so them, them show that they could then correct because them. after they done move everybody you see people like they start back to dance and you're seeing a lot a lot of spanish too so but Another one that is circulating is where the maxi driver got a five thousand dollar ticket for having a radio in his, in his maxi. I didn't understand that you're supposed to have a license to have a radio in your in a maxi taxi. Oh, to drive a maxi? To, um, no, to, to to have a radio in the maxi taxi. I don't know. I can't say because boy, I travel uh, a maxi for uh, foil well, and mana radio. I don't know that well, that was I against the law. Well, that, well, that is what um, I, 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 they had a video when the guy tell him, you know, there's 5,000 here, you're going to get here now. Hello, good afternoon. Gentlemen, good afternoon. Oi. Good afternoon. And how are you all doing? One Just day at a time. Right. Mm -hmm. That we are talking about. I hear a tune play there just now, boy. I know, but I tell you, that tune hit, hit the thoughts for you. A uh, uh, old butter here, yeah, cool. All you want me to sing it for you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Man. On this station? You know. <laughs> <laughs> All you want to bride me for that, boy? No. Um, um, George, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. What does yeah, happen sometimes, yeah. right? What does yeah, happen yeah, sometimes is that fellas that want to, 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 to tell the world certain things, so they will call <laughs> here. They will call here and express themselves. So you go ahead. You're old, but okay. you're old, but you're cool. Go ahead, Georgie. <laughs> Go ahead. Gentlemen, yeah, yeah. All you take it easy. You too, you too. Well done. All, right, all you do it like a boss. <laughs> all right, brother. Yeah, all you go, go right ahead now, man. Mm. Yeah, that's on Tony. I old, but me cool. Not we to tell that nobody.
two angel of a gas tank explodes. It's serious. Good afternoon. Welcome here live. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Robin Carly. Yeah, I live with the minister and the Stalin money. And you know what? You can't get killed there. I hear the news just now. And besides that, why are you going to go to a lot of Western and so on? I know we're not a castle of them with Panama and so on. I just thought in my mind that I'm going to go to a little bit. They, they did the the hey, money, Carly, money, Carly, money Carly, pass weekend, boy. I so, see some, men collect weekend. Something so. happened here. <laughs> All right, Carly, boy. All right, good. Yeah, money. I see men collect their checks so <laughs> any week here. So, Carly, it come in. It did go, it come in. And he's talking so? He get it already. Oh, he get it? All right, all right, all right. He get it already. And we're looking for a promoter to help with the soak and one So, let me know how much you want to put in the thing. Hello, good afternoon. I just am. This is second time. Yeah. Money today, you, know? Uh, you know the place hard. The place hard, brother. All right, boss. Cool. <laughs> Check the story. They said two people were warding a bab, 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 hospital apart. After one of the persons he died Friday, this man was repairing a gas tank in his kitchen. No. Repair? Not much. Can't be repairing the the the. Um... You know what I say? <laughs> <laughs> that why. That why I I say well, something. The story and Matt Sinner. No. Repairing He's, a gas he tank. He said he attempted to light the stove to test it. And, and the gas tank blew up, injuring both him and his daughter. Well, luckily, he had sprinklers. And the, the system, you know, uh, activated, preventing the spread of the blaze. And this caused the apartment to suffer water damage. The injured people taken to the hospital, blam, blam, blam. Repair. I. <laughs> Let me know, sir. No, we had to say something no, how, because. How, how you tank, you know? No, he had to be repairing the, uh, the head. The head. Had to be that. And you know, it must be a leak. But you can't repair a head. No. Anytime you get a leak on that thing, regardless. Show, if show it, that. Show no, that. sometimes the, the pin, marble, the, the, right. the, 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 the pin, the stick. The stick on it. Right. Show it that Show part. it away. You know what I'm telling you? Yeah. It? Show that away. Don't play you pull it down and you, and you, and you spray a thing, bam, 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 and you, right. and you, and you put it once or twice. That you're gonna end up in trouble. Well, and two, I would end up. two. There's a lot of 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 those things that come in faulty, that, faulty. That, yes. that especially they said that coming from, from China. Guangdong, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. from the Orient. Orient. You go you're not gonna name a country and, and, from the Orient. Well, whatever. But the thing about <laughs> it is, you need to go somewhere like what selling the NP product. Yes, and get a proper, and get a proper head. 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 You know, nice true. Yeah, you are telling you. Nice true. Because if you say you doctor the head and then light this to a photo and, and gas tank blow up. Uh, hmm. Check that, you know, from stove straight that 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 went straight back down to the tank, boy. Serious. Hmm. From the time I go man, if I start to smell gas, I pull it off that head one time. Plat out. Because sometimes when your tank finishing up night, I know what has caused that. Your head good enough, but when the tank like it on its last limbs. You just get a little sniff. I don't know where that has come from. So maybe one of the gas people can tell me but, uh, why was, that happens. I, I was home. And I smelling gas and I hear this thing. I tell them oh, nobody interfere with it. Right. Nothing, you know. It's that just gas just escaping. You know. To the head. To... Good afternoon. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Those gas tanks and them. Um, the... the... Head of, the head does have a rubber. Yeah, you had to look yeah. for that too, yeah. You see that rubber? If, if you are, if you are, when you are smelling gas, you take, you take out the rubber, turn it inside out, put it back on, and check for put on your head again. But I ain't gonna and give back the truck that. I ain't not no, turning around uh, nothing. <laughs> that is what happened. <laughs> the truck taking back the <laughs> gas, the thing working. Yeah, yeah. You're trying, you're putting um, soap water to check for leak after finish that. Down. Uncle, I am not a repairman for NP. Okay? okay. Nice. Right. Have That's a nice day, right? But thanks for the info. <laughs> thanks for the info. Yeah. I tell that you don't know. Yeah, because I didn't know what he was doing for the tank to blow up. Because he, he repaired the tank. Hello. He must change the same more. Right? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hey, hey what's up? All right, let's go and see something. Yeah, 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 for sure. 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 Yeah, 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 for s
once there's a malfunction or anything goes wrong, mm -hmm. you have to get rid of it. The majority of them are. Hmm. It's, it's been designed so for a permit so they can make more money. No, I agree with the caller who who uh, who just called, you know. No problem, you change on the rubber. But you ain't sure it's the rubber. No, 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 no. No, because if you take it in, they're not gonna change it. You know, they'll give you a new one. You're supposed to. Alright, so All right, brother. All right. All right. All right. All right. I waiting. Um, that, that's a good thing that you must not only have one of these tanks. Right. Right. You have to have at least a little two. Right. So you know, one empty. Oh, or yeah, you have the both of them fill. One give trouble. Right. You have enough time to wait for when the gas tank pass, truck pass back. Boss, this air working. Right. Come. Now don't tell me you're gonna change no rubber and give me back no tank. You understand? They the, say use. Yeah, the ones but just leaking. It's the ones just just go clack clack mm. on off this way. And it's the ones now where they help with the better cooking with the with the. With the gauge on the head. No, that that die for barbecue pit. We could turn it. You mad, Tony? And uh, and lower down. That gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you mad? You let you, you use that? Pardon. That is for cracker partner. That is not for no normal stove. <laughs> yeah, hey, you <laughs> <more. laughs> The game blue flame with that one. Blue, yeah, blue and black. <laughs> <laughs> Blue flame again with that boy. And black flame too. <laughs> you tell them that. Uh, no man. Uh, that can't And your tank does done quick. <laughs> <laughs> you cooking on a cold pot. <laughs> <laughs> Marble on the head. What kind of stupid? Nah, that, that's for cracker boy. <laughs> that's not for normal stuff. Marbles uh -huh. on the head. But uh, the praise God that they're still alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What? And if all else feels like it's just plug in, you know. Papa, now, when that blowing, that, if that connect here and in, in your chest, because when that blowing, mm. it's not just fire, you know, that tank rolling with it, you know. Yeah, well, it will be fire and coldness and whatever. And, and the tank. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause when that like, yeah, like, like a jet is flying out, yes, like a glass. If it yeah, breaks, it goes yeah, splinters. Yeah. So when they get on their foot, they say apparently, like when it, like who was close to the stove or it or whatever. But that would not be a nice feeling. Oh, of course not. Good afternoon, welcome. Yeah, good afternoon, gentlemen. You mean here, what man? Oh, yeah, what man? What man? Yeah. Um, Desmond, Mister Desmond, he was just saying there that um, thank God, um, Tony is still alive. You know. Mm. But on a serious note now, you know that reggae artist died like that, Sanchez. A tank blow up on him. Now, it wasn't Sanchez. Garnet Silk. Garnet. Who it was? Garnet, Garnet Silk. Silk. Right, I, right, right. Mm. Sanchez still Sorry. alive. They were one yeah, another. Sanchez still here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right. So, you know, th there's a serious conversation I have in there. And also, uh, Mr. Desmond, I hear say something that's not about... Um, Man does get ticket for having or they need a license to have um, music in the in, in the maxi. What is that about? Well that's what I read in that I I, I I saw a video of which some licensing officer he said it from his mouth that he this is a thousand dollars violation that that the guy because he have a radio in his maxi. He, he asked him if he have a a, 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 a license for it. And then I just wow. saw something on Facebook here where somebody making some accusation about it also. You understand? So wow. we need to find out yeah. if that is real or not. Yeah. You know? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. yeah but yeah, they, they, they have right? stipulations, especially for the maxi taxis. Eh? Right. So it's a possibility. Yeah, no, no, you I, have to have some, because remember, they can't have loud music. Again, again. again, again. again. So right. they probably have to have a license to even have a radio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know. think that's why men born. That way men playing Wi Fi. That kind of thing. Yeah, so you you just think your phone that I have no radio. Everything is Wi-Fi. Everybody come in and they... And they no music playing their charge. You have to no, have a license yeah. to play music. I, no, them have their phone charge the passenger. The music you hear is on his phone. <laughs> hi, partner. Hi, Tony P. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, hi what's good up? afternoon. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, what's I up? Lo I love you guys. I just love you guys. Thank you so hey, much. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Be All safe. The time. Welcome. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, man. Yeah. Because, because you're saying not cutting it for fogs. Mm. And I encountered that situation. Right? And mm -hmm. it is not as easy be as some people think, right? Because from Vincent, because I had I have to explain that officer. My car naturally have the, the 
the lights in it that, come. That it will come, come with it. how it come. Yeah. Take it off. The license that it, no, it can't take off. You know why it can't take off? Because right. it's part of the light, right? Part of the light. Mm. <laughs> so it's not that an accessory because some of the cars that come foreign use, they have fog lights on, on them, the and their bonnet and on, yeah. I mean the bumper and bumper, stuff, yeah. and that that is really an accessory. Right. But or, this is part oh, of that it. vehicle. Take off that part. Put some board or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Like like I had a board too. All for taking up my time. Yeah, yeah, well, Dino, you go ahead now. Do what dance, dance. I call again and I say, "Well, real time." <laughs> 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 I'm on vex on everybody. That's a ban himself for a year. I have no comment on that. <laughs> I'm on vex on everybody. He ban himself. <laughs> What's up? Anyway, I see that that the police, it was reported on the news. Mm -hmm. So it's not alleged. It was reported on the news that the police said that a member of parliament, I wouldn't call no name, was apparently assaulted by an ex-boyfriend that they was at a bar having a couple of drinks and could see could and oh, they bar. took her to the police station mm -hmm. she gave she told them what happened mm -hmm. but when they got to the police station she refused to give a statement now mm -hmm. this is this is and this this lady professes to be a champion for the cause of women in the country. This is what happens when women fail to press charges and then the second time around they are either killed or beaten well, up well, badly. Let me tell you something. I, I, I get that a different... I have the whole thing on my phone here of which somebody in the legal fraternity sent to me. Huh. You understand what I'm saying? And it states that okay. they they were in a certain palm tree, right? You understand what I'm saying? Right. And going by the palm tree, that 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 is a big palm. But then did they make it to the palm tree? <laughs> there was well, in the, and, and, and then they leave I the palm tree and went on the road and. Well, there's all kind of thing. All kind of thing. Like there happened. was a <laughs> night for. <laughs> So they went to cut bamboo by the palm tree. Well, I don't know if the palm tree are bamboo, but I'm sure. But then again, well, I'm just saying, as 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 as, as here I say, so so you don't know right. what it's alleged. You know, well, according to the police, it's not here say. The police come out plainly and said, call her name, say that she said that they were having a few drinks and then. They left to go. I don't mm. know if it's by her or by him. And that he said, got global. They both got global and. And he hit her one or two slap or whatever. See so yeah, she gets slapped too? What? Yeah, that's what, that what the news say. Slap, okay. slap her head on the, on the car, all of that. Alright, okay. Alright, so, partner. Alright, alright, thanks. thanks. All right. I understand there are some rumors circulating. Now I want to thank everyone for their concern. I'm safe and I'm good. Hold on and look at some energy development. I'd like to thank everyone for their concern. Their concern? <laughs> 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 I don't know what people are Rumors your, what them spreading. There's claim that is. No, but everybody, regardless of what it is, status in life. Yeah, you have a life to live in. Of Alice course. Here. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Well, you're getting from the problem. horses. I want to buy horses, man. I want to buy all year. Uh. I want to buy all year because all you missed the ball totally with what the last caller was trying to say. All you just divert. And change the whole seriousness of the funders' contribution. All right, well, give me, right. give, give us it back. Since we we, we bypass it, we we exit out. Give give us it back, partner. Where you? You there? The former the former caller mm -hmm. was trying to establish as a as a leader as a female role model in the society. Mm -hmm. If you were, um, were, were, were abused in a domestic violence situation, mm -hmm. you should be the one leading the charge of making a report to the police mm -hmm. and letting the police deal with the matter, put the matter in their hands. You should not be the one, when you reach the police station, you don't want to give a statement. Well, we understand that. We understand that. We, are, we, we, we understand that fully. Go ahead, continue. You uh, all understood that, but you sidetrack the thing by No, 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 no. Call her, call her, call her, call her. Stick up in. Call her, call her, please. Call her, please. You know, you know, you just run off like on the other station. Stick up in. 
Uh. I just come in late. So I ain't was no chorus, so nothing much was said here. We listening. The guy brought up the point, we were listening to the point. And for you to remove that goalpost and bore us and not bore the man who do that. Or as you know it's true. And then put the board where it should be. I ain't taking that bar. I telling you, me ain't taking that. Right. You, you couldn't take the bar, but I want to board all year for not staying at just taking the All right, all year. All right, but I really need. All right, but right. Uh, Safe on aside from that. Safe uh, on aside from that. Uh -huh. I have another bar to to, to pelt. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is to the TTPS. Right? Which is before the before the information was re was revealed by the police, by the official police source, mm -hmm. the entire report verbatim was out on social media. Right? Mm -hmm. So it says there's no confidentiality. It speaks to no confidentiality and when you make a report to the police because the report could be out, out on so the same way you have it on your phone to send to, to Tony or whoever it is. So, so a, how, 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 you know, how do you know is that, that information came from the police? Sir? When you read that statement, it is from the police. Well, a five year old child could tell you how that is read. That, that, is, that is the views of the caller. Alright, so that's your view. That is my view. Alright, but, but is, say that now. That say is that. a direct statement from the police. Alright, brother, blessings. All right. Have a nice day. From your partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that side? How we know that? Partner, he and Dax, he and the brother are good, you know. Yeah. Remember, they just do a whole soliloquy on this brother. Yeah, hold on. On, a, have... on a million dollar program, you know. He have a segmented. He have a segment. Hello? <laughs> yeah, there's no Tony P. Yes, hey. sir. Well, Tony P, I pass. I want to hear. There's no, you say, yeah, he was sorry. I don't, I don't want nothing, I... brother. I no, have no, no. nothing. What I'm, what I'm, ho I'm hoping that you could update the nation when you get the final report. Because I want to know what she was doing outside after 2 in the morning when she was meeting the constituents. So what, like she's not a human being? Wow. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. I, I went to get a gyro, no, but I went to get a gyro. So, so what all is right, she? I, she? She, she, she's not a, a, a citizen of Trinidad and, and Tobago. All right, you, you butter it however you want, right? Here the man say butter, say but, butter. But what trouble is? You know the man say butter. Well, there's one. Go take me and answer. Is there's one and you talking? Eh? So don't call back like yeah. I said, man and ball all year. You yeah. see, you and there's one was going on. Eh? All your good yeah, no problem. What she doing outside two o'clock in the morning? Hey, I just got some information. Me, Schmitz. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Right. Hello. I get you again, gentlemen. Go Right? I want to bore all who object to the taxi driver must not pay for it. You understand? The radio's in the car. Because we have to pay for our radio and our airplanes. All them planes that we had to pay for the radio. <laughs> <laughs> And me and here, and I carry me here. I, can, yeah, I get yeah. a good station to listen to for free. Yeah. And, then, and then each pilot must pay for a radio telephone license. You can't even go and use your radio in the plane unless you pay for that. So let them pay. All right, well, Blessings, yeah. Yeah, well, what yeah they, they, um, they were saying that the, the picture could have been a little misleading with the guy who was getting the ticket. I think after he, what they're saying, after they pass the laws, you're supposed to, ha to have a, a, a license, to have a CD deck. Yeah, a and, CD deck. Right, and um, it's not a voice note, but to that extent. Okay. So apparently, mm -hmm. he didn't meet the characteristics and like he must hear that and, and, and whatever deck it and, All right, okay. and he yeah. should and he had to right, report okay. it or whatever. Hello, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to find that call and I call and say we have to pay for radio. Where are you from? Well he's a Trinidad and living abroad, sir. He, All right, he, he may have flown one of your planes, he may have flying fly out of Trinidad to, to any yeah, destination. Yeah, any he's that and you see mm. and you see that where the problem is mm. that the crab in a barrel syndrome that we just suffer from. Mm. So because you in your country that you live in right now have to pay for certain things, you mm. find we must have to pay for it. Why you not? Why not? I think you was being sarcastic, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, brother, if you're no Cappy, we just call him Cappy. I think he was being sarcastic, you know. That is just part of it. You, you that, that doesn't come across like sarcasm. Yeah, well, okay, well, we understand that. So it's all. You remember, ten people have been in a room and nine laugh and one and get a joke. So it happens. 
question. Now don't ask me oh, nothing, no, boy, boy, boy. I know nah, today's song in like you're a song in like your viper. So call me back. No, no, no. I want to ask a question. Call me back now, man. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me ask her. Huh? Does taxi drivers have to car? When I say it's taxi, mm. car. Do they have to pay for their radio in the vehicle as well? I do not know. Because when Desmond brought it up just now he, as on a tape that he saw, he didn't say it was so. He was saying that, hey, social media. I, so I, don't think I never like really get through that. that. I never went through that. Call, but you can't tell me you're charging maxi drivers for having a radio. Why? But Why not? Let me hear this tape. Eh? Be, because radio. watch me. Let listen to it. After what? they listen. banned the loud music in the maxi. Right, taxis, go ahead. Go on. They brought laws. It wasn't always so, yeah. like that. So, so, so. You see, right, and the problem in Tobago, mm. and you, the you see the problem in Tobago, and Tobago, as we have re- as we have recently discovered, but by people testing the system, the problem in Trinidad and Tobago is that people don't take the system to task. You cannot tell me it is illegal to have a, a radio that are that in a maxi, and the same for that takes twelve people and a five seater vehicle or seven seater vehicle don't have to pay for the same radio. It's only because somebody and take them to court. And let the white people with white hair wig tell them all you're doing foolishness. Why this is continuing to happen? But just what they did with licensing office, somebody with testicular, testicular fortitude did with licensing office that the judge could tell them, hey, all you can't be charging people for, for these kind of things in this country right. until somebody they takes need, them they, to they, court. They need people like you. Why, buy oh, God, you big man, <laughs> my brother, and, and I want to take this real serious. I fed up I had side, you know, on the slips, you know. Uh, we want to be right. Back. I really need you to run up the from the from the from the boundary and and give me the Michael holding yeah, yeah, and bowler and bowler the side now. You know. I, I, give I, me I some bounce. A fed up of you I being in the me. slips, you are a better fielder and a better player. A bowler, right? You is a man. We need you from the boundary running up like Michael holding to bowler the side. So we need you now to come with the with the what you we want. With your logo and come forward now, man. Put your hat in the ring now. Oh gosh, no, no. Put it, you see? Well, then, well, 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 you see? Well, well, fix. Have a nice afternoon. Have a nice afternoon. Have a nice I ain't afternoon. talking to you again. Don't call back on. All right, have a nice afternoon. Yeah, yeah. We tell you, you are. Use a man. Use the man. Six years ago, this man sent me a picture. Me him know the man. <laughs> I know him from here. I get to know him after I see him in a calypso thing and I realize, oh, it's you. All right, you're connected. Okay. <laughs> send me a picture. Of a toilet. A toilet, uh, a toilet in Karani. And the toilet get fixed. The toilet beat out him. <laughs> flag and flying. I said, there's a man who care, you know. There's a man who care, so stop slips in, in the slips. Uh, we want you, we want want you as a main bowler. Uh, good after that. Right. <laughs> good after me again, gentlemen. Uh. Hey, I want to hit you up for me. Listen, even Caribbean Airlines, at all. you need an original line. Wow. Everybody around the world needs a line. Uh, but Tony, I can't use the plastic. It's more support for me. We know, we know you, we know you. <laughs> Remember, I ain't know if come back to me coming out today, so like it kind of edgy now. Yeah, but. <laughs> 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 yeah, but. Yeah. There's no other serious oh, thing, right? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I quote in the Minister of Public Utility. Because so what? You see, the, you see the men who. Allow the be racketeering to go on with the truckers locking hey, the water. And boy, all this kind of thing. That had an explosive. Whoa. There's who I want them to find the fellas and shut them down. Shut them yeah, down. Yeah, you want them to find some, some, some something that they already know? <laughs> what you want them to find? We want them to find. So, how the truck was going? <laughs> Where the water was coming from? Come now, boy. Come now, boy. <laughs> Who, who buy new car over the last couple of years? Oh boy, <laughs> you, 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 you know so sometimes they really Tony need that, that say the way you that call and you have to think before you talk <laughs> sometimes, you know. Because any, I, I, I mean, who you want them to, to, to find? <laughs> <laughs> How do people get the water? Oh God! How, who do, who you want to Who sign it off? Who, yeah, who, Where we get it from? Come the man. Who was driving? Over that 10 years, I'm a truck break down on the... <laughs> yeah, when I hear that, I say, uh, um, fat man, all the call me. Call me now. You think that happening up in table line? Because I hear, mm. I've been hearing, I don't know, from sources and people reliable who live there, they say, boy, Tony, we always had water problem here for 
20, 30 years. I said, all that time, all they never get. Boy, it's truck born, boy. It's truck born. You had to think for a truck sometime. It go come once a thing, but for touch inside a little child, Tony. Right. I say, but you serious? But a place like that? No, but there are plenty of people who depend on truck born water. Right. So it is a business, a lucrative. A, a lucrative. Business. It's apparently a lucrative. <laughs> Hmm. Hey Tobago, don't worry yourself. You know. Tell this mm. money or get smart because now that you're getting a, a ease up to call, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hustle your words. Jenny, we need you to call us <laughs> and let me know what's happening. He's with on a sabbatical. What's happening with your husband? He's he's now doing his chanting and <laughs> since the since the eclipse, he has eclipsed. Doric has eclipsed. Jenny. He's now chanting the mantras. Indeed, you know, we just call you out. He's Jenny. doing more mudras at home. You <laughs> yeah. said, you know, some mudra? Yeah. Yes, he's doing a lot of mudras. He's tell us what's going on with Dark. He's into yoga and he's reading a lot of Confucius books and Song Zhu. Stay quiet while they fight. Hello. <laughs> yeah, there's hope. Hey. It's not a matter of me asking to find him or Everything in this country that starts with an investigation mm. and ends with an investigation. We like it so. No, no, but, 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 but the thing about it is. Somebody, I want to see some trucker mm. or some company being held accountable. But now go to, go to uh, Alaska or Georgia or something to see that now. We're talking about trucker and company. No, but the thing with both all, I should bust up both all your head, right? <laughs> yeah. The reason for my busting up all your head is all they don't like people that big be held. Yeah, just don't I hear mean, hush. It. Jerry just make it jail on that low. On a night and easy and call it, George. It happens. <laughs> Only in Trinidad. Welcome to Trinidad. But if you want to see the actual <laughs> truck being confiscated, uh, Alabama, <laughs> Alaska. Hello. <laughs> hey, what I walk in the way, George Abu and them, and a big boy tried to get between that kind of a can of going on the real water. He in the ground, boy. He was the boss for him. All right, Carl. Yeah. Right. Thanks, sir. What's up, boy? Thanks for the info. What the? My question is, with what everybody is saying, with what's coming to the light, and that's just the, the little things coming to the light, not the big, big stuff. Can it be fixed, man? Supposed to be. Can it be fixed? All right, here, 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 how the whole thing start, right? Mm. First, to begin, you have to have a telephone number to dial. To get out, to get out, right. to get out. Right. Cell phone, telephone, telephone. Right. Good afternoon. I would like to get. Mm -hmm. You well, yeah, you are talking to a machine on the next side. Right. I would like to get X Y Z. That's the second part, right? Right. Okay, where you living? Right. Good. Information received. Right. We will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Hmm. Good. How we pay? Well, right, well, while the whole transaction went down in right. that call day, right. how much, which part, blah, blah, blah. Right. Good. Receive. You have to make another call now to the... Right. Uh, hey, you have to go X, Y, Z. Well, as you're up there. Three, three X, Y, Z, blah, right. blah, 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 blah. So there is two people involved there. Right. Hopefully, the third one is the man who had to put from the source... Into the truck. Water full up. Right. He's a he's a next man. Tree truck coming up, eh? So. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So look, I know they can't tell me all they do no wait coming from. No, we don't. We don't. I'm just a driver. I reverse the water going. <laughs> <laughs> and I drop off. And I drop off. <laughs> me ain't even know. I never even see any human pump the water there now. First first I do even business. When I reverse, I get I bang, 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 full up. I drop. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, you look good, yes? <laughs> no, but there are people who depend on them too. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the minister jump in and they sit again. And so let me see. Let's. It shouldn't have done. We just get hype up in one week. And then it, days after, you yeah, ain't yeah, yeah, hearing nothing going on. Yeah, know if anything happening, or you'll never hear about the story as yeah, you say yeah, again. Yeah. But if that years and you do the maths per truck for decades and wherever the case is, that millions, man. 
so what, and, and, and millions of, of, of the go, well, I mean the government in charge of the water right Wasa. right so you who who, who, who you eating paying, that food you who, who you paying right well, that, that, them well, eat well, that food them paying you but who you paying to get that right that's where the problem is well as we hear now you know i see all this looking full in we can use all that in it and all they want to fight me down for this little hustle and it are two men losing girls yeah you well, know that you know that's man that, that, long road, that yeah. main explanation yeah. and i went by where the main boss and i full up a barrel i see there was interrogated a man who they catch now mm. the man trying to lie about 10 times when he think well i know i just um but then I, I custom drop in the water. No, no, I don't know who I come here to, you know. Every, but the man, that man changed his story so what time. But I guess <laughs> whoever talk might have a fly out. Yes, this channel, I don't know. Whoever talk might have a fly. Because I, I, I know for a fact that, and, and you know when all of these things does really come to pass? When election coming? No, or? when, when, <laughs> when, when, like when the water had drought season, Right. When it ain't hard. And, and they, they, they're trying to, right. you, you, you know, reserve water and that kind of thing. That's right. when all of these. But when the thing, when the regular when, flow, right. nobody does study nothing. Because they were also saying that some of the places they realized, because they stopped at a couple of trucks now. They went on their own little zoom bin, following the truck and realized it. Boom. And they realized men pulling that water from not a proper source then. Well, that is the next right? thing too. So man, so you you you, you selling our water that not even treated. To kill, to, to kill people. To, and and going home and sleep comfortably, boy. I mean, I I got four loads for the day. Four by X way way. I think it's eight this day. Right, look at that. Like, a thirty two. A brr. Without paying a cent. Yeah, but is it then cheated us? You will go and full up an uncheated, boy. It are people will, but you making joke or in your war water? <laughs> yeah, but I, I want to dare to. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Tony and Desmond. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, good day. I just want to inject here. I know that you guys make everything into a, a fun and happy atmosphere. Right. But um the, the fact that we are now in 2024 mm -hmm. and there are people who are not getting water to be able to bathe to send their children to school mm -hmm. i mean i am experiencing it because i'm a business owner mm -hmm. and i have kids that are telling me that they can't come to work tomorrow because they have no water to bathe mm. i mean this is Trinidad and Tobago, we are one of the richest countries in the Caribbean. And why is it that it is, it's, it's a joke that people here find water to come to work, mm -hmm. to bathe, to wet their crops, that they're, they're, they're depending on a livelihood? Come on. All right. This is sad. It is but, sad. And, and let me let you know, I know this voice, eh? You understand? So yes. thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank so you, thank I, you. I, I want mm -hmm. you all to come across. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's fun. Yes, we have to laugh. And that's, that's what makes us mm -hmm. Trinidadian. Yeah. No, but let me and tell you what happens. Let me tell you what happens on this program too, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. With all the fun and all the laugh, we, we are very serious when very we come serious. to things like that. You understand? Yeah. And, and the people understand that too. You understand? Yeah. So it, it, yeah. that, uh, we, we know for a fact that something as, 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 as water is a very serious thing for people. Serious. Very, very serious. Serious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are places that get in yeah. water mm. that can afford to buy water if they need. If they need, yeah. And then there are places that don't have water that can't afford to buy. Yes. Thank, oh, no, thank you so much, sweetheart. Blessings. Yes. Sick fight champion. No bad man afraid. 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 No bad man
Sometimes in Trinidad and Tobago, right? Let me have an interesting text on my phone here. Let me just. Okay. I have a little text here stating too that people don't like to pay the water bill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 because <laughs> for uh, every put take the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good evening again, fellas. Mm. Now I've seen a little news clip in here. They say a couple rescues migrant migrant girls from a spa. Who goes to the couple? Mm. Water to the spa. So, so, well, so what we do? Couple wait, rescues wait. migrant. So, so, so what the <laughs> yeah. spa is what? They say spa. We leave it as that. That's what they label it. I ain't going for that. But you're having people working by you and they have to be rescued? What is that about? I like, you, I like you, you know. Is you calling me to tell me? No, I ain't telling you more. <laughs> Go <and find> out. <laughs> what? Are you good with Yeah. Tony, let me tell you something, right? In, in, the, in this world, there are things there are things that some people will take very very serious and there are things that people really don't care a damn about yeah but people so, are not, so, sometimes people are not the place that too because i can tell them something you know we go solve all their problems <laughs> but then they go leave me in the cold you know because as i say it's like you come home a day and your mother beating you for something that you ain't do now boy and the problem right there in front of them for them to deal with it now who them had to deal with because okay. this is not a new problem and you ain't repeating nothing that ain't repeated. Mm. And we know, but you see now nobody ain't going to say certain things. So the easiest thing is a low hanging fruit. Eh? Pick. A low hanging fruit. But we all know in Trinidad here, the, in all the games and all the tra la 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 and everything. We know where the problem coming from and who. You were saying it before, you know. Not joking on, nobody didn't pay that attention. And they know. And people have to know. And you were saying that. Mm. And the same thing Trinbegonians, everybody knows. Because nobody ain't coming to walk in them place from, from space. They ain't coming from another country and they're bringing a whole set of them so they have a racket running. Right. So, I, you just leave it at that. The thing about it is, right, things in this country, or any country, to, to, as a matter of fact, could fix them. Anything could fix, but a man, the, the people here, 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 how things work in China, especially with, because I live in here. Right. I see how it does work here. I, I I like you. You ain't about to be doing nothing for me, you know. You ain't giving me nothing. You ain't helping me in no way. And I just like you. And I say, hey, you need to go there. If you understand what I'm right. No, you're not helping me. You're not doing nothing for me. But hey, Tony boy, Tony, have a nice song. You know? I, I think I can put my vote there. Because at the end of the day, hope everybody has a standard now. now. But this country been going down... For decades, it's real things and like I say, people just pick uh, this fruit and or when it's convenient, when, it, the same thing, when yeah. it's not convenient, or don't say this now because it's not the time to say it. You understand? And we've been doing that all the time. We don't stop and fix nothing here. Yeah? Final, uh, final call. Yeah, gentlemen, good day. Yeah, good, good day. Who is this? Um, that we I have a, yeah, Michael. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, Michael, boy. Amen, gonna call in for you, boy. Blessings, blessings. Mm. I have a, I felt it up with a question. Why places like West Warriors, Mocha, and all them places on them don't ever be out of water? How you know right? that? Because yeah. these places might just be a rug, so I could tell you, they don't ever be out of water. If I, if I line bus within 15 minutes, what's up, fix it? They might take about an hour or two hours to fix it. Water come back again. Why they can't do the same for poor people too? What what is the what is the real problem? Uh, and you, like you, you want to answer? Question, what is, 
and you don't know yeah. and you don't know yet michael where to go to have that answer there's a real forums where you could go and ask that question everybody could see you you could ask it directly in our face and and see my and see people's stomach so why come on radio now and accent we don't do that when you no, know no no I, no i want to hear out now because i was going with us people right we don't ask the questions yeah. to the people who need to hear it you know we asking jim bob the cow the dog right who have no power and authority and we shielding others yeah but you know what when they ask them they don't tell you ask the people because the people vote for so and so and no, so, no, no. so you want to ask those who lead in again partners no, yeah. all let us call here and talk things that all they don't know. That is not mm -hmm. how we just do it here. And how do you know that they they, they, they tell them go and to talk to who they vote for? How do you know that? <laughs> because listen to me, I have a little movement in my knee. Uh, so when we see the minister, that we just approach them, right? Right? Mm. And you know what they will tell you? What are the people you vote for? And will you decide to do about that because? The, if somebody tell you that well, the people, to your face. The people, are them that, the people are them that I vote for, what I do see them is when they pass in, in the in the car with the with the outriders and think I can't stop them and ask them. All right, but here what man, but hold on, but, but you're gonna vote for them after five years again. If I go and write a vote so. How you just vote? Hey, no, no, no. Go, goodbye. All right, that one Goodbye. I mean, like, <laughs> that, 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 I'm a chini. Oh yeah. Thanks for your calls. Thanks for your opinions. Remember, this program is, I mean, infectious because some people just blow. Uh, yes. Everybody on board. Everybody. Michael, when you have your baggages in your car, you know? Pass by the Pass and check, Wiener. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, Mr. Tony and Mr. Um, I know for a fact that some of the people, like people up on Maraval mm -hmm. Hill, Diego Martin Hill, the pressure of water within the pipes do not go up. Right, and so that's true. They had, mm -hmm. they had a truck, truck borne water taking it. I can attest to that because my son used to have to go and work afternoons for Wasa to do that. All right, so that's it. Okay, Thank and then, you. you know, some places don't have a river or anything like that because a lot of people up on the hill are using pumps. Okay. Okay. Thank so, you so much. Yeah, man. Okay. You're welcome. That's it for Boa. Time for five at five inside the culture drive. Oh, yeah, just be nice. Uh, be nice. Tony, be nice. Oh, Tony, I come later. It's you. Come to me. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> me, man. Be nice. What, me? Eh? Hmm. Oh, yeah, don't repeat nothing you say, nah. Uh, like that? I said, don't repeat nothing you said. The news? Time for five at five. Call us up. Man could change my destination. Man could give me some vacation. Five at five. Good afternoon. Hello. Afternoon. Sorry, this is I'm glad. I'm Desmond. What's up? I am a lot. Can I have a Lord Commander, please? Uh, who? A last commander? Lord Commander. Lord Commander. Oh, God, girl, you just me to do some work here. All right, good. <laughs> five at five. Good afternoon, Mr. Desmond and Mr. Tony. Oi. Yeah, right there, yeah. My Trini. Trini, okay. You could rob me. You could beat me. You could cheat me, but you can't. Lord Commander. Lord Commander. Lord. Lord Commander. And Trini. Five at five. 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 Five Brown Trini, right? Yeah. Five at five. Yeah, good evening. Can I hear? Can you hear what? Yeah. yeah, can I hear? Can I hear Baron, please? No problem. Man could place me into ditches. Man could bruise my face. Take my place. The night and the day, no 
want to take away. Five at five, welcome. Hello, five at five. Good afternoon, gentlemen. It's impossible to get a Beckett. Beckett, yeah, man, cool. Alston, Beckett, Alston, Cyrus. Cyrus. One more, or Dyson? Yeah, we'll take some. Dyson. Are Dyson there? Yeah. But, yeah. Time for five at five inside the culture drive. Five at five. Patrice again, yeah, yeah. Me not have no chill with you waistline. Every day I have some in a waistline. Give me speed, give me joke, give me baseline. Give me baseline, give me, give me baseline. The place get hot when I go down. Make it bubble like butter on the stove now. Oh, when I cook it. Cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. Steamy, me, what can make your bun down? Ding on and stop, never run out. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. I, 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 arch back process. Come, let me fix you a place. You never know it could have taste like that. Good flavor up in your face. No chill with your waistline. Every day I have some in your waistline. Give me speed, give me chill. Give me baseline, give me baseline, give me, give me baseline. The place get hot when I go down. Make it bubble like butter on the stove now. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. Steamy, me, what can make your bun down? Ting on and stop, never run out. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. I, 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 but in a lazy, it all go wrong and wrong. Come up slow, then drop it right down if you want me. So, if you're not able with the best, then go so. Come, 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 show me you can take wine. Show me, show me, show me, show me you can take wine. Cause me now have no chill with the waistline. Every day me ask for me now waistline. Give me speed, give me show, give me baseline. Baseline, give me, give me baseline. The place get hot when I go down. Make it bubble like butter on the stove now. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. Steamy, me, what can make your bun down? Ting on and stop, never run out. Oh, when I cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up, cook it, cook it up. I, 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 but in a lazy, it all go wrong and wrong. Come up slow, then drop it right down if you want me. Find me there. Cook it, cook it, cook it up so. But in a lazy, it all go wrong and wrong. Come up slow, then drop it right down if you want me. Find me there. Cook it, cook it, cook it up so. Time for five at five inside the culture drive. Me up. 
should be in Trinidad now. The weather is the same. The stupidity is the same. <laughs> On all things being equal, even after elections, stupidity will remain as normal. <laughs> and we want to tell people that if you have family in Trinidad, ring them and tell them vote because in an election, especially in Trinidad, if you do not vote and somebody who you didn't like win, you go, sorry, that you didn't vote. If, however, you didn't vote and who you did like lost, you also go sorry <laughs> you didn't vote. If, however, you do vote and who you like win or lost, it then go make no difference, it's pressure. <laughs> because in Trinidad, the election decides if you're going to take five more years suffering or if you're going to suffer for five more years. <laughs> So we are ready, willing, and able to take pressure. But certain things that they're letting go in Trinidad, the flinging on we is a problem. First to begin, we have a problem with cable. 64 channels of all you <laughs> does not help Trinidad at all because at least at least 63 cables are all you and have nothing to do with we. The other problem is, we don't mind the program because we know it's lie and straight-nosed people will always lie. <laughs> but the problem is, the advertisement, and Trinidadians believe in advertisement and we could get in trouble. And there are two advertisements right now that are giving me pressure in Trinidad. The first one is a drug called Meridia. Now, with Meridia, we ain't sure what it's for. <laughs> However, if you have certain things, you can't take it. If you have arthritis, osteoporosis, sinusitis, bleeding gums, loss of memory, hearing problem, dry skin, cracking skin, oversized navel, yeast infection, you can't take it. However, if you don't have those things and you take it, 
These are the side effects. Running nose, swollen ankles and joints. And at the end of about 19, where you can't take it, if you have those things, and if you didn't have that, you could take it, but it have eight things you could get. It have a old man that's come and say, I'm ready. <laughs> she could be ready to death, but don't give it, do. The other thing is a thing called Rogaine. Well, you know Rogaine. Only three weeks ago I find out Rogaine does grow here. <laughs> However, with Rogaine, if you take Rogaine, the side effects are Serious back pain, loss of memory, a hint of Alzheimer's. You could explain to me what I would have afro being bedridden and can't go nowhere. How go help me? Yeah, yeah. That is 
how newspapers sell. Yeah, yeah. The bomb and mirror take DK. Jack Wanna Sunshine as well. They say you will see great factor bill. Cause half that post see they teeth up till how they get their money, they cannot tell. But like they barely, they fuck it swell. They say don't talk about the cabal. They do bad mouths. They could line with Donald Trump. Much to move it on. To raise an and money land. They do bad mouths. How will foreign banks say down? Much to move it on. They do bad mouths. Much to move it on. When they mouth spoke, there was a trap. Time for 5 at 5, Inside the Culture Drive. Diggy, diggy, is not 
touch broke hard. Yes! Ah, so ma. We are do she with me little thin ass, Keisha. How I took she with me little thin ass, Kata. We are do she with me little thin ass, Lydia. How I took she with me little thin. You should see them jump and sing. When I took them with my little pin. Oh, na, na, na. Small pin no too hard. Small pin no too hard. Huh. The girl them a ball and the girl them a sing. When me took them with me lick up in ball and the girl them a sing. When me took them with me lick up in me and back it was like me one day. Bounce up on this girl live fake. Beckett went over me now know him say what he start to fright away But me here when Beckett took you with the pin The A was a whole different something Never little and hurry out the thing that you can Now and me a come at the yard Now and me get took from the pin The A she start to reel up and thing Now she tell Susie and she tell Jacqueline Now all of them just a sing Small pin does too hard I live in my own life to suit me. I ain't busy say nobody. I live in my own life to suit me. I ain't busy say nobody. If you do go, they got something to say. I want your body talk to the same way. Black and white, everybody just talk each other. I'll even go so far to include the commander. But that don't worry me for anyway. You got people who say things of you. No matter what you do, and whether good or bad, if you must lie or it's true, they know your business better than you. And if you follow them, you surely go crazy and drown yourself in the sea. And that is why you see you're going to live me your life to suit me. Man, I do hell with everybody. And when a man can get work, they say how he lazy. When you walk in plenty, they call it you slavery. If you can't change your clothes, they say how you nasty. When you dress in plenty, they say you never see comfy. If you have a little raise, they say you spend big papi. And then if you're poor, they just call you hungry. They will bat up from the sovereign lady. Down to the dead people inside the cemetery. But I don't worry me, for anyway, you got people who say things of you. No matter what you do, and whether good or bad, even if I always true, they know your business better than you. And if you follow them, you surely go crazy and drown yourself in the sea. And that is why, you see, you're going to live me your life to suit me. Man, and to hell with everybody. If a man be the wife, they say how he wicked. And if you are just beat him, they say she have him stupid. Both when he speak to her, if she doesn't say him rude. And your little boy they say he ain't bad food. If your son don't resemble you, they say not your child. Your madam could be an angel, they go say she wild. And when a woman can't breathe, they call she a mule. And when she making children, they just say she playing the fool. But I don't worry me for any way, you got people who say things of you. No matter what you do, and whether good or bad, it's true. They know your business better than you. And if you follow them, you surely go crazy and drown yourself in the sea. And that is why, you see, you're going to live me your life to suit me. Man, I'm with everybody. When a man break one jail, they call you a baggy bun. When you live in the sun, they say you're playing gentleman. If you like a church, they criticize a religion. When yeah, five at five, uh, you got some strange ones today. Yeah, Beckett, Patrice Roberts, Baron, sprang along by the old sprang was yeah, Trini. And yeah, Trini had a, a one day I hear in a while too. And Lord in the background is Lord Commander. Commander. Courtesy of of um Miss, Miss who? Chrisita Samson. Miss Samson. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she like she just go to school or her. You see today I'm gonna to give them that. Yeah, yeah, and that's good. We learning because plenty yeah. of them names she calling on these songs. I've never heard them and you are better for it when you can learn something. Hey, those, hey, here we say the phone go ring. Let's see all they are talking about. All they do, people don't learn. So, something good gonna happen in this year, and I am grateful that I've been on Saturday, May 11th. It's Eba Music Festival, the ultimate Mother's Day event. Napari Mabal Amphitheater San Fernando. Come, let's celebrate the divine feminine energy with Empress RJ. Collis Durante, Nisa, Stephanie Joseph, Naomi Sinet, Jaron Nose, Darren Shepard with NLCB Fonclair, and Farmer Nappy. Oh, 
Tickets are $250. Available at Cache, Eastgates, Center City, Trin City, Port of Spain, and Gulf City. Java Nation at Food Hall, Piaco Plaza, Sion's Bar, San Fernando, and online at Island E Tickets. Naprima Bowl Box Office, Friday 10th and Saturday 11th May from 10 a.m. Or call Pat at 770-1241. Showtime, 6.30 p.m. Gates open at 5 p.m. An exciting welcome party awaits you. Best dressed mom wins two airline tickets to Grenada. Eva Music Festival. Saturday, May 11th. Napri Mabol Amphitheater. Celebrating the divine feminine energy. I, 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 Morrow presents Bueno Kaisel 2024 on Sunday, 28 April 2024 at Garden Jewels, Southern Central Road, New Village Point 14. Featuring an incredible lineup. Abbey Bailey, Brian London, Miguela Simon, Pauline Quashi, Tiny, Keon Cupid, Sexy Susie, Tish Official, Juby, Fire Tender, Christopher B, Wendell Eon Morrow, and Wally the Saxman. Sound powered by Chrome Audio and the original Inferno Asylum. Doors open at 6 p.m., showtime at 7 p.m. Early bird tickets are $140 available at Wayne Electronics, Main Road, Point 14. Thanks to the Music TT and the live district music. Don't miss Bueno Kaiser. 2024. See you there. Live streaming on WAC.TV. In the heart of our community, the rhythm of compassion echoes strong. This April 26th at 7 p.m., we invite you to experience I Am My Brother's Keeper, a concert with a cause, live on WAC.TV. Karina Shea, Chucky, Trinidad Rio, Lady Gypsy, Lady Adana, Pharaoh, and many, many more. They're not just hitting the stage, they're standing shoulder to shoulder with Ronelza Joel Peters and her family. Every contribution, every view, every share makes a difference. Act now, spread the word, and let's show that together we embody the spirit of I Am My Brother's Keeper. April 26, 7 p.m. Be part of this extraordinary night. TV. Be there. Be the change. We are our brother's keeper. Join Supat and friends, Sharon and Alicia, on a return trip to Ghana from the 13th to the 22nd of November 2024. The tour will cover three regions, Accra, the capital and surroundings, Kumasi, the capital city of Ashanti region, Aslan Manso, the Slave River Last Bath, Elmina, Cape Coast, Door of No Return and Impact during the slave trade. Let's meet up on tour again. Call Supat 240-472-2140 for occupancy rates and details. Limited space is available. Ghana, we are coming back. experience a celebration of music, passion, and community like never before. Fonclair presents the Fonclair Forever family. Naparima Bowl, San Fernando, April 27, 2024, 6 p.m. Showcasing the excited Gabrielite Steel Orchestra and Peville Panjama, Fonclair Juniors, Fusion Steel, and the one and only Fonclair. <laughs> Performers, the Fontclair Golden Steel and the San Fernando West Secondary. Get your tickets now at Fontclair Enterprises Lotto Center and Gift Shop. For more information, call 377 3185 or 610 Fontclair presents the Fontclair Forever family. Hey, crazy in the country. 
is Lone and Kati. Contender say, come enjoy 73 with me in his big, big. birthday concert. Bigger and better. better. Friday, 26 April at Cafe Blue Rice Road from 8 p.m. with some of the biggest Calypso and X Temple stars featuring Crazy, Trinidad Rio, Johnny King, Oronga with the Hendrickson family, organizer Dr. Will B, and Trinity with X Temple by Gypsy, Black Sage, Myron B, Niall Manswell, and Gary Ranks. All backed by Michelle Henry, Kaiso Kaiso Encore Band. Showtime 8 p.m. sharp. MCs Sherlyn Hendrickson and Omari Ashby. Get your tickets now no. at only 150 at Tuco North Zone Office, Crosby St. James, and Tuco's Head Office, 45C Jerningham Avenue, Belmont. Plenty giveaways as usual. Contenders say, come enjoy 73 with me, me. in his big, big birthday concert. <laughs> Bring out your mums for an evening she will remember. The WAP Fan Club of Central Florida kicks off the WAP Radio's 20th anniversary celebrations with a Mother's Day concert by Sister Ben. At the Marion Oaks Community Center, Ocala in Florida. Come and be inspired on the 12th of May from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. with soulful songs from Sister Beth. Admission is $30 in advance, $35 by the door. Refreshments will be served. For tickets, call Shortman 813-263-2127 or Dancer Boy 917-753-3123. Just for you, moms, it's Sister Bev in concert. Get ready for an electrifying night with Connector's Music at Connector 32 on Sunday, May 5th, 2024 at Twilight Family Restaurant and Bar in Scarborough. Celebrate 32 sensational years with Connector and the band Impact. Featuring show-stopping performances from the likes of Preacher, Barnett Henry, Marco Menfifi, Sandy, and more. Experience the magic of music with top-notch artists, DJ Double Impact and DJ Jackie, and the vibrant energy of MC Shane Supal. Doors open at 3 p.m. The musical extravaganza kicks off at 4.30 p.m. Don't miss this unforgettable evening where melodies come alive. Be part of the musical journey with Connector 32. Twilight Family Restaurant and Bar, Scarborough, May 5th, 2024. When the time comes to honor and celebrate the life of your loved one, you can trust in the dedicated and compassionate staff at Clark & Battery Limited. With over 100 years of experience, we can tailor every detail that reflects your loved one's unique story. Whether you're considering traditional funeral services, cremation, or pre-planning for the future, we offer a range of options to meet your needs and preferences. We're here to provide the support and guidance you deserve. Contact Clark & Batu Limited, 652-3488 or 665-5266, or find us on Facebook and Instagram. We also do chapel rentals for all denominations, for the funeral services, or for the repast. A tribute to Reno Bayer, a gifted singer, an entertainer, a panis, a Trinbigo cultural export in the provinces of Canada and Orlando, Florida. Representing these twin islands with pride, come relive some memories of this stalwart. Hear his struggles, hear his triumphs, hear his history. Monday the 15th, 8 p.m. on WAC.TV and WAC 90.1 FM, where we honor our cultural icons and stalwarts. Don't miss it. When you want some fun, I bet you can't get your hand to raise. That's why I'm a whip. Wap man. 
and I, I done. done. Uh, the 9800 batch who enlisted into the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service on the 18th of April 1977 will be celebrating 47 years of policing experience. Be reminded that the yearly gathering at the Aquarium Restaurant in Coquia Village, a yeah, nice restaurant, San Fernando, will take place on Thursday, 18th of April at 7 p.m. This is a all call for members and family of Batch 9800 to become to come and celebrate this anniversary. And for more information, you can call 724-6061. That's 724-6061. Yeah. Join News Pulse 901 for Sports Spotlight on the home of culture, WACK 90.1 FM. In the headlines. Welcome to Wack Pulse Sports Spotlight, bringing you the latest highlights and scores from the world of sports. I'm Cohen Bourne. Good afternoon. Organizers of the ICC Men's C20 World Cup 2024 at West Mesa and the United States are hailing the start on Monday of sales for party stand tickets for matches in the tournament. The announcement came on Friday from the ICC, the sports world organizing body, to coincide with a 50-day countdown to the start of the tournament. Party stand tickets will retail for $25 US and can be purchased on Monday from the website tickets.t20worldcup.com. According to an ICC news release, General tickets are also available for purchase on the ticketing website and will be available at box offices around the Caribbean when they open in the coming weeks. Party stand tickets will be available for all matches across the Caribbean, including those at the group stage, Super 8 semi-finals and final. Additionally, limited hospitality package options are available for all matches across the Caribbean. In the United States, packages to all eight matches in New York, including for Pakistan versus India on June 9th, are now available to purchase. The Ben's T20 World Cup will feature 20 teams for the first time, making it the biggest global cricketing showpiece ever. The new elected president of the Trinidad and Tobago Football Association, Kyron Edwards, says he wants to see this country qualify for the 2026 FIFA Men's World Cup in North America. The former East Zone Football Association president took over as head of the TTFA on Saturday after four years of local football being managed by a FIFA-appointed normalization committee. Speaking to the media after his election, Edwards revealed that qualifying for the 2026 World Cup was a vision of his new administration. He said he would meet with the chairman of the Normalization Committee, Robert Haddad, and work on the handover, which included meeting the staff. Saturday's elections were the first in the TTFA since November 2019. Widely regarded as the greatest batsman of all time, Brian Lau on Friday celebrated 20 years since his world record innings of 400 not out against England in the fourth test at the Antigua Recreational Ground. Lara's innings was done in a brisk 582 deliveries, helping the West Indies to pile on a total of 751 for five declared, eventually ending the contest in draw. Former teammate Peter Jeffrey Dujo said Lara's innings showcased his brilliance and ability with a cricket bat as he took advantage of favorable batting conditions throughout the innings. Six months earlier, Australia's Matthew Hayden had slammed 380 against Zimbabwe in the process, erasing Lara's previous world record of 375. According to Dujo, he saw signs from the young Lara that he had the making of a future great because he had an appetite for scoring heavily. He added that the concentration level that the former Trinidad and Tobago cricketer possessed was a critical attribute to his greatness. Italy-based company Mondo is busy fine-tuning the building of a vibrant purple truck for the Olympic Games in Paris, France from July 26 to August 11. Christopher Samuda, president of the Jamaica Olympic Association, said the move is helping to redefine sport. The track is expected to offer faster performances than the one used at the previous Olympics, where three world records, women's triple jump, men's and women's 400-meter hurdles were broken. According to President Samuda, making the track faster does create the risk of invalidating the achievements of athletes leaks of former generations. World number one Scotty Scuffler won the Masters for a second time after commanding performance at Augusta National demonstrated why he was the red hot pre-tournament favorite. Scheffler, who led overnight by a shot, hit a 4 on the 68th in Sunday's final round to finish four clear of 11 under. The Oklahoma City Thunder settled a historic contest for the top seed in the Western Conference for the final day of the NBA's regular season. The Thunder thrashed the Dallas Mavericks 135-86 to clinch a top spot heading into the playoffs. Defending champions, the Denver Nuggets, also won to seal the second seed, while the Timberwolves lost and had to settle for the third seed after losing 125-106 at home to the Phoenix Suns, who moved past New Orleans to secure the sixth seed in the Western Conference, following the Pelicans' 124-108 loss at the Lakers. That meant Phoenix 
in an automatic spot in the playoffs, while New Orleans will have to play two games in the playing tournament this week to secure their place in the postseason. The Boston Celtics beat Washington Visit 132 to 122 to finish with the NBA's best record 64 to 18. The Orlando Magic, Indiana Pacers, and Philadelphia 76ers all went into the final day level with the Miami Heat one win behind. All won on Sunday, so remain in the same positions from seeds 5 to 8, meaning the 76ers and Heat have to face the playing tournament. And the Knicks beat the Chicago Bulls 120 to 119 in overtime to take the second seed from the box, who were thumped 113 to 88 by the Orlando Magic. And Stephanus Sitsipas beat Asper Rudd 6164 to win his third Monte Carlo Masters title in four years. The victory took Sitsipas to seventh at the world rankings. Both players are set to play in the Barcelona Open the coming week where defending champions Carlos Alcaraz has been forced to withdraw with a forearm injury, but Nadal is set to make his comeback. That's all for now. Thank you for joining us on Wack Pulse Sports Spotlight. Stay tuned for more sports news and highlights. I'm Kerwin Borneo. Good afternoon. Hey, Pachico! Hey, hambre! Symphony.
just about nine minutes away from six o'clock. In the background, Owen Rez Johnson, aka aka Scontos. Hey, you know, you see all the thing going these days with people, you know, call him a name correctly. Scrunter. Okay, Scrunters, I just call him. I'm a friend. I know, I know you are the liberty. People might know because he called your name in our song. And I, and I ain't sue him. So he said that's all the way you want. Yeah. You eat our food off. Him. <laughs> First song you open, Desmond, give me some water. water. Right on the hey, uh, mm-hmm. we must say our heartfelt condolences goes out to Celia, Celia Barnett mm-hmm. on the passing of their matriot, her mom, mom yeah. uh, all the sisters, brothers. I don't know the whole setup, but I'm sure we're going to get more information. But we want to say on behalf of the Culture Drive, which she always listen, Mr. Desmond Tony P. She has been working with us at one, one Yeah, Celia always yeah. used to be working, but the moms and Celia, everybody used to say and lock on to the station. Right. Enough times I'll get a text saying we're listening, you know. Right. You know what I mean? So I know it's, a, it's very solemn, sad, and, you know, it, it came right after Bevel, Sister Bev's mom. Right. So condolences are you know in order and um yeah so we wish you guys you know i mean a good energy money for dogla but but two beers he said one is for you one is for you. and i drink the two of them yes. no better be you can't drink two beers <laughs> but right but that tell she bought the two beers say one for this one one for tony and i drink the both of them so mon repo dogla yeah yeah mon repo dogla she let's say oh no she's gonna be smiling all okay. Wait, well, a stag or a car? Car, I don't drink stag. Stag is a man's beer, boy. That's why I don't drink it. No, man? <laughs> this one, is that you? That's why I don't drink it. So, what's the, what's the, what's the latest, boy? Um, you know? What's, where's, the, where's the energy in the ground, in the town? How people are feeling and saying? Trinity Night is always nice. I ain't seen nothing wrong in China, right? You know, long ago, they had, yeah, your mother had a saying, that's how you make your bed, that's how you sleep hmm. on it. That is what it is. See us? How you make your bed is so, so you lie down. Yeah. So if I decide to be a wicked, evil ass man, boy, and, and dealing on the high science level and the, the underground things now, we are saying, I go lie down and make my bed and that's how I go lie? That's how you no, lie. I lie down in a bends. You see that we get a little hole now. We get all of them little zoom, 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 and we go on with the. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and when the time for the bends to be up, we're gonna lie down. Me and care, <laughs> me and care, <laughs> me and care. When the time for the bends, the them turn fight for it. Me and care. I don't pay for my thing. Nobody I go on. Know, you remember how you get it, you know? Nobody ain't gonna know. Nobody ain't gonna know. And then we chop and um, the boy tell him, ah, hey, hey. Boy, me and him going up there. <laughs> I tell him, them, hey, no, 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 no. I boycotted. I ain't waste. I go in where I, where I know I go be welcome. Uh, that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> the same place you go. <laughs> I ain't sure what happened. No, me, I, I, it's a metaphor, and it's not us we speaking about here, people, because you know, like sometimes people whom and they oh god, but they're talking about Demon Tony and no, no, yeah. Hello, it, it's just up. a metaphor. Good it's afternoon. a game. <laughs> good afternoon, you guys. Wow. Hey, 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 oh, hey, my oh, fair lady. <laughs> Listen to me. Hmm. What an afternoon. You know, sometimes I prefer to just listen. Right. Yes, yes, my dear. And have me laughing when I And you realize your boy have a new business. If you're looking for anything, you can pass me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. I alert everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. How are you going, Mama? How are you going? Okay. She going and great, day, you know. I know yeah. if it was you, here we last say. You wouldn't even say nothing. Now let's get ping on the phone. On them. When you, um, as you, as you done work there, just pass it and check me. That is a day. Have a good evening. I love you. I love you. Yeah. 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 All does, oh, thank you. All does, man, does come and tell you is you had something to get it in the toilet now. Whatever. It, 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 it in a sink. Yeah, no, a, a lady came up to me yesterday, right? She said, use Mr. Desmond. I said, yes. 
But the music loud now. Right. She put her ears by my mouth and said, talk to her. Eh? I want to know if it's you. <laughs> I want she wanted to wanted talk, man? Yeah. Let me hear you. I want to know if it's you. Mm-hmm. I said, well, what can I... But, but, but the music was loud. Right. Now, I, you know, I'll ask you to come like when you back or something, girl. Oh, to hear, I, I go and bust my throat, us. I had a sing tonight, and, <laughs> and when I croak now, you boy, you wanna hear me now, vex. Yeah, anyway. How you come up here with the voice, horse? No, I horse my voice on the in the field here. <laughs> Trying to talk. I, I you hear this? Have you? Come in, back. You know, I I was honestly surprised that the amount of people up there would listen to work radio. Now work See, is highly favored, well, man. Well, 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 well. Work has its... Yeah. I, I mean, I learned that. You could tell me about that. I'm now coming also. I just put my TV to my leg and say, I know rich. Mm. Work is a rich history. Work has been going strong. For sure. You know? But yeah, they're surprised. I mean, I get surprised at the places and who will tell you, hey, boy, I'm listening to all you know, yeah, boy. So yeah. and so, we have... Yeah, we, look, we have the whole station here. Whole, I mean, whole work here. Log on, they would laugh, they would get serious. And the thing about work is that, well, at least I can only speak for an hour end. And what I might see, I might be wrong. So I do, I can't go into anything with anybody. Just I do try to go in nobody mind or nothing. But everybody, how they do it, they do it differently. And that is the great. Because I may listen to our station, right? I ain't gonna call no name. And everything is the same. And from morning till four, five, six, is like. Wait now, the voices sound the same, the topics, you understand know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like you listening to a recording. And no, no disrespect, but it's just our energy and that's what they that's do. That's what it is, yeah. yeah. But within work, once you start to com- communicate and get into work, from morning straight till the last batsman. That's it. Yeah. Everybody has a different way of doing things. And, and more than that, they are allowed. Right? To do things that they can't do elsewhere. And they are allowed to do what they do best. In their own way, for, in in their own style. I want I want, I want to test your, your ability of knowing, right? I just playing this little verse here. Tell me what song is this? That song like melody and melody and sparrow clashing or something. Anybody? And, yeah, song. Melody was none or something like this without. With I asking you, tell me. I can't tell you if it in a, a, a voice. Uh, uh, no, I want that. That's what giving you the head in. And, okay, and, well, I, and, and I open up the line. I go with melody right. and sparrow in the no. in the in the, the cursor. No, no, all right. Well, that, melody, that, melody. I go with on. melody then. I need the name of the song. Only oh, evil. Only <laughs> evil. You ask me the song. So I open the the lines. I just play again or this. Now why the call? I call at four, you know. All right, all you, talk, all you call me, tell me what song is this. I like I tell you, I out. Now, how you out? I just say melody. Pram, like one part. Pram, yeah. part up. Um, yes, sir. Like one part here, there. Yes, sir. Six five two four nine zero one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sp- yeah. One seven eight six seven. One seven um, eight six. Not Belmont. Two nine two two seven eight nine. Not Belmont. Huh? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Good afternoon. Good day, sir. Uh huh. Mama look at boo boo there. Mama look at boo boo. Now you're wrong. Sorry. Okay. Uh-huh. Georgie, you're wrong, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to call him my name to let the world know that he's wrong. So what now? That's my partner. Oh, no, well, we can't go. Well, next thing Georgie say we can't come. <laughs> <laughs> he can't come, Georgie. <laughs> I'm available. 652-901. It's a melody track. Yeah, but name a song. Brup. Brap a rap. Yes, now. Pap, pap. Belmont. So I'll get you as I say, Melo. Well, it's it easy day. That, that is a day, but just name the song. Well, I'll, I'll let somebody eat our food. Pam, pam, pam. One more. And if the phone don't ring well, that means all they don't know. Mmm. No, people know. Oh, I know nobody is saying. Remember, the, some of them can reboot that thing yet. All right, so let me let, let me go with this song. My melody. <laughs> well, I'm 
Baptist preacher living peacefully with four little children in love and tea. Do you know any bake? Yes, that is Jonah and a bake man. Do you know? That is a remix, sir. No, and your original Jonah and the bake. Then I will start. Jonah, yeah. Went to sleep and get up. Oh yeah, that is coming. Now hold on, hold on. Good afternoon. No, can I tell you, Jonah? All right, yeah. All right. Play the next one because I ain't believing. Yeah, there's no one to play. We have something else. But that is the day, Jonah the day. We, we use when Mr. Desmond. Fly up in the old man head. He rough up that and nearly killed the party. He went dead with whoop, 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 whoop. Surprise, um, Ambassador in Kuala and get that one, right? Right. And if he didn't run the dancer. Oh, if you didn't know, run dancer last week, he'll call and give you the thing, you know. You, you're heavy in the show, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, hey, don't laugh at, on radio again now, boy. You know when you're laughing, all you're upsetting people. <laughs> With the ignorant no. man, the more come with that man's on it. Yeah, no, yeah. oh, gosh, you dig a big here. No. That song's Parisian. Yeah. <laughs> One gone. That low Tony went down, they sound like Sparrow Boy. Well, the power fly you up big, the yeah? old man head. He rough up and nearly killed the poor children dead with whoop, 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 Talk your mind Mondays. Call us up, whatever you have on your mind. Well, I decided to find the minutes. Give me an and in fact, um, the matter in the power, he made some explanation in truth and in fact, I couldn't Good. understand. Where's the man who's singing that again? With his boy Jonah. Melody. Melody. Oh, melody. I like always talking in vain. Yeah, give me give an extra melody. Leave me neighbor, uh, I ain't yeah. talking again. Jonah. Give me the Bella Fonte melody. You take a big here. No. no. One God. One God. One God. Did he ever win a crown or anything? Calypso crown or anything? Like that? A road I match? I can't say. No. Any other well, people well, out there? One of the sweetest Songs? soakers ever. Is? And people don't if melody. Sugar jam? Yeah. What year that came out? 72, I think. So that when the soaker did now start to take yeah. off. Yeah. Sugar boom boom wasn't out yet? I ain't sure. Somebody call us and let us know if. Sugar Boom Boom was out. Seventy-two. Yeah, somebody. Hmm. Because I had a, um, I had spoken and said that, I mean, if 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 they said Shorty, invented, you know, it, right. well, Shorty invented yes, it, but not... Stephen cleared it up that this came after. Right. Because I was saying if this was before. I right, but then, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and what did they say? Did they add that mm, Maestro was before or, or after? He was after. No, all or after short, shorty too. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but and the, and they used to call this Calypso. Oh, this was Calypso. Yeah, they didn't know Soka. I mean, Soka did not start, but that they, this is basic Calypso. But it, the Calypso, Calypso of the day. What do we all call that? Calypso. We we'll call it again. I ask it in us. I just looking for education. Welcome. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good. Melody won road match with Maria. Melody? Sing Melody. Ma yep. Ma Ma Maria? Yep. Wait, wait, which one do you live? One Maria is there. You the madman? Unless I wrong. Desmond. Uh. Desmond, you wasn't Desmond, you wasn't there. I was there. Ma Melody win a road time. match with a song called Maria. Maria. Like Blakey. Were you singing the Oh. Oh. You know what? It's not me. It's your story. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Don't, don't laugh on the radio, Desmond. Desmond, don't laugh. Already laughing at everything. What? I, I, I plead the fifth. Are you pleading? Yeah, I know you calling and talking crazy thing. Hey. <laughs> and the man coming the brave, brave and brisk, you know. Hey, I was there. I was there. The man win with Maria. With Maria, the man that win it. Hey, ma, ma, God, ma, it looked like my father had to All start right. a bed, you boy. Are you ready? That's my boy. I, I partner from, uh, oh. from Miami. 
<laughs> now look call me and tell me what the thing about that one boy the man did no yeah he said maria boy <laughs> And I started saying, Maria, I love you so bad. The man said, I Blakey, but I Blakey. Well, I know that I Blakey. I wonder if it's the rumper getting tired. <laughs> yes. Because Blakey will be a rumper yeah, man too. Yeah, yeah. And Melody had a muff. Melody had a muff how he was balling. He had here and he had that wall, can you remember? Somebody call and tell me if they are the same trim. With a part. Apart. 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 Yeah, yeah, that, 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 yes. that's how he Because I know Blakey from inside with a part in his head. So the man said, watch out people is not boy. The man say, nah boy. We name Stanley? Yeah, what happened to Stanley? They had some dogs then. Double dog he didn't drink. Oh! So he must be start. <laughs> them dog and them start to bite. But we asked the question so did Melody ever win? Nah, I don't think so. Girl, look, 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 Steve, man, tell me. Hello. Hello, Mr. Good evening. What am you? That um, that the first Calypso played came out. I'm not sure, you know. That was what? Oh, because I'm oh. saying I probably was about Mama look eight to ten years of age. Mama look a boo So you're what um close to ten years? About ten years I, of age I was, so I'm eighty now, eighty one. So, so 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 that Mama was seventy, that's seventy years, years ago. Now? I mean. Yeah. Is that possibility? Mama look a boo boo. Right. Yeah, I mean, you all kiss with that. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I mean, if she's 81. Mama, look at Boo Boo, Stephen Weir. I see that one new energy where they said things that Trinidad and Tobago did first. Three things. Name one uh, that we did first. That something that we we did. Marco people business. Well, oh God. Well, <laughs> we're still doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Second, third, and fourth. Oh God, God. We run out of the 12 commandments. Right. Yeah. But that was up in the up. That was, yeah, but. Yeah, but one of what? what? What we did first? Name one. Don't, somebody don't Google nothing. Eh? All you call me because all you say I love Trinidad and some people say all you thinking and thinking. To the ones who don't sit down and say thinking and thinking, call. Call I now. Think, I, I, I think call. It, it, it have to do with the language. No, no, no. Well, no, 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 no. When they see what? when they when they go in that language thing and they hear how we were French, Spanish, and when the English came, that Creole was a certain we just, they say we used to speak pop good Spanish here, yeah, you know, so don't get it tested and you know. What I'm but um it's not that. Mm. Things that Trinidad yeah, and Tobago do. did first. Hello, good good afternoon. Good evening, sorry. There's no Tony, what's up, brother? We good. Yeah man. Yeah, I'm looking at um Lord Melody Boy from nineteen fifty four. To 1960. Let me let me give you a list of some of the shoes that he um he put out. Boy days, Diana come back, yellow fever, Mama look a boo boo, missing chicken. Hmm. That, man. That, that that that's an album we reading from there, boy. Yeah yeah, I'm looking at it here. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's, it's a whole it's a whole list of music that that brother put out. All right, brother. I'm a nice one. Blessings. <laughs> 54 to 60, alright? I'm watching all your... I'm watching all yeah, well, yeah, tell me right. something from that date first now. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming here in about... Within the next two weeks. Alright, then you go tell me. A man said he's just piping or no? What's just piping? Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> afternoon, fellas. Boy. This is my workout time, and you know. This is how me laughing. I can't work out. But uh, now you're selfish at work out. <laughs> All right, yeah. We did general commission and first black machine in the world. All right, stop this. Just stop. I'm glad you gave me one day. We want to let some people, other, other people eat. Thank you, man. Who's this, Tom? Nah. All right, sorry about that. Like you watching the same little TikTok I just watch, man. <laughs> General Penny comes young. The first black. First, mm -hmm. you miss Blackness Universe mm -hmm. and, of course, Caribbean first and all the first, first, first. And they, they make sure and put beauty and brains. So it was, she was no beauty alone. She was beauty and brains. Thank we have some first. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon. Let's get it. Let's get some first. The first TV was invented by Trinidad. First TV. Yeah, no doubt about that. I, I, all right. So, so yeah, yeah, you have the inventor name? Sylvia, Sylvania. Sylvania. Sylvia. GT Hunt. Sylvania. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was it Curtis Mattis? <laughs> why, why, why are you so bad? 
No, but that the first time I hear mm. that one. Wait, wait, no, wait. I, I heard it. Could, could be fast. What's me? I heard it, right? Mm. As a matter of fact, they had a video that was showing saying Sona. But the maths wasn't matching from the time of the 60s, 60s time I uh, to, to when. No, it had TV long before the 60s. Right now, boy. Yeah, you hear what I'm saying? Well, that but man, I'm not saying no, maybe colored. Maybe maybe the remote control. A man, a, a man went down the road <laughs> and he buy a, a red kite paper. Oh, and he come ah, <laughs> put it on the screen. So the first color TV. Oh, it should have had but <laughs> kite paper, you know. Let me not disrespect the man first. So we had General Penny's come Penny come see as one first. Uh, uh, a brother say we are the first to invent TV. TV. Color. Let, Color. Let let's continue. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> kite paper sell now here like that. Like, crazy. You're going to see men with blue Ooh. TV and <laughs> Hey! But what, what was really the first color TV though? Uh Curtis Mattis. Are you feel so? I know Curtis Mattis was was was, was on, on, on top of the game, but hello. Good evening. Yeah. Awesome program as always. Yeah, Thank you. So I read recently, did not know, um, Trinidad is credited with the first cell signal, something to that effect with, 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 with the big... Um, the first cellular signal in what, the region, the region, Caribbean the region? First cell signal? Well, well the, the first jail you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Caller, don't, don't take me on it. Eh? Yeah, yeah, we good. We good you know what I mean? It's just... Oh, that's good, yeah. that's... No, no, but oh, I, the, 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 I, I, I think the United States would, do, would have been the Trinidad coming no, to the... Um... No, because look, Jamaica had the first railway, boy. No, but one saying cell phone thing. That that, that thing come from Trinidad. Hold on, I'm take your word, my brother. You sound American. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, you okay. calling from America? Are you calling from America? Yes, yes, yes. I've been out there a little while, but I'm from Arima. Hey, Arima, Arima, Arima. Agua, we just say, no. You want my water, you know. All right, call out. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. Stanley. Man, say the first. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. One more. Um, so, Peter Minshew, he is listed as the inventor of the inflatable um, um, characters like. With the Tantan tan and Saga. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. We'll call them flow. All right. The flow. We'll the, on the flow. Uh, okay, okay. All right. We don't want men go. Thank you. We don't want too much about Google in there because Google might lie to someone. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. Good evening. We want some first. Good. Uh, yes, yeah, Tony. And listen, I heard, I think the guy was talking about a Trinidad woman who lived in Queens, New York. She was the first person who invented this. Um, what you was talking about, something to do with, it's not cable, it's... Cell phone? Cell phone? Yes. Cell phone something, something about it, to that. Okay. To that effect, yes. okay. Right. Oh, she was well, a Trinidadian. A living, outside. living, okay. Okay, okay thank you. We taking that because one oh, of we... we will take it, but, yeah, all right. but, cool. if, but you know, it, it, I, I, I really thought we'll be... Mm, all, all, at, all, all you know is only three first. I know real first. Give us I, I didn't know that Janelle Penny come as young first. Oh, give, give Limbo. I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted here. A flabbergasted, I don't know what they call it. The Lambo. The Lambo. Julia, I, I wish, well, Julia no, oh, what happened to we boy? We losing, we wear one. A man said RCA was the first color TV. RCA? Mm. Yeah. Well, we didn't, could afford them cheap thing. We, we had the Curtis Mattis. <laughs> <laughs> I thought what an M. Um, M? It was like a whole draw. It's TV, you can put clothes. No, no. <laughs> it's about gram in it. No Macintosh. No, um, it's, no, no it's a M boy. No, Macintosh was about, about stereo. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I can't believe that in on WAC Radio 90.1 FM, we cannot identify some of Trinidad and Tobago's first. Right, let, let, let me take some. Hold on. Good evening. Hello? Yes, good evening. Yes. The electric elevator, the ele elevator was invented by Alexander Miles, a black American. 
We asked for Trinidadians first. Trinidad and Tobago first. Like, what did we do first? Like, how we said Janelle Penny comes young, then we said Oi, the man, Limbo. The man called and we, he died the era. He no, went he to changed. School, he, he, he went to school he, in that he era. Oh, 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 he moved. All right, thank you. Eh? All right, thank but you. we were saying Trinidadians and right. Tobagonians. Somebody even gave us one who lived. The brother went to school in that era. Well, well, and you know that. No, he's Googling right now. Hello. Good, good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes, good evening. You hear me? Yes, yes I hear you. Yeah, the steel pan. Oh, God. Big man, we, watch me. We have to beg you know by us. Like, people don't even know by us. They don't even know. Thank you, man. Thank push you. 100, push 100 dash. Oh, gosh. Oh, you're, you're, you're getting greedy now. You're, you're, just now, you're getting greedy. You're getting, oh, hold on. You're, like, you're reading from the thing. Now, nah, pull him down. You get too greedy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm in my 60s. I know his. You know his. All right. All right. But you get greedy, they. They want the 100 meter dash. Big man, we lost our... All right, who's Michael Jackson then? Forget each other that. Where Michael Jackson born, when he dead, and our money leave, boy, because it's better to ask that. From Grenada, you hear from me? How much rent Bob Marley have? Better ask that, boy. 12. Oh, God! And, 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 and you're the man asking me now, 100? 100 what? <laughs> We <laughs> kid it. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Yes, hi. Hi. Good evening, Tony and Mr. Desmond. Hi, good evening. Oi, what's up? The, yeah, this is Diana Charles. Listen, Diana, what's the up? first, the first um team dance party with his award before before we had um America had um Top 40 Soul Train. Soul Train and uh -huh. yes, right. Well, look at that. Plus, Go remember ahead. his award. Yeah. His yes. award with his award and then we had scouting for talent before they had um American got talent and all, and all them kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. before he Casey Casey all them thing before that. Oh. Yeah. Ricky Tiki Tavi and all these two things. Wow. Well, look at that we got a new program. First. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. All right, sweetheart. Milton No. Yeah. In case you didn't know I mean, mm -hmm. but Oh, you're so wicked now, boy. You just be seeing this brother hugging him up. He gave two show. But, like, you didn't even know well what he, what he do. Who's that? Here's the Crawford. Oh, you say a first. That was a first. Even long before Jamaica was studying and beating everybody now. Donald Curry get whipped. You know? He got whipped. He and bars off. Mm. And you wouldn't even believe that race. Mm -hmm was later sent to space so when we meet up the people up there and i come in peace you, you know you're like hello, you know you laughing good evening serious thing and you laughing you know? hello good evening the name of the tv starting with them in motorola motorola tony yeah. and nobody that one no nah, well i i we was too poor for that <laughs> <laughs> of course we was too poor for that boy sylvania <laughs> But Motorola in now come? I I I, I, I never I, see a Motorola TV, you know? Neither me. Wow. And I, I, I think Motorola is his phone. Right. But phone walkie talkie. I will be corrected, eh? Because we never know. I, I, well, he must be living in his Because this, I know Sylvania, mm. the same Curtis Mattis. And that one with a M. Sylvania, it has sharp. Sharp. Uh, sharp yeah. Sylvania G. G, G, G E General, General Electric. General Electric. The Motorola thing me sure. And the Sylvania G T E Sylvania. Okay. We're going back to first, ladies and gentlemen. What are some of the first? And somebody said he's Josh Pipe here. We ain't going that route. Who's he? <laughs> now when the piping that started come, the piping. I ain't want to say that. The piping that come in. Uh. And they say we invent a special brandy bottle with a, ho with with a hole in it. No, I, I, I know. I, I'm, we are not taking claim for that. Ladies and gentlemen, we ain't taking claim for, for that. <laughs> but come that's, on, give me some first. So, what am I trying to add, boy? Good evening. A man said that man wrong like a ball. Uh, Magnum TV. Magnum, Ma it could Ma be. Magnum now Magnum come. Magnum now come. That now come. Oh. It was yes. like a... All right, nice man. Magnum now come. Hello, good yes. evening. There's no, here this now. There's no. Here this now. Um, Asphalt Road. 
we invented in Trinidad, maracas, and other rhythm instruments, right? Mara this is now around the world. Chuck, yeah, well, so well, well, right, yeah. Okay, right? good man. So, all right? Good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but they ain't no no first. What about the quattro? Where the quattro was invented? No, no, no. no. We, we, we can't take claim to that. We can't take claim. Limbo it. is we own. You see, limbo. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Desmond and Tootsie. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Miss Will. Miss Will, 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 Miss well, well she, she, she gave her, we'll take that. We'll take her first, but Janelle was the first black. Right. Yeah, hello. So, so that had already been done. Good, good black evening. Missing. I will give all your first and shut down the show for the evening. Go ahead now. Let me see you. Let me hear you. The first radio station in the universe, in the ether, to play local music. Ever, boy. Yeah, yeah. Music. And you walk in here. Ever. Ever. It's who? To all you're walking there and saying that. No, but, but it's not, it's not the first, though. Who's superior? Superior was the first. Total local. No, no, but, yeah. but it, um, it, it had other before. This came? Or, or in the same era, nah, or in, in the same era, too. But they, 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 they their one was local also, but they, they, they didn't. It was Montel Villa go down with they, didn't, they didn't win the fight. So we so, used to it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> he didn't really didn't shot. You see, the good thing that's man them here 35 years ago. <laughs> They're windy fight. Hello. Ian windy. Good evening. First million dollar selling record, Calypso. Yeah, was who? Cross Hello? Little Crosby? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but um I think um them that them, them fellas, what was his name by him? The Caleb, Roman Coca Cola. I think Melody and them were the Coca Cola. Were they call the sisters? No. The Roman Coca Cola? No. Nah. Hey. Hello, good, good, good evening. Yeah, M from Magnavox. Magnavox. Well, Magnavox was, nah. yeah, but, but Magnavox was old, them? yeah. Magnavox. Them, them, yeah. It was not Magnavox, like a Macmillan or some kind of. Something like that. Oh, little brother with Tony. Tony used to watch it in the neighbor house. The neighbor them used to put <laughs> in my aunt boy, my aunt house up yeah, on the hill. Yes, I thank you, Iris. Do you had the Tony only reaching by the door and he couldn't make out the side? No, no, she had a spot where now we could have sit down, we had to watch TV from a distance. <laughs> 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 Don't sit down on them chair. <laughs> hey, that used to be stupid, eh, boy? Big man. I, I watching TV from a distance and us. <laughs> anyway, yeah, now nah, my mother had a had a had a <laughs> no thing to call them. Toffee? I know a whole set of thing with all kind of doily plate. Oh, all right. A teacup, glass. Yeah, no yeah. Touchy thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when here she close, she has she daughter. Oh God, well, well, why free for a garage feel, sale? Feel, <laughs> a garage sale. Hello, good, good, good evening. Hello, good evening. Mm. I'm the store of the Oh, yeah, we yes, the first, right. we were the first. Yes, well, still yes, the, caller. Still the one and only. Good Tell nobody else. Good evening, guys. Hi. Oh, good evening. Yeah. Hi, hi. What's up, caller? Hold on one second. Hold on. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Hello, oh. the better's lady. Go ahead. Hello, yeah. Yeah. We were the first and, 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 and still the only place to make it. I haven't seen better's nowhere else. No, they are, but not not the same caliber of of bitters. A different thing altogether. All right, sir. Bless us. All right, what's up, caller? Good evening. First, hello. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I was saying to Mister uh, Mister Prescott that the TV is a magnum. Magnum. So, yeah. so magnum. They're from long time then. Yes. Sixties and seventies. That's the 80. next TV I know besides the... the, the Curtis uh, Mattis. Yes, it's the Magnum. Well, it's a Magnum, Magnum then. And, and, and it was also shaped something like how the Curtis Mattis was shaped with this big front, with this big speaker thing on the two Right. Sides. Yeah, but, look, okay. my, my boy, at least in his Magnum is what you're trying well, you to see, remember, yeah. At least I don't see the M. There's <laughs> one I see nothing. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> so I remember that because I have um, family, friends who had them them kind of TV. It used to look like a piece of furniture. Right yeah, yeah, it had to be a big shirt to have All a right, TV like cool, that. thank yes, you. Yes. The, the invention I, of... I saw color TV for the first time on a Magnum. Magnum yes, okay. yes, yes, sense. The invention of television created an industry that forever changed the world. Right, in Trinidad. By the 1953 
RCA devised a first complete electronic color TV uh-huh, system. Uh-huh, uh-huh, go ahead. The US. US federal... Holy said Trinidad. No, 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 no. That was the US. They're that part. No, no, send me this. And of course, you Google. You understand? So the take we thing. How will you take we thing, right? But a man say Trinidad invent the TV. Well, I've been there selling Trinidad. So we are first. Um, Miss Universe, Limbo, Steel Pan, Miss World. Well, that, that was we just taking them. Um, 100 meters, he's the Crawford. Um, the, what the lady just said here, the, the full, we had the first. Um, what is that? What do you call the thing? Um, from, from Angostura, Bitters. Bit- Bitters. Hello, good evening. So the other day when I tell only I have a background TV from since 1980, what I only give you so much fatigue, you see? Yeah, but it's, sorry, yeah, boy. Yeah, it's but, Desmond, boy. Uh, yeah, what, it's man? Desmond, boy. He didn't know. He didn't so, know what so, TV. So uh, let me ask him, let me see. <laughs> so where does hook up your video player on, on the Magnum? How oh, does that hook up? In a tube. <laughs> it has two places. It has, you can have you can have hook it up from the front. It has three, um, Holes? three adapters in the front. You can hook it up from the back, yes. Yeah. Yeah, a video. All right, yeah. so where does put the internet? Well, I don't have internet. I don't have um. <laughs> but hey, boy. So where does put? Uh, so, so so so. Well, go ahead. Hold on, hold on. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hook up internet on my TV. Mm-hmm. On which TV? The Magnum from 1942. Huh? Huh? The the Magnum. Yeah, I got the answer. Where you? Where you? Where you? Which part? Hey, Michael. Actually, if you, if you, if you have a device to from, hold, from eighty-one, I talking. You are using nothing, no um uh, interface, you know. Okay. I talking about you hooking it up on the TV. If you have a Magnum yeah. from nineteen oh oh, yeah, that can yeah. hook up internet, boy, you need to I'm go and get sell that, boy. You go get ten, a hundred thousand, boy. That's my little That's my little thing. Oh, boss man. When I get to hook up next week. I'm going to call, I'm going to on that same TV? <laughs> yep. Oh, so, so, just now, yes, sir. So that, I know, my brother, my brother, my brother. My brother. Right. But I would just like to ask a question on behalf of the people on the ground too now, <laughs> Now, yes. where does pay your boxers and thing, boy? Where does pay your boxers and thing? And the draw, and the draw, Good evening. <laughs> Michael had to be mad. Call back Michael. That. Which, which part? Where, 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 Horse. Where, back in them days. Horse. It didn't even have a Horse. headphone jacket Big or TV. man, they tell you, watching those TVs back in them TV from then mm. is blindness now. Imagine yeah. he go and hook up modern TV. Yeah, yeah. It's to a, that screen, boy. For, for we to see. With what? you, boy. I mean, nah, but he, he, he's gonna be like in the other way. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Yes, good evening. Yes. Yes. It's, it's um, Diana calling back. Yeah, Diana, what's uh, up? What, what, what about Red Fusion? Wasn't it the first Red Fusion? and Red Fusion. Red Fusion Radio. I remember my grandfather listening to that. Plus, okay. the Magna Box, really, that is the first television. I remember that because my stepfather used to work for Kelly Rentals okay. in San Fernando. Okay, I right. need to bring one well, to so, every house. Well, somebody yeah. had to call me and tell me that because I wasn't there. Yeah. yeah and and I think, re- yeah. thank uh, you. Cool. Was Ready Fusion a... Ready Fusion, right? Was, was, there, no? was it a, 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 a branding? Because yeah, I don't yeah, really yeah, Ready Fusion. Oh, the Ready Fusion was right on Caribbean Street. Right. No, that was but Michael... They have movies now where they start going to the cinema and they watch it through a glasses and thing. Right? That is how advanced the thing. The thing get the horse. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Michael, oh. it, it looks like if you're going to buy no. a special glasses like, no, wait, Mikey, like for the, what they call the thing that they're part in the eclipse. They he, had to take an eclipse glasses. And he's going to cable or nothing. <laughs> no, my boy. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey. We, Michael, we go and start a go for me. No, but mind you, it have if 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 it have a, a video in and an audio in, 
they have interfaces that you could put right we understand that, 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 that you could watch a video yes but, but not internet but the tv <laughs> it's cockroach coming out of the tv <laughs> you see a rat and all was living there for two years take this michael take this, take this. <laughs> michael we got to have more fun me boy i sure we could get a good 60 inch sharp or something up to the time horse boy you want to put cable on that boy? <laughs> Yes, the other day. Good evening. Hey, Michael, like, like he has something, but how are you going to turn that TV into <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but, hey. But, let me talk serious talk. Back in the days, it was only coax cable. Right, right. right? That was the only thing. Everything else was antenna. Right, right, right. We never used to ask. You use the coax cable with a RF uh, modular yes. where you can plug it onto the antenna and you plug in the coax into your VCR or right. beta max. Michael, ain't no way you can transfer. Hey, boss, that don't, don't tell the man that. that. Tell the man say next week you're going to call me. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'm taking that picture. Hey, only never see Michael yet, though. Big man. Michael, hey. go. And, hey. and that could be the first. And he all going with him. He all going with him. I show some big man in TSTT, yo. Did you sell see that? And cry for the youth now, boy. <laughs> Hello, good evening. The same way I have direct TV hooked up there, so it's the same way the cable will be hooked up come on the internet. How old is the TV, Michael? Michael, the fans want to know how I old. I have direct TV right no, now. No, no, how old is your television? I bought my... I bought my TV back in 1981. The same TV, right? And when when do you want the white break up? Your, your t- when you want the white break up, you take the TV and leave it here. <laughs> I know you want to put it, but I have the red TV hooked up right now. 81 in the big man. Was that a what? Hold on, hold 14 on. Inch? Hold on, eh, but yeah, 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 a part of them do write off Michael yet. Okay. We quite have men who take VHS videotape players and convert them to cable box. Yeah, well, we know that part. I even went Miami down in the, in the swap yeah, meet yeah, yeah. and pick up some boxes. Right. Well, look at hold my again. <laughs> I bring more than one, two. No, but ETRL a- men could, could, could do conversions and things. But I can't see the internet because. Right. Uh, come on. That's what the conversion is not the problem for me, you know. Right. Is the screen us? You ever see one of them old school TV screen man? When when they pass, they had all the hair. All the big man stand up. <laughs> how how we gonna watch Avatar on that boy? One color alone, man. <laughs> Leave my color alone. He just decided he, he wants the TV, which I find is is, is is right. Yeah. If I have something that working, why I should throw it away and just to go and buy something new? It's called being up to the time because I could have still be wearing a butter bullet from school now. But going out of style, boy. So if you get one to wear, you won't wear it now? Uh, do you won't believe that will be fashionable? No, I will style? wear it as a fashion statement that I know butter bullet. Just like if I get a travel so fox so, so or a spoiler. So then what are you saying then? That is wearing it on my foot. Yeah, but then what? Well, well, so, so I'm not going to watch say? no 1980 TV right now with cataract going around and... And man going down, boom, boom, boom. Are you won't believe? But it's them TV so beat we out. If, 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 if somebody really get one of that working where you could get... I ain't want to see it. YouTube and everything. Uh-huh. Like, I mean... Uh-huh. Big man, I have one of that, you know. Well, but it's not well. 80s, was late 90s, but... Hmm. It downstairs. And I have hole for Jack and front and back. That's a modernized TV. But the, and you know what I realized? When I was watching that TV, boy, yeah. That send my son us. My son wearing glasses as a teenager because the, the, the old TV beat him out. You ever see when they open that TV? Mm. In them old school days. 
is true. Remember you had a Kyla bar man and oh he had, boy, oh my. And he had to stay oh at two, three days. Sorry, Peters was at the best well, technician well, man ever. So you only had all them board and Everything. Taking a piece from this, putting in this, a, a thing and that, the volume control and working all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most used to happen, the most of them TV, the yoke used to blow. You know? Yes, the yoke. You yes. know what the yoke? Yeah, 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 man. That's the main, right, the that main play. Right, that's on the thing. The yeah. yoke used to damage and that kind of thing. You ever get shocked from inside that TV yet? It's what not do, a nice shock, you know? What do you need to go and get shocked? Well, let us show you. We pass that stage, horse. Sometimes the TV and thing, and you want to go in there and tap a board and then go so. <laughs> and a <it> jump. <laughs> Michael, there's more you talking about niceness. I will have that in a room where I have a arcade, right? So like you know, I'm in a in a man cave. Mm. Yeah, I go throw in a old Sylvania, a old beat out sharp, a old Curtis Mattis together with a Pac-Man, a Galaga. Um, you know them old. You know what I'm talking about video games? Right. Yeah, to show antiques, and it have money in that, right? It have money. Michael, let me see that TV by the way. Eh? I, if, I I want to talk too too fast, but. Send a picture of TV if I can make an offer on that, you know, because 81 to now is what? 80... <laughs> 44 years? <laughs> well, let me call him back. Yeah. I'm going to make an offer. Every time Michael put on that TV, it has chops. <laughs> 10 minutes for the TV to stop to get warm. Into the rhythms of the Caribbean with an unforgettable getaway. Join us for Kai Soka in Panama Memorial Weekend, May 24th to the 27th, Friday 24, with an unforgettable getaway. Package includes round trip from JFK, New York, Miami, or Trinidad, airport transfers, and hassle-free travel. Four days, three nights, accommodation in Panama, and the Tourist Day Alba Hotel and Suites. The highlight, Saturday night, jump out and dance the night away with the chosen one, or optional, a tour of the Panama Canal, or city tour. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity on Sunday. It's Last Lap featuring Posa and Prince Unique. Enjoy fantastic music and make memories to last a lifetime. Book now for only 899 US dollars per person, double occupancy. Limited availability. Reserve your spot today. Give us a call 646 399 0000. Kaisoka in Panama. Memorial Weekend. Expand your mind. Improve your personality, develop your skills in public speaking and hybrid leadership. To register, call Shiana Allen Productions at 764-5473. Classes begin in San Fernando, the 4th of May to the 27th of July, 10 sessions. You must be 17 years or older. Mind, personality, and skills development. It's you, knowing you, being you, give you a chance. Something good gonna happen in this year And I am grateful that I'm in On Saturday, May 11th, it's Eba Music Festival, the ultimate Mother's Day event. Napari Mogol Amphitheatre, San Fernando. Come, let's celebrate the divine feminine energy with Empress RJ. Collis Durante, Nisa. Stephanie Joseph, Naomi Sinek, Jaron Nose, Darren Shepard with NLCB Fonclair, and Farmer Nappy. Tickets are $250, available at Cache, Eastgates, Center City, Trin City, Port of Spain, and Gulf City. Java Nation at Food Hall, Piaco Plaza, Sion's Bar, San Fernando, and online at Island E Tickets. Napri Mabol Box Office, Friday 10th and Saturday 11th May from 10 a.m. Or call Pat at 770-1241. Showtime, 6.30 p.m. Gates open at 5 p.m. An exciting welcome party awaits you. Best dressed mom wins two airline tickets to Grenada. Eva Music Festival, Saturday May. 11th, Napri Mabol Amphitheatre, celebrating the divine feminine energy. Get ready to experience a celebration of music, passion, and community like never before. Fonclair presents the Fonclair Forever family. Napri Mabol, San Fernando, April 27th, 2024, 6 p.m. Showcasing the excited Gabrielite Steel Orchestra and Peville Panjama, Fonclair Juniors, Fusion Steel, and the one and only Fonclair. <laughs> 
best performers, the Frontlier Golden Steel and the San Fernando West Secondary. Get your tickets now at Frontlier Enterprises Lotto Center and Gift Shop. For more information, call 377-3185 or 610-8852. Frontlier presents the Frontlier Forever family. Bring out your mums for an evening she will remember. The WAP Fan Club of Central Florida kicks off the WAP Radio's 20th anniversary celebrations with a Mother's Day concert by Sister Bev. At the Marion Oaks Community Center, Ocala in Florida. Come and be inspired on the 12th of May from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. with soulful songs from Sister Beth. Admission is $30 in advance, $35 by the door. Refreshments will be served. For tickets, call Shortman 813-263-2127 or Dancer Boy 917-753. 3123. Just for you, moms, it's Sister Bev in concert. And the rock is higher than I. Just for you, moms, it's Sister Bev in concert. When the time comes to honor and celebrate the life of your loved one, you can trust in the dedicated and compassionate staff at Clark & Battery Limited. With over 100 years of experience, we can tailor every detail that reflects your loved one's unique story. Whether you're considering traditional funeral services, cremation, or pre-planning for the future, we offer a range of options to meet your needs and preferences. We're here to provide the support and guidance you deserve. Contact Clark & Battery Limited 652-3488 or 665-5266 or find us on Facebook and Instagram. We also do chapel rentals for all denominations for the funeral services or for the repast. I hear you know.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, all don't believe Michael said we are picked here the TV. Yes. With with, with video on uh, with um with cable on it and shoot. Right, but here what happened. We have in studio a man who has bought electronic equipment for over 50 years now. <laughs> he said I ain't looking like a 1981. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, if it's 1981, then you ought to be 60 something, right? And a man say hey, don't he's not 60 something. And hold on, and 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 in 81. You would not have get in video jack. The reason why it working look look the videos in and out there. Right. Them them TV from back in them days. Then them had them. Say two thousand and one now, Michael. Twenty four right. years. Them TV back in them days had rabbit rabbit ears. Rabbit, rabbit ears, ears, right? Yes. And and it's two two two, two screw in the back. Yes. Yes. Two yes. 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 The rabbit, rabbit ears and even when it was a cable pilferer. <laughs> You used to have to hook a wire. It was no jacking. No, no, Michael. The problem is when you're buying stolen articles, they don't <laughs> tell you the year. Look at the look at the writing. <laughs> so my my man calling the back or something. I just I just find two all the ungrateful. Same thing. Yeah, but we get rid of that. We get, we get, we get, we get, we get, we get, yeah, right. yeah, but then glasses could pick up after. <laughs> <laughs> but for a man to come and say 2024, that is what he has here. What are they oh, like God, boy, about, 300 for, for, for 40 inch. So, how much my guy got to pay for me to do a thing in the back? Yeah, you, I'll, we, go we, I'll, I'll go for me. I'll go for it. Michael Kenny here, you know, and <laughs> once you get a yes. <laughs> Michael, call us and let us know the boss is here. We'll do it together. Hello. Hello. <laughs> if you buy. Let's start it. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh. I listened to the conversation and I don't necessarily anybody ever call a put a banner to the name Toshiba. Yeah, yeah, we call yeah, but yeah, Toshiba, Toshiba man. We know about uh, Toshiba. We had a Toshiba when he used to drive that and thing. But Toshiba was not in the fifties. Why well, wasn't born in the fifties? Or 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 sixties? Yeah, well, well, to, to <laughs> Toshiba. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, but hear what? What what brand was around? Let me say the sixties from the sixties. Now we say Curtis Mattis was. No, Curtis Mattis was in the early seventies and thing. Go go go! Can thing. you say Phillips? La and la and uh, Magna Vox. That, that, that is what I'm saying. In 1980s, only rabbit ears, which is two for the antenna, and coax. There was right. no, no audio, yeah. video, yeah. Or, ah. or anything back then. Back because, then. because remember when we had ColecoVision and, and, and um, um, Atari? Right. You had to put the coax cable on, plug it that back into your, your thing, and then you could play. Right. Michael, like they say, when you buy stolen things, they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kenny. Right, right, Kenny, right. as you're here, you know, because it was a struggling energy with the people on the first of Trinidad and Tobago. Like, we, we, we could only think about criminal things. We get a few. We was asking what are some of the first, right? So I identified the limbo now, but no, it, it was latent thing. The steady steel pan, like people didn't even care, which was first. We are not, Janelle Penny come is young, first black woman. He's the Crawford. First in the hemisphere to win a hundred meters in Black front of Jamaica. Right, right. How are you, you know, as a man who know the energy to give me a first because a lot of us like we don't realize that we have done things first and things were done here first now. Okay. First well, what for saying? First music to sell a million is Calypso music. Somebody, somebody said that, um, but they didn't tell me who the album. Who, 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 who album was it? Um, we just died the other day. Um, Lion? No. Oh. The Bale, fa- yeah, um, um, Bella Fonte. Bella Fonte, yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody told us that. Hello, oh. good, good evening. All right. Good afternoon. Oi. Supposed to have that A1 fast train in the Caribbean. Fast who? Train? You remember we had a fast, fast train. We used to call it A1. And A1? A1, and that train was the slowest thing in the world. <laughs> 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 he said he was the first. <laughs> Let's slow it down. A1 has the fastest train. Going from where to where? I uh, will have to confirm that though. Yes, yes, yes. Go yeah, on. but where that train is a carrier? But I never, I never even see a train. <laughs> I see train when I come, like the train I, that gone. gone already, yeah. train? No, I, I never, never see, see a train. I see the one on the promenade. That is about I, it. <laughs> 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 By talking about a walking train. Nah, no, but Jamaica. Can you see like see train? Jamaica. Oh, nah, that totally different, Kenny. Yeah. We talking about transportation like they used to use back no, in them days. 
<laughs> Jamaica had the first setup of trains at, in the in, in not only Caribbean but even before America and thing now. I didn't realize Jamaica was so up top. So like all them old cotton slavers and them, they used to make sure that it proper to drive around the Jamaica. Now. I was, hey, what's that? You see you? That we need, that we need to change with partnership in on our evening. Then. <laughs> That's what I need to take two days off. Bring some sense. Yeah, boy. Then you want to go home too? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now, at least I'll go home after. <laughs> I go home after. <laughs> you're correct. I was, you're correct. Brian Lara. Mm -hmm. First batsman in the world. Let's go 500. Over score. four, four something. Four, four something yeah. Both yeah, both times. And look all the dog in the man. All they wouldn't give him a free beer when all they see it. <laughs> all the chin is different, yes? Like yeah, so and you know we are culture crazy, so we're gonna identify these first and so when we thinking you know, and we hearing people saying this and that, which is true also, we can also let you know here happening. Is the good, the bad, the happy and the sad here? Didn't we, didn't we invent music on truck? I ask him. I think so. Yeah. I feel so, you know, on a on a float situation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because all men used to be doing on float was woman and, and hand, you know. Mm -hmm. And right. And and how man yeah. one them used to right. Bass man on the road. Yes, yeah. you know that I feel. Hello, good yeah. evening. Yeah. Good evening. Yes, the same man who's man on the phone says, "What's that? The A1 frame. What well, you have to A1 and A2. They go as far as Arima. Mm. One used to go San Fernando. And the, what they seen in in, in, in San Fernando there is an engine. Oh. And you used to pull the carriages. Right. Right? Now the train knows that is, is that is that is that more than thing they still have we running all about in, in New York, you know? Okay, okay. But yeah, they, the, but the, 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 only say... thing, the only thing in New York is they, they, they were at more carriages. Oh. But the lady said it was speed, it reduced our speed. <laughs> well, they're young now. Yeah, speed. Right. When it coming through you had to look out, you couldn't hop that train. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. they see the, 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 the engine like you seen in San Rio, you could have hopped that you train. You could have that one. The last man, guy, hey, let me tell you something. Train is not an old thing, you know. They still have them kind of train running, um, going, um, what do you call it, um, truck and all kind of things. Yeah, yeah, well, we know about road. that kind of train, yeah, yeah. Right, we, we know about train, that. Train, 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 that is yeah. only, only they put on panels and they can make it look good. It's the same kind of engine. The same thing, okay, cool. Yeah. Bless and let me tell you, the, mm. first, the, 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 the first man, to come a prime minister in train the big old Dr. Eric William. Know that, eh? Let his friend know that. Uh, well, yeah, in, in China, that yes. the first. Uh, but not in the world. Then first, in China. Yes. All right, brother. I mean, All right, first. Well, and the course. first man to hold up a sign in a... In a, in a re... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, darkness. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I voted. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, get the man vexed. man it's, stop calling it's this man. The man you stop. know he wouldn't get vexed. <laughs> You know is when Desmond, you call him every night and then come and burn me out on radio the next day. Come now, man. I go and stop call, but. <laughs> hello. Good evening. Yeah, hello again, Mr. Desmond. Yeah. The train. They did have the train running from San Fernando to Port of Spain. I remember that as a little kid because I rode the train going to excursion from school. Okay. I used to go to Marbella School, Marbella School, right. elementary, and we had an excursion going to Port of Spain, and I rode that train. Nice. So we didn't have a train, and then later on, they used the train to pull cane on the line in, so, in so Marbella. So where you used to go and get the train? You know what? That I don't remember, because I think I was like 10 or 11. I don't remember that. Mm. But I remember right riding the train. Because, okay, cool. Yes, I was excited because we were going on a school excursion. All right, and great. we went, there were soldiers in Port of Spain. The ship had came in with the, the Marines and they. Right. And I remember this guy taking a picture out with me and he gave me a penny and I thought it was a lot of money back then. Ah, okay, man. So, cool. Yeah, that was a great experience. Anyway, guys, this is a nice show. I really Th enjoyed it. Thank, um, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We have our first here. We have our first coming up here. We have our first day. The first freed slaves, which would have been what? From, where? from the fort with the British. Right, so that would have been them yeah. Americans? Americans. 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 Yeah, free them. In what the Free Town Collective but in no, Belmont? They land in Port of Spain. In Port of Spain, Belmont. Stay there, so they send them Maruga. Oh. Okay. They had the companies 
the fifth, no. sixth. Their company, one, two, three, four, and, and five. The they gave them was in Maroda, and some of the land that couldn't plant. Oh. Oh, so they get, they get them that. All right, cool. How do go do the people? Final call. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Mm. Yes. We used, to, we used to go to Samoa. I live at Cuba, but mm. we used to go to Samoa when we were small. And we used to go down to Port of Spain for carnival mm. on the train from Samoa to Tong. So I rode oh, the Samoa, train. Uh, from Samoa to Port of Spain. All right. Yeah. And now all you walk to go Samoa, how you reach it up there? Will walk a mile and a half? No. Uh, nah, that's why we did not sky it. We used to take the car, car straight and go. All right, and good. Years and All right. From years Tony, now. where you feel the high? Well, from San Fernando to Port of Spain, where, 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 where will we be surpassed? You know? The San Fernando to Port of Spain? Yeah. Well, in my little timings, I, the old road from... McGill. No, I talking about from Kirep. And, and come where? And come all through the old road, past Shogunas, and come on that, on that road and come and Coover and all right, come to the, the back. They the, what, the Southern. That was the old, the old Southern name. Yeah, that's that's that, why that, I know. That name, yeah. Well, that's that the only thing it had. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, they were saying that the, the old. But you get on like if it had the next one. That's the only but one. But you ask like a third or something, you know? Me and me, I know that, where you are double catch. That's the only one in that. I don't know what's the last. Hello, good evening. No, la, 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 you know, we don't know last. We raccoonians. <laughs> we don't know last. <laughs> I surprised nobody said kind of so Tony. No, nah, well that was not No, 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 no. Whoop, 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 like this. Whoop, we had a mass break there, you know, because I was expecting <laughs> Calypso to be first. Exactly. But but, I but it did it, it, it wasn't mentioned. So I say I'd leave that up to Kenny. Remember when the TV used to start home at Calypso, steel ban and limbo. Right. Anyway. Yeah, well, Kenny and me go and wrap up now, right? So Kenny would answer that. Can he came 12 in, in Skinner Park in those days? <laughs> so, well, at least he still come. He come 12? Right, you didn't even make it to that and he had a free ticket and you couldn't get it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how you gonna do my boss that? Eh, yeah, Kenny? <laughs> yes, yeah. he had a free ticket and couldn't make it, so, so relax yourself. <laughs> Kenny, <laughs> yeah, it's Caleb, so we on. I don't send this send. I'll try it. 14. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean? Call so it's I'm just asking because on the same charts, I was expecting Lim Limbo. They put Limbo Fawcett invented here. They show me the whole drill. They show me the Julia Edwards connection. Blase, blase. And we go on to the world with that. We are the best and the greatest at it. They show us the steel pan. They say, hey, all you take that, that is all you own. So I waiting. I was waiting for Calypso now, boy. And then they show Penny come as young. I say, well, okay, come as young. Come in over the Calypso, no problem. Then I see Hazley. I see Hazley coming over the Calypso. I see no problem. I see Brian Lara. Right? So now I that I didn't say that, eh? So I'm saying I wonder if there may be something in the mortal the pestle. I see maybe guys like Kenny and some of the historians can tell us. Where Calypso gone? But you remember Calypso celebrated hundred years last year. Trinidad. Trinidad hundred. Okay. So the first recording was it wasn't last year. It was, resistance was not alive when they celebrated? Yeah. But that wasn't last year. That was first recording was the hundred years when they celebrated. Right. Yeah. 14. So mm. 20, 20, 14 would have been hundred years. Right. Right. And that was Lovey String Band. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And that was Mang Mango Vote or something. Mango the name Vert. of the Mango Vote. Mango Vote. Mango Vote. Okay. Mango Got right. right. a little class now. Mm. Oh, right. Show they, some they, class. They might spell V-E-R-O-T. That's verb. Well, all right. And then two years after that was first vocal recording. Ah. Okay. But they had men singing before that, you know. But, you know. So two to be determined, we'll continue with the first. Yeah. yeah. And we'll continue it along yeah. this month. We call it the first month. What you know, first, you know, like, yeah, what we have first, so some of them go in the oh, bag. Yeah, I'll continue it. on tomorrow and asking all some of them questions. That's it step for up. us at 6.59. Walk by faith. Never ever by sight. Be safe to the big extension of the whole wide world. We'll yeah. see you guys. Tomorrow. God's willing. Yeah. This product has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Experience the power of five. Experience five of the world's top antioxidants in one powerful nutritional product. Introducing to you Lviv from Ardis, the power of a drink in a bottle. Experience the power of mangosteen, noni, acai, berry, goji, and pomegranate. 
experience the power of five. Experience Leviv. With the regular use of Leviv, you would experience a decrease in the level of harmful free radicals, which cause aging. It helps maintain a normal cholesterol level, helps maintain a healthy blood pressure, helps fight virus and bacteria. It also keeps your skin and hair healthy, improves your vision, enhance your sex drive, improves digestion, increase your level of energy, controls your blood sugar level, improves your memory, protects your children's health, and allows you to have a better night's sleep. Experience the power of five. Experience Lviv. Information contained in these statements may be outdated, incomplete, or incorrect. Statements made about products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, mitigate, cure, or prevent any disease. Use of these statements does not create an expressed or implied physician-patient relationship. You are hereby advised to consult with a physician or other professional health care provider prior to making any decisions or undertaking any actions or not undertaking any actions related to any health care problem or issue you might have at any time now or in the future. You agree that neither Pastor Dr. John or any other party is or will be liable or otherwise responsible for any decision made or any action taken or any action not taken due to your use of any information presented. Make a choice, the money or your health. 
Well, I, I thank God for your testimony concerning this sugar blocker and um, may God continue blessing you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, Bye -bye. Pastor John. Thank you very much. Bye. Wow. What a testimony. Um, um, this is directed to, I'm sorry, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I, I just really want to Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516-286-7079 to place your order. You must call the number. Call me on WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is 516-286-7079. My straight number is 516 516- 286-7079. My office number, 516-286-7079. Call to place your order right now at 516-286-7079. God bless you. You ordered the sugar blocker. Yes. And your pressure was high? I know my pressure used to be high. Because, um... So, what I'm... did you get? You get the sugar blocker. And when you started to take the sugar blocker, how long have you been having fibroids? I've been having fibroids over five years. Wow. And it, yes, and it shrink a little bit and come back up. And it never go away. And and now that you're taking the sugar blocker, do you, you feel that you're getting better results? Yes, I feel this, I feel the changes in my stomach. You feel it, the, the changes in the stomach? Yes, and now my pants, I, I usually be a size 16 in pants, waist. Yes. And then, then I went to 18, up to 20. And now I'm back down to a, 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 a 18. Since I started taking your medication, wow. I dropped the pounds down to size 18. That, that's amazing. That's really amazing. That's a very pleasing and... Now, here's the, here's the challenge we have in selling these dietary supplements. Because I'm with this person and they will tell me it's too expensive. What you say to a person when they say it's too expensive, how you really answer that with your experience? I would say you are not expensive because, for one, BioLife. One, they said, when I first ordered from BioLife, they sent me a detoxer. I said, a one time thing. We have, to, we have to be careful calling other people's name, but go ahead. No, yes, and I used to pay $1,000 every three weeks. And that was breaking me. Right. When I when I stopped with them, um, they they didn't send me the detox detox after the first go, and I realized and I asked the, and I asked somebody who worked there. I said, "What what my diet should be?" They say you can eat anything, and I was like, "This is not true." So I quit the company, went to New Species. They was a little bit better. Their price was like. A hundred and fifty dollars more than what I paid with you, and I started with them. Their their stuff began to work, and they said, "Odessa, do not eat meat. Leave the meat, leave the starch, and the medication will work." I said, "Fine." I've been off of meat and starch for at least one year and six months, and if I and I taken their medication, the fiber wouldn't go away. Huh? So I said, this doesn't make any sense because I'm paying 600 and one of the medication was the Queen Nanny that they sell into a small bottle. And the Queen Nanny, it, it, it's like they give you a supply of 10 for $658. Um, every, it, it, it used to be like... Um, Every month the medication will last for, but the only, but, but the only medication that works with the, with the entire set was the Queen Nanny, and they only give you 
uh, 10 queen nanny for that price. But um, they, they give you 10 queen nanny, and that only lasted for two weeks. So every two weeks, I have to order 10 queen nanny, and I pay $300. That's half the price. That, that's half of the price of the entire medication. Wow. And I have to take it twice a day. So when I come to you, when this person recommend me to you, because uh, I didn't hear about you, and I went to Brooklyn last month, and, it, and I haven't seen this person in years. The person saw me and they said, oh, you're pregnant. And I said, no. I said, I have fibroids, and the fibroids swell. My stomach was like, it looks like I'm eight months. Wow. So they said, no, 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 no. They said, I know of this person who lives in Brooklyn. And they said, Pastor John, and I said, I have his information. The lady said to me, I used to take his medication. And, uh, and the lady said, the reason why I don't take his medication anymore is because I am, uh, she's a senior. She doesn't work anymore. So she said to me, if I had the money, I would continue to take Pastor John's medication. She said to me, I also tried BioLife and New Species medication. And she said it helps somewhat. But she said when I got to Pastor John medication, uh, she said I did numerous surgery for cancer. And it, the cancer just kept spreading. And she said, once I start Pastor John medication, the cancer is in remission. She said, the reason why my cancer is in remission, it does not spread. She said, because if I continue to take the medication, the cancer would have gone away. But she said, because I cannot afford it, that's the reason why I stopped taking it. So the cancer, just like how I stopped taking Pastor John medication, the cancer stopped right in the block right there. And she said, as much as I go to the doctor, the doctor said the cancer is not spreading anymore. Wow. And she said, I believe in Pastor John medication, and I'm going to give you his information. And that's how she gave me the information, and she said, try it. She said, I guarantee that it will work with you. And that's how come I called you, and I tried your medication. So I gave, so I called her back after three days taking your medication. I told her the results I'm getting, and she said, wow. That's in, that's really, really an, enough. I love to praise God, and I want you to continue praising God to know that. So, are you you happy with the sugar blocker? Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, yes, because of what? Papa, I give yes. you. Yes. And yes. will you, if somebody were to walk up to you now, without hesitation, will you hesitate to recommend them to the same thing? No, I'll tell them. I'll give them your information in terms they of calling. have a lot of women, eight out of ten women, suffering from fibroids. Mm -hmm. They need help and they don't know what to do. They're always doubting. I wonder if this is good because they try so many things and it didn't work. So sometimes they exactly have a lot of problems me. convincing them. What will you tell a person today who's on the edge? To, to try your medication because before I tried your medication, even though my friend gave me the information, I had the doubt that it wouldn't work. And I said to myself, take the doubt off, out of me because I do be, believe in God. I said, take the doubt away and try this and see if it works. I tried everything under the sun. Wow. Including the two other company and it doesn't work. Yeah, so we're not supposed to name companies and, and and because it's just legally you're not supposed to call a name but Yes. But, but I had to. Sure. I had to because okay. you know, I'm saying what benefit what what benefit I get from your medication. Yes. So yeah. at the end of the day, back I'm from Jamaica and I know you're from Jamaica. No, I'm from Trinidad. Oh, you're from Trinidad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you speak like a Jamaican. Yeah, man, because I've been in Jamaica so much time. Oh, God. All my church friends, everything, grew up in Jamaica Church in New York. Okay. I realized that also taking your medication, there's two things I could not do for the past six months. Was burp uh -huh. and, uh, and pass gas. Wow. And I realized that... From I start taking your medication, all of the above start happening. I live in the Bahamas and went to school there for 
uh, for 25, 30 years. Yes. And I country. And all of my friends in the Bahamas that I know, and also in church, they did like two, three surgeries for fibroids. Wow. They, the fibroids grow back. So uh, let me tell you now, Pastor John, once my fiber go down and I, it comes out, erase, finish with it, I will recommend the entire Bahamas. Wow. The order from you. Because I'm going over with a testimony. And I'm going to tell them no surgery, but only one person medication. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I want to thank and you. And you have an international crew that will order from you. Thank you. This is Woody Wait. I know you called me a few days ago. I was to call you back. I was traveling, I was so busy. But it was worth the way just listening. You just give me a reason why I should continue doing what I'm doing. Please do. So I want to thank you. And thank you very much for calling me and explaining to me in details your whole uh -huh. condition, how it was transformed when you start using the sugar blocker. And, uh -huh. and you are very happy with it. Thank you very much. May God continue blessing you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord as we continue to broadcast on this testimony. I totally against anyone from using. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516 Two eight six seven zero seven nine to place your order. You must call the number. Call me on WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is five one six two eight six seven zero seven nine. My straight number is five one six two eight six seven zero seven nine. My office number five one six two eight six seven zero seven nine. Call to place your order right now at 516-286-7079. God bless you. I was right at 11, and I went to the doctor on this past Wednesday. My A1 is a 6.0 and still going down. So I just want to let everybody know that these products are amazing and they do work. I was on the Daily 3 and I added in the sugar blocker. And I'll tell you, I'm just so thankful that I was introduced to these products. And thank you for allowing me to share. I want to ask you the same question I asked the young lady, um, Spence. To hear your response. When somebody said this is too expensive, these things we're selling is too expensive. Knowing your experience today, from your point of view now, how will you, what will you say to that person who says to you they're too expensive? How will you answer that? I would answer them, what price can you put on your health? Um, there's no, there's no um, expense too great to get your health back. And I, I know the, 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 the um, effects that I was having from the diabetes, I didn't feel good. And now I feel good. So you really can't put a price on your good health. So I'm, I'm just thankful that I was introduced to it. Couldn't really uh, afford it, but I had to learn how to let things go to get what I needed. So it's called making a sacrifice for the things that are going to help you uh -huh. in these products. How will you ask wow. the second question? That it's a fake. Knowing what you know now and your experience, how will you, what will you say to a person who say that these things are fake? They're just trying to sell and make money. What will you say to that person? I would say that, that is, that's not the truth. Uh, and because I, I started, I know where I was when I started. And I know where I am now from 11 to 6. The doctors are amazed. What, what in the world? She said, uh, can you believe it that you're down to a 6.0? I say, yes, I can because I know what I'm doing to get there. So you can't put a price on it. And you, do you still use the sugar blocker? Yes. Thank you very much. You're being very kind and may God continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you.
Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516-286-7079 to place your order. You must call the number. Call me on WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is 516-286-7079. My straight number is 516 516- 286-7079. My office number, 516-286-7079. Call to place your order right now at 516-286-7079. God bless you. Yes, uh, a few years ago, Minister Dale... She passed out, and uh, when they got to her, sugar was so high that she, when she came uh, back around, she had lost her eyesight completely. And uh, I think uh, Miss uh, uh, Jeffrey introduced her to the products of, of back last year at some point. I don't know her exact date, and she started drinking the. the she had got the, the daily three, and she started using it. And um, her eyesight started to come back, and they told her that she would never be able to see colors. So, but now she can see colors, and she can, you can see where she's going without much guidance. And her eyesight is just getting better all the time. I wish she was on to give that uh, testimony herself, but it's amazing. I'll tell you, these products do work. Did she, did she use the sugar blocker? She did at one point, yes, but she mainly was on the daily three, and it started coming back, and she did add the sugar blocker, yes. Okay, and how old, how old was she at the time, you know? Say that again, I'm sorry. How old was she at the time when it happened? Uh, I don't know, I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Listen to what this testimony. Yes. And I was saying to you, even I had a knee pain. Yes. And I, and I drink some of the details and oh my God, it's so much better. Wow. Wow. That's that's such a good testimony. Even, even in my, even in, in, when I get up in the morning, sometimes I was feeling so tired. Uh-huh. And I feel, since I started drinking it, I feel so much, much, much better. And what about your husband? Hola. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? Not too bad. Good. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. Have you been using the product for a little bit now? Yes, sir. Yes, and how are you doing with it with the um with these dietary supplements that I send you? Yes, I've been fine so far. Okay. Everything works is very good in process, and thank you so much. Well, you know, when you're speaking to me, right? Because you, you have the sugar blocker there also. A lot of times, before people buy, they just doubt it and tell me the price is too expensive. What do you say to that person? I will tell them, I will tell them that it's not about the money. Mm-hmm. It's about your health. Wow. And they have to just, you know... Go towards it and, and see because we try it and oh god it it's really a miracle because even my husband when before he started it he wasn't feeling this good but now every day it's a more improvement every day it's a better day with it, with the product. Wow, wow! And what is what is this diagnosis again? He has stage three. Lymphoma. lymphoma cancer. That stage three lymphoma, and every yes, day you can progress. And you have yes. pain. And you're feeling good about the pain, or the pain gone? You don't feel it no more? Yes, I have knee pain, and, and nothing like it. Sometimes I can't even walk, but it, it, it's a big improvement. So this should um, package. If somebody asks you for a recommendation, will you recommend it to someone? Yes, I will. Okay, thank you. I'll be, I'll be happy to. That's a very, very big testimony. We take these testimonies from people to, just to make me, because sometimes I feel like I'm getting old and I should retire, 
But listening to you this morning making me feel like pressing on and to help more. Yes, yes, it's really worth it's really worth it, Pastor Jan. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very Okay. Okay. Listen. All praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, my number is 516-286-7079. Just remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516-286-7079. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516-286-7079 to place your order. You must call the number. Call me on WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is 516-286-7079. My straight number is 516 516- 286-7079. My office number, 516-286-7079. Call to place your order right now at 516-286-7079. God bless you. You ordered the sugar blocker. Yes. And your pressure was high. Uh, no, my pressure used to be high before I ordered it. And how is your pressure today? It's doing a lot better. My pressure used to be all kind of 160-something, 170-something, 150-something. Now it's doing like in the 20s, 122, 120, 120-something. Very rare. Oh, but a couple of times I see it go up to 130-something. You know what happens, Sister Brooks? A lot of people, when you're talking to them, they tell you that the sugar blocker is too expensive and so forth. Now you have yeah, to be as what you say to people. But the, I, I tell them, I say, look, is it your health not more important? Which is more important? I say, my health is very important to me, so there's no price that is too much for me to pay for my health. I tell them that straight up. So will you have to hesitate if somebody, yeah, somebody wants help to recommend the sugar blocker to them? Sometimes they, they, some, they most, most of the time they're thinking that the price is too high, but I say no, prices cannot be too high where your health is concerned. That's my main thing. So you will always recommend it to anybody? Yes, I will. Whether they want to take it or not, I will, and I'll let them know what to do for me. Because I have told, before I ordered it from you, I know I was going to order it. I told my doctor, I said, when I come back to you, you're going to be taking me off of some of this medication. It's just that you, 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 one of the people. Another reason why sometimes I feel like retiring because it talks so much, and you have to convince some people so much. It's like you're almost going to. Don't retire. You're doing an awesome job, and I'm very proud of you. Don't retire, please. Please don't. Thank you very much. Please don't. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Again, statements made about products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, mitigate, care, or prevent any disease. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516-286-7079 to place your order. You must call the number. Call me on WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is 516-286-7079. My straight number is 516-286-7079. My office number, 516-286-7079. Call to place your order right now at 516 516- Two eight six seven zero seven nine. God bless you. You're saying to me, you lost how many pounds you lost? Sixteen pounds. And you, and you ordered, you ordered. How long ago you ordered this? You're using the product. 
I started, I did three weeks. I did three weeks out of it already, and I lost 16 pounds. And I cheated. I cheated every little now and then. <laughs> because you said no dairy products. And, and you know, when I eat my salad, I, I can't eat it without the cheese. So I put a little bit on there. So I still cheated, and I lost 16 pounds. So when I went to the doctor, he said I did very good. And he said, go ahead and lose the other 16 pounds. So I'll come down to 200. So let me ask you a question. Because I know you called me just, just suddenly I picked up your phone and I asked you. Now, people say it's expensive, but the results you get, do you think it's worth it? Well, the result I get is worth it for me right now. Because I got good result right now. So I'm happy with it. So... And you have to answer that question. How will you? What, can, what kind of answer or advice you will give? Well, if you need, if you want the result, you gotta pay for what you you gotta pay for your product. You gotta pay for it. Yes. I keep telling. So, could you imagine? For me personally, I had a big belly, and when I start to use this and repair my adaptive function. The fat gone, and it's not really now, and if you continue, it's not a stop now. Just continue. So you, so you think my belly is going to go? Yes, the belly is going to go. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516-286-7079. To place your order, you must call the number. Call me on WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is 516-286-7079. My straight number is 516-286-7079. My office number, 516-286-7079. Call to place your order right now at 516-286-7079. God bless you. This information about herbs, fruits, antioxidants, <coughs> and other products. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let me see if I could fix my microphone. Yes. So you heard me play the testimony. You was at peace, or oh, peace on earth, goodwill to all men, because the loud mouth man, a woman call and tells the husband call and says, "My wife in love with you." She, I said, "Really?" Yes, yeah, she says, "I like the madman." <laughs> Any time he come in the air, tell me when in the air. The man telling me, "Wife, he wife in love with me." <laughs> Trinidad ain't it easy. And she says, I love the mad boy. She said, anytime that mad boy come on, please call me. I like the way how he just get on bad. <laughs> he don't make joke. So yeah, all the people who objecting and they and and they um and and how I speak and I rough and everything, you had all the testimony on a serious note. And these testimonies was specifically for the last 30 minutes plus for you to get a hold of the importance of a sugar blocker. If somebody asked me today in Canada, how come you don't talk about the leave beef? How don't you don't talk about the what? I said, I got one mouth. I've been talking about the leave beef for the past, let's say, let's say, let's say 14 years. And what happened after 14 years? Everybody knows about it. So now I'm talking up about the sugar blocker only October. I need time to get the message. If I believe you get the message, I can move on to something else. And I'm speaking to you right now that too much added sugar is, can be one of the greatest threats to humanity. The destruction of man 
the destruction of humanity is when they start to bring sugar into existence. Notice that mankind didn't eat meat until after the flood of Noah. From then the lifespan started to shorten because the meat started to turn into sugar. The acidity contents in the mankind. So this is how bad it becomes. And here's how to curb your sweet, your, 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 your sweet, your, your sweet habit. The sweet appetite. You see, I come on the air to let you know to put the soda down. Put the sugar down. I want you to keep listening to me. Because I... <laughs> oh God, I don't want to take away no man's wife. <laughs> I don't... I ain't come here to haul nobody. To, so please, ladies, don't tell your husband you in love with me for the man to say he choke in the night. Please. But on a true sense, I am the only one who love you. I say it, but I have to say it. My number is 516. 286-7079. It has absolutely no nutritional benefit. It have no it's just pure energy, no protein, no essential fat, no vitamins, just minerals in it. It affects right. Sh listen to me good. Sugar damages system and causes you to have high blood pressure, chronic inflammation, weight gain. Oh, you get fat and you ever hear about baby Telma? Oh, you know, you guys too young to know about big fat baby Telma. You gotta be in the 60s to see baby Telma. Diabetes, fatty liver disease. Or oh, I don't know you say, wait a second, he making fun of fat people. I'm making fun of myself because I was a fat boy too. And I'm telling you, every single human being needs 32 grams of sugar. And it's sugar a day. That's what we need. The average person is consuming over 212 grams of sugar. Look at look, look, look what sugar does. I tell you, this world is mad. Something is wrong. That's why I'm the only one who really love you. That's why you should only have my number. That's what she tell her husband. She said, honey, I don't want nobody that much. I just want Dr. John number. I like him. I, no, she didn't even say I like him. She said, I love him. And the man called me and tell me, your wife in love with me. <laughs> I don't even know the people, please. I want to come to Trinidad and be safe. I holding nobody. No, listen to me good. You're eating your salad. The sugar in the salad dressing is what teeth in all the vitamins and minerals from the salad. Sugar is addictive. Sugar stimulates the release of dopamine. The feel-good chemical in the brain. As we consume sh sugar, our bodies create more dopamine receptors that lead us to crave, more f to crave for more sugar, resulting in a vicious cycle. By what well, sugar destroyed the immune system. If I had known about sugar, I would have never have cancer. Cancer feed on sugar. By, by, by the deficiency of the white blood cells for hours at a time after you eat after consumption of sugar, it compromises the immune system and hinders our ability to fight disease and infection. Besides empty calories, sugar robs you of your minerals. Look, could you imagine you live in Trinidad and Tobago? The place hot. You ever hear the song singing? Feeling hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Are you feeling hot, hot, hot? Are you feeling hot, hot, hot? Are you doing boop, boop, boop? Are you doing boop, boop, boop? And you have a deficiency of vitamin D. That's madness. I am telling you straight out, it's madness. Why? Let me tell you why. Sugar steals and causes the essential vitamins like vitamin A, B1, B2, B3, uh, B B7, B5, B6, B9, B12, B17. Vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K to be what? Leech from your body. That's why you're sick. When you find out, wait a second, how come you don't have no, these vitamins and minerals in your body? You're calling somebody, oh, I buy that thing and them thing don't work. All the people call me, I think there was a, 
Somebody was on this radio station call and say, oh, you're selling a lot of fake things. Not fake stuff. It's the too much sugar in the system that why it's not working. It's stealing everything. Sugar causes minerals like sodium and potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron, polyphenol, polysaccharides, niacin, fiber, copper, phosphorus to be leached from your body. It causes the the omega-3 6 and 9 and the amino acid to be leached from your body so like some of them are some of them boy in trinidad the teeth and win sugar is a teeth sugar is so bad it's unbelievable i am telling you right now that diabetes this sugar blocker power pack right now me help enhance the function of the pancreatic cell which produce insulin the microbiome sugar blocker power pack may help repair the pancreas cell and benefit in diabetes the sugar blocker power packs may help to speed up womb healing and it may protect the kidneys health that's why i cannot call you you have to call me at 516 Two eight six seven zero seven nine. Sugar is bad for you. Five one six two eight six seven zero seven nine. Kiss sugar goodbye. Five one six two eight six seven zero seven nine. The silent killer is sugar. Five one six two eight six seven zero seven nine. If you're addicted to sugar, five one six two eight six. 7079 to place your order for the sugar blocker power pack. I pause for a worthy cause to give God praise because I am a cancer survivor and I'm thanking God for healing me from cancer. I'm telling you right now. You see, the microbiome sugar blocker power pack is the most powerful combination of target pro probiotics and a unique blend of prebiotic fiber that feeds friendly bacteria the bacteria needs to restore in the system is the lactobacillus alphadolphalus the lactobacillus fermentum the lactobacillus Cassie, the lactobacillus plantain rum, the lactobacillus bulgarius, the lactobacillus ramesus, the bifidum bacterium longum, the bifidum bacterium infantis, the bifidum bacterium bifidum, and the bifidum bacterium lactis. So therefore, it may help improve the stamina. This is this is good. Listen to me, good. I am telling you, how come nobody does sing about it? We are Kaisonian and thing in Trinidad singing. Um, the tear are too old to soak. What the guy sing? Um, I like the guy. Boom, boom. I wish I could remember this song. I wish I did play it now. He sing it in the Mars Grass show. I'm so proud of Marcel Montano. He hit them in soca. He beat them in calypso. The bo the man is unbelievable. But nobody sing. Sugar blocker. Make me feel better. I feel better with sugar blocker. Yes, man. You hear about Rex West. You hear about East West. And now you're going to hear about Northwest. Or Rex North. That's it. Rex West. Rex East. And Rex North. The mighty sugar blocker. Because I'm here to tell somebody. That this sugar blocker. Is off the chain. And every single person need it. And here's why I want to take my time and let you know why and give you more reason. Because cancer feed on sugar. It loves sugar. It's in love with sugar. They have intimacy with each other. This is cancer. Excessive sugar intake has been linked to increase the risk of breast cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancer, and prostate cancer. Excessive sugar intake has been linked to increase the risk of leukemia, 
lung cancer, throat, skin, gynecological cancer, all different types of cancer. This cancer is a demon to, to humanity. It come to kill, steal, and to destroy. And the job of the sugar blocker power pack is to mop up free radicals, meaning to neutralize the electrical charge and prevent free radicals from taking electrons from other molecules. When the body has too much toxic burden from chemotherapy and radiation, the immune system is either compromised or destroyed. That's why you succumb to so much type of infection. Chemotherapy and radiation can cause cancer cells to mutate, but become resistant and difficult to destroy. An effective way to starve cancer is to start uh, an effective way to battle cancer is to starve the cancer from sugar it needs. That's how you do it. Any listen to me. Any kind of chronic sickness you have, you have to block sugar. That's why we have the sugar blocker. I'm telling you, it will help with diabetes. Regulate your A1C. It may protect against chemotherapy, radiation, and induced tumors. It may also use as a dietary supplement for chemotherapy and radiotherapy. It may protect and reduce the side effects such as fatigue, loss of appetite, ear loss, bone marrow suppression, and the risk of infection. I am telling you right now, this is off the chain. The sugar blocker power pack may help prevent prostate cancer, may help stop the growth of existing prostate cancer, and may help destroy all different types of cancer cells. The microbiome sugar blocker power pack may exert anti-tumors, anti-cancer effect, and is recommended as an adjuvant for conventional breast cancer therapy. It may protect and even repair the lower portion of your esophagus if you have acid reflux. When you finish eating, you feel a burning sensation and all you start singing. You start, you, 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 you start off slow. And you start, that's all the people with acid reflux. There's two songs they know. That's it. That's the road mad song they know. Fire brigade, water the road. Mama, Georgie coming down. Fire brigade, water the road. Mama, Georgie coming down. And then where's the next one? Fire, fire. And she wire, wire. Ay, yay, yay. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, yo, yo. Because you got burning sensation in your stomach. It is fire. Poor blood circulation can lead to all sorts of problems. That's why you need a sugar blocker power pack. Included venous disease. I am telling you right now, this sugar blocker power pack may help improve blood flow and keep your veins healthy. The sugar blocker power pack may improve heart health and protect you, protect you from diabetes and cardiovascular complications. This sugar blocker power pack will help with fibroids. If you're suffering from fibroids, I become your best friend. Ladies, this is the papa you was hoping to have. This is the old man that you were hoping to have as a big brother. I can help you. You got menstrual problems. If you can't get pregnant, one in seven couples. Packing in fluid every night trying to see them in the dark. Packing in fluid trying to get a spark but no baby. They can't get pregnant. They keep trying. That's why you have to call me at 516-286-7079. Sugar is bad for you. Call me and call me now. I am telling you, 516-286-7079. Kiss your sugar goodbye, 516-286-7079. The silent killer is sugar, 516-286-7079. Call and place your order right now for the Sugar Blocker Power Pack.
call me now because it may help with stomach upset, menopausal heart flashes, menstrual problems, hemorrhoids, conjunctivitis. It may help lower the high blood pressure and it may help stimulate the release, uh, help stimulate the immune system. It may help to ward off the flu, reduces chronic inflammation, reduces the risk of heart disease and lower the cholesterol. It may help treat the onset of diabetes tuberculosis, dizziness, blood vision, chronic cough, all kind of cough, old cough. You talk about all fours and four rows and old man, you got old cough. You got some people cough and they're coughing from, they had a cough since in the 60s. Don't let them cough on you until they get the sugar blocker, power pack. It may help with acne, muscular pain, dizziness, non-communicable disease, joint pain. Allergies, cramping and stroke. The sugar blocker power pack may help with panic attacks, bloating, heartburns, heart attack, H. pylori, loss of memory, fibromyalgia, insomnia, asthma, bronchitis, hair fever, headaches, psoriasis, hives and swelling. Call me at 516-286-7079. You could go ahead with a song. Georgie, Pogie, Pudnan Pie. Kiss the girl and make them cry. When the girls come out to play, Georgie, Pogie, run away. I'm telling you, I don't care what you sing. I don't care. The road make to walk and carnival day. I don't care if the road make to walk and carnival day. You need a sugar blocker. I don't care if you sing. The lizard went up to leg and it disappear. Everybody been searching everywhere. Where the lizard, we don't care. You need the sugar blocker, especially when they sing the song "Saltfish." Man is like the man to eat it. Saltfish. Man is cuff the man to eat it. When you finish eat your saltfish, you need the sugar blocker. I am telling you right now, every single human being need it. It does not matter. There was happy days. There was happy days. School days was happy, happy days. A regular, regular D. See your old man P.E.P. P. so fast that he make me laugh. Regular, regular D. Run down quick. Sister, run down quick. Let me behave myself. See just fibroids, fibroids. I am telling you right now. How come they make a song for, uh, for the, the sugar blocker that sugar is hurting people? Sugar is the bandit. You scared a bandit. The, the man sing this song. You have a bandit factory in, in Trinidad. And you have a sugar factory in Trinidad. Just pure sugar. Everybody likes sugar. Sweet baby. Sugar boom boom. Instead of honey boom boom. Go ahead with it. Kidney disease. Gastritis, colitis, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. All different types of disease. So I'm here to tell you right now. Why you take a man is suffering from erectile dysfunction? Sugar damage the nerves so the blood can't get back into the stuff. That's why woman don't like, woman don't like, woman don't like soft man, softy, softy. Chinese children calling me daddy. What goes around comes around. I'm telling you. Yes, hear me talking in this thing. I know some of you don't call me because you think I'm a comedian. I'm not serious. The last thing I'm going to tell you today before we go back to testimonies is that I am a cancer survivor. And I survived cancer. And I'm telling you right now, call me at 516-286-7079. Hold the line a minute, please.
and I've been tested every morning and it's thank God, thank you Jesus. Do you do you happen to have diabetes? Or yes or no? Yes, I do. Oh, you're a diabetic patient also, and you're taking yeah. the injection in the eyes. Now. Yeah. Now there's some. What's what, what's your name? Spence, the union lady, as you know okay, me. Okay, the union lady Spence. Yes, yes. Now I think I know who you are now. Yes. So the question is, when a lot of people here listen to listen to speak about dietary supplement. The first thing come to mind is it's too expensive. Knowing your experience that you no longer have to take injection, if somebody were to say to you that this is too expensive, how would you answer that question? I would answer it, do you like yourself or your health? Would you like to continue seeing or lose your eyesight? And which is more important, your, your health or going blind uh, that's that's a very interesting answer and the final question the people a lot of people ask well that stuff is fake we don't really believe it is fake you're only trying to sell me something knowing your experience with the product how will you answer that question if somebody asks you somebody asked me that question I have proof because I have a note from my doctor who said don't need the injection right now. And most of the time I say to them is that because I would like to live longer to see my kids and also my grandchildren when they come, I will prefer to spend that money on myself to make sure I continue with good health and get rid of diabetes if, so long as this program is working and it is working for me. Right. And I look that up and I cry many mornings when I can't see out of my eye. Right. So which one do you prefer? Make a choice, the money or your health? Well, I, I thank God for your testimony concerning the sugar blocker and um, may God continue blessing you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you Bye -bye. Pastor John. Thank you very much. Bye. Wow. What a um, um, this is directly to, I'm sorry, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I, I just really want to hear. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember, I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516-286-7079 to place your order. You must call the number. Call me on WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is 516-286-7079. My straight number is 516-286-7079. My office number, 516 286 Seven zero seven nine. Call to place your order right now at 516-286-7079. God bless you. You ordered the sugar blocker. Yes. And your pressure was high. sugar block and when you start to take the sugar blocker how long you been having fibroids i've been having fibroids over five years wow and yes and it shrink a little bit and come back up and it never go away and you now that you're taking the sugar blocker you, you feel that you're getting better results yes i feel this i feel the changes in my stomach you feel it the, the changes in the stomach Yes, and now my pants, I, I usually be a size 16 in pants, waist. Yes. And then, then I went to 18, up to 20. And now I'm back down to a, 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 a 18. Since I started taking your medication, I dropped the pounds down to size 18. That, that's amazing. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. I want to say thank you very much and God bless everyone.
Have a great day today and a better one tomorrow. Bye-bye. How can you experience the power of healthy living? Well, ask Dr. John, Certified Health and Wellness Coach. Dr. John will discuss health-related issues that many of us are plagued with. Tune in and be educated every Monday at 7.15 p.m. Hosted by Kenny Phillips. Ask Dr. John. Don't miss this important and informative program. The spirit of Trinidad and Tobago continues to resonate through the alias of WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC TV. While the rest of the world goes on, we stay rooted in the rich soil of our culture, celebrating the Trinbagonian spirit that dances in our hearts all year round. WAC Radio 90.1 FM is your constant companion, bringing you the essence of Trinidad and Tobago. Voice of Mr. Shack that you're hearing clearly. And you're listening to WAC FM and viewing WAC TV. You see, and just in case you went up, the Oma culture in Trinbago is WAC 90.1 FM and WAC TV. Tribute to Reno Bayer, a gifted singer, an entertainer, a panis, a Trinbago cultural export in the provinces of Canada and Orlando, Florida. Representing these twin islands with pride, come relive some memories of this stalwart. Hear his struggles, hear his triumphs, hear his history. Monday the 15th, 8 p.m. on WAC.TV and WAC 90.1 FM, where we honor our cultural icons and stalwarts. Don't miss it. When you want some fun, I bet you can get your hand to raise. That's why I'm a whip, whap. My, I done. All right, all right, all right. And we are here. Boom, boom. And we say good evening. And I have a special guest with me this evening. We'll be doing the needful and a tribute to Reno Baya. And before I bring any guests, we say good evening to Dr. John. I'm impressed that he, he ended on time, you know, he did well. He did very well. And to Desmond and Tony before, those two boys are very foolish. But so it goes. And let me bring in I'm gonna find you. Where are you? Nice. So let me say good evening, good evening, good evening. And Mr. Zillas Bayer, are you with us? Hi, Mr. Zillas Bayer, are you with me? Let me see I can make you Mr. Zillas Bayer, are you with me? I'm with you. I'm beautiful. I had to find you. I had to look for you and find you, you know. I know. <laughs> good looking. You're good looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I ain't going to tell you nothing. You're good looking. All right. All right. So, all ladies right. and gentlemen, this evening is all about Reno Bayer. Uh, 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 uncapped son of the soil who pushed this culture 
this Trinbegonian culture for years in provinces of Canada and Orlando. And many a time people do this cultural work and we are not really lauded by our peers, by our country, by our people. And I must congratulate Mr. Zillas Byers for this initiative to just wanting to 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 big up for for the, the lowest of terms to big up his brother, you know, in such a way. So Mr. Zillas Bayer, yeah, the floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is mine and I'll take it, I'll walk on it. Yeah, man. I'm, I, I'm really uh, touched that to have this opportunity to pay a tribute to Reno. And I've spoken to so many of his friends. I am certain they are listening now to get a touch of Reno, which they have not gotten for a long while. And I also think, um, Kenny, that this today, what what do you call uh, Mondays? Mix up Mondays. Mix up Mondays. I think this fitted just right yes. in to what was going on the the retro tunes and all of that. Yes. yes so yes. I, I will just like relax and see where we are going to do with this. I know his daughter, Reno, Rena, yes. R-E-N-A, yes. sent in uh, a tribute to him right. using the acronyms. And so we I can, don't we know if touch. that is yeah, something that. you would want to... That. Yeah, okay. you, you will do at some time. Yes, as soon as you say the word, I could do it. All right. <laughs> but to really... You, you should also have uh, a medley of old-time calypsos that that Reno did, and he named it Monia, M-O-N-I-A. Okay. If, if that is accessible to you, I think it would be such an, uh, a, an appropriate tune All right. to start with before I speak about him. Wow. You see, the songs came just as track one, track two, track three. Okay, with no names, but I have uh -huh. I have plenty of music and we will play that. But let's okay. let's start let's start okay. let's start somewhere. Okay, let's start somewhere nice. So, ladies yes. and gentlemen, the songs of Reno Bayer. There is a rose in Spanish Harlem. Spanish Harlem It is a special one It's never seen the sun It only comes up when the moon is on the run And all the stars are dreaming It's growing in the street Right up through the concrete But soft and sweet and laden With eyes as black as gold That looks down in my soul And starts a fire there And then I lose control I have to beg your pardon I'm going to pick that rose And watch her as she grows In my garden
resourceful, always finding solutions, whether it be for his and other people's life challenges or for something that broke down and needed fixing. E, exuberant, full of character and excitement in everything he did. What joie de vivre. N, nonchalant, easygoing and went with the breeze. He never worried about how things would work out trusting that it would work itself out. And often enough, it did. A special thanks to the people around him that made it work out. And noticeable. When he entered a room, you knew it. You felt it, and you'd be drawn to him. Oh, optimistic. Even in hard times, he usually maintained a happy and positive outlook in life. B, boundless. There were no limits to what he believed he could do. More often than not, he'd accomplish what he'd set out to do. Why? Young at heart. Never losing his playful nature, teasing his friends and family, and even cracking jokes with complete strangers. E, entertainer. Undeniably so. Even before he became a performer, he was a natural. With his stories, his delivery, and his expressions. He'd have you hanging off every word, captivating his audience's full attention. R, relationship. Though some might have been tested throughout his life, he built relationships everywhere he went. Everywhere. Of course, with his friends and family, but in his daily outings as well. The bank, gas station, grocery store, Everyone would greet him with a big Reno and a friendly handshake because everyone he encountered was worth that bit of time to get to know. Touching so many hearts, I feel I should add another R at the end of buyer. That R for me will represent remember. Remember who he was and remember what he contributed to my life. Remember his best attributes so that I can mirror them, remember his faults, so that I can improve them and do better for the next generation, and remember all the joyful memories we were blessed to have with him. Happiness. Then I wish you all the best It's your happiness that matters most of all But if he ever breaks your heart And the teardrops ever start I'll be there before the next teardrop 
I'll be there anytime You need me by your side To dry away any tears That he made you cry And if he ever leaves you blue Just remember I love you I'll be there before the next tea drop And it's 16 minutes past 8 o'clock, and it's a tribute to Reno Bayer. Si te quiere, te re vi dad, y te da felicidad. Te deseo lo más buenos a los dos. Pero si te hace llorar, ya a mí me vas a buscar. Estaré contigo cuando resistas I'll be there anytime You need me by your side To dry away any tears That he made you cry And if he ever leaves you blue Just remember I love you, I'll be there before the next tea drop. the streams of before the next teardrop falls this is where i bring in the indomitable enigmatic zealous buyer <laughs> i was wondering who else was on the program ah, no, i didn't know that right? was me Kenny. you didn't know i realized you just sit on listening and, and smiling so okay <laughs> mr zealous tell me about start from the beginning and tell yeah. me about reno yes. buyer Yes, I'm anxious to do that. Yes. My memory, and it's funny, uh, Kenny, that you call me Reno brother. Yeah. Because all through my life, I had to go through being called Reno brother. <laughs> I had to fight for my own identity <laughs> of zealous buyer. Right. But I was called Reno from uh, Antique. It mm. started with Antique. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, well, I I don't know if I have to explain an antique. It's that program we had on on, on radio, Sunday, yes, on on the air, and and it was a singing thing. Yes, Reno went on antique, and immediately captivated the audience. It was a competition. Reno came first. And I think the price was five or ten dollars, something like that. Reno went back the next week. Reno sang, and he won again. Collected the prize. Reno went back the third time, and Antique said to him, "Uh, uh, 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 uh. You can sing, but you have to sing as a guest artist. <laughs> no more money for you. Somebody else." has to win but the thing about reno is kenny that when reno accomplished something he gets fed up of it and he moves on to to something else and he just could not stay with one thing after he is satisfied with it after he conquered it he, uh, that's the word after he conquered it yeah i got you reno said 
you know what? This singing thing, I want to do something else. Reno decided to learn to dance limbo. Oh, wow. And look at how you were just talking a while ago on your the last program. They were talking about first things. Right. Reno came home, took out the broomstick, hold it across the room, tell me to hold one end, and Reno practiced doing the limbo. When Reno was satisfied that he was at a good level, Reno went and joined Gene Coggins mm. dance troupe. Again, I'm just calling names. I'm trusting that yeah, man. our listeners will know who who this is. Mm. So yes, Reno started being the limbo performer with the dance troupe playing in different places. Mm. But again, this is Reno. Reno this, this, before you go on me, this was at what age? Uh, well, that is it. I, I was trying to uh, to calculate that in my head. If Reno was um, doing that, I am four years younger than Reno. So if I was f at my age 14, maybe, Reno was 16. So he could have been 16, 17, 18, anywhere around there. But I tried my best to, to pin it down, but I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't get it. <laughs> so I'm saying Reno did the limbo with her. Anna's Reno doesn't have the patience to go ahead with it, keep, keep on one thing. He decided to do something else. But accidentally, he was coming down Charlotte Street where the, some Caucasian guys were doing fencing. Mm -hmm. So Reno stood up there and he looked at them and he was laughing at them. And the coach said to him, you're laughing. You think you could do this? He said, I don't know, but I could try. And they pull him in, they strap the apparatus on him, and Reno started to do fencing. The coach said to Reno, you are a real natural in this. Would you like to join the group? And Reno joined the fencing team. Over a matter of time, Reno became the number one fencer in Trinidad and Tobago. Number one. Hmm. And represented the country in the Commonwealth Games, which was held in Manitoba, um, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. So Reno is... The number one, well, I don't know over the years how that has changed, but Reno became the number one fencing. Who little black boy you expect to see fencing? <laughs> you know, but those are the things, some of the things Reno, Reno did. Reno went a bit further when he had uh, doing different things. Reno decided to be a barber. He wants to cut here. <laughs> He wants to be a barber. So when we all came home and said, Zillas, I'm going to learn to cut hair. Now, I try to slip out the room because I know it's my head, my poor little head. <laughs> Reno going to zug up. <laughs> so Reno went out there and learned and learned to be a, a to cut hair. And finally, he put up a sign in the neighborhood saying, Hair cuts 25 cents. <laughs> Reno started cutting the neighborhood people, kids, and so on. Hair cuts were 25 cents. So I felt good. I said, Well, no, I'm going to get payback. I'll, you know, I, he, he learned on my head. So when he collected on a Saturday, I said, Okay, Reno, where's mine? He says, 
you will get something. But when I learn to cut Indian people here. <laughs> so I had to sit down now. There was a, a, an Indian guy in the neighborhood named Chunko. Mm. Reno took Chunko, put Chunko to sit down and cut Chunko here until he mastered Indian people here. So now Reno was receiving the money mm -hmm. from both um, the blacks and the, and the Indian kids mm -hmm. in the area. And that is some of the things, and there are many other things that I will touch later on, mm -hmm. on, on this, that Reno accomplished. But that is, in a sense, who Reno is. Learn to do something, conquer it, do it at its best, then drop it for something else. So he dropped the singing and he dropped the fencing and no, and... no, the singing, no. That's it. It's years after mm. in 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 rally um, in Canada mm. that Reno took singing seriously. But his bit of singing, singing at the beginning was with Auntie K mm -hmm. and what Sunday Serenade and different little things. But he didn't stay with singing. He went into these little. Mm -hmm. Crazy things, if I call it. We're well, trying to One find, trying to find yourself, him. trying to find who he really was and where, where you want to do. You know, is that a trial kind of different things? Yeah, yeah. You know? so, so that certain, see, he did another thing that Reno did when he dropped the the barbering. Hmm. Reno, we used as a, was a very good shoot maker name. Kenny on Henry Street. Mm. We don't say, I tired giving Kenny my $5, you know. <laughs> you know, say, I want to learn to make shoes. Reno took a, one of Kenny's shirts, um, separate the parts, iron them out, press them out, make a pattern, and started uh, to put it back together. And then when Reno was satisfied that he could put a shirt together, Reno started making shirts for the, the, the public. And I can say this with confidence, Reno turned out to be the number one shirt maker in the community there in, well, we grew up at the corner of Queen and Duncan Street, near Nelson Street, all of that, that is what's our, our area. And everybody came there to make their shirt. You buy your material, they're custom made, and it's all. Reno ended up hiring five girls to stitch the parts together. But only Reno could have done the shirt color because Reno said the color is something. The color makes the shoot. And if you cannot put down a good color, you cannot make a shoot. But the point I'm making here is that Reno um, gave four or five girls a salary every week mm. from that and became the number one shoot maker in the community that we grew up in. So and let's that, let's let's take a song. Yeah. From Reno. I must be insane to go by Dr. Beckham's clinic again. I must be insane to go by Dr. Beckham's clinic again. I was suffering. From a certain team, we caused me to go by him. One injection, he said, that will bring you fit. Well, if you see how he's planning to give me it, he make me bend down and touch me too. Then he come around behind me so. His too big hand on my shoulder that I could feel. Which hand he's using to inject me? man 
How a fella does respect them big physician Especially when you're sick And you're hustling to get a remedy quick So I try hard not to be too rude Like if in his job I want to intrude I say, Dr. Beck, I beg you don't fret I never ever see a man with three hands Yet you make me bend down and touch me too Then you come wrong behind me so Your two big hands on my shoulder that I could feel Which hand you're using to inject me? So he did the boat, ballads, and the kaiso. And, yes. And, and at a pretty a pretty high level too. How, yes. when did he start back singing seriously after the antique and all the barbering and the tailoring and everything? <laughs> when when did he actually pick back up singing? And um, Reno picked back up singing when he. You see, after the, as an adult, Reno, I migrated to Canada in 1960, 67. Reno um, followed in 1968. Um, so that means 1940. So it means Reno was like 28 years old. And it's then, um, he started back into the singing, back into the singing. He, he organized a band called So Tropic um, with guys from Trinidad and so on. And Reno was sing, singing over the years ser more seriously when he perhaps was maybe 50s, 60s, until he, he passed in at the age of um, se at the age of 78. Reno was his, his, in his prime as a, a singer in the last 10 years of his um, of being in, in Canada. And as I say that, uh, one of the things that Reno did when he set his mind out to do something, this is the type of person he is. Um, plus, this art is the equivalent of Carnegie Hall. You know, not anybody could go and perform in Carnegie Hall. Right. It's the same thing in 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 Montreal with plus this art. Reno said. I am going to sing there if it's the last thing that I do. We know, um, went after it, prepared it, so on, went in, paid the money for the place because it's very expensive. But obviously, we had to show his talent or else they would not have rented him the place. Reno did a show at Place des Arts because that's what he put his mind to do. The thing about Reno is, and I don't know if they put it in the category of negative or positive, but it's the thing that make him succeed, this stick to mm -hmm. within him. Reno don't, did not think that other, like, he's a do-it-himself person. To get it right, he had to do it. So this show, one out of these big shows that he did, he did everything. He did every single thing. No, he sold the tickets. He every single thing him, himself, and he practiced and prepared for the show because he worked himself so hard at preparing for that show. When it was time for Reno to come on and perform. Reno developed laryngitis. Wow. And could not sing. Reno come out there and tried his best. The voice would not come out. But so he had to fill in with different people and so on and and still and make something happen. Perform, you know, but 
dad is saying and i think i i always ponder on that was that good for him or not that he didn't have that that trust that other people could do he could be a team player that others could mm, mm. Could do it too not yeah. just not just him having to do everything mm -hmm. one reno sold all the tickets all out of all the tickets one other person bought a ticket was a one of the guys in the band and he bought his ticket for his wife but reno alone sold all the tickets <laughs> no wonder he got laryngitis wow mm. Well, the phone lines have started. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we are. Good evening, caller. Well, a dial tone call. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 8.37. It's 8.37. The phone lines are open. You can call and speak to Mr. Zillas Bayer. In fact, Mr. Reno Brother. All right. <laughs> speak to him. Um... I am sure there are people out there who hearing this music would now say, oh, that fella. I see. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And all those cover songs that you see singing there is not... It's... Not that he felt he could do it better or anything, but those are the singers that he admired and the, the, the calypsos that he felt are the best calypsos in the land. So tell me, when did he pick up the steel pan? <laughs> All right, so that's going back now to, there was this band in Trinidad, Carnival time. The band was called Swan Stars. Mm. And Reno went, learn to be pan with them and end up being a band member for the carnival juve and all of that so and pan isn't this obviously he's not the best a pan pillar or anything like that but he learned enough to to do it and i don't know if you know of sala mm -hmm. The Salah's last name is now Dr. Dr. Salah Sala Wilson, Wilson yeah. I think. Right. He's, he, he is, uh, Salah taught him a lot of, uh, about the pan in Canada, yeah. Nice. Now the question is, right in context, what shall be next? We always thought progress is the number one calypso that, yeah. that, is, that is out there. And he paid respect to the singer. I wonder who remembers this tune. Yeah.
Somebody to call in and say who sang that song. That Who's time. the original? Yes. Who is the original singer of this snow cone song? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. The phone lines are open 652-4901 or 786-292-2789. Tell everybody to get in line. When I get myself, look up quite behind. I say to myself, he's an important man and he gets it more cold than Dr. Will. I say to give me one whole day up and down in the sun. If you see the crowd looking for press, the whole of the dog in a mess. Man sucking press, woman sucking press. If you see how they press, when they down the chest. Back and all over, they're going home. Man, oh man, and Charles Rockin, they smoke home. Back and all over, they're going home. Man, oh man, and Charles Rockin, they smoke home. Bring out a van with a new design. I know you're gonna laugh. This one is a car van. Everybody coming to get the glass. When he out of business and I doing well. I bring me old man and all to sell. And now I'm running this business on me own. They are like that selling so cool and the talk is Mr. Give me one. I say to give me one whole day up and down in this one. If you see the crowd waiting for press, the whole of the talk in a mess. Man sucking press. Woman talking press, if you see how the press went in down the chest, back and hollow, they go in home. Man, oh man, and child talking, they smoke home, back and hollow, they go in home. Man, oh man, and child talking, they smoke home. Well, I guess you gotta put us out, out, out of our misery. No, Ooh. no, no, I can't. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> I, know I, that's no I know that's no cone song, no, sucking the breath, press. You don't know that song, Kenny? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh gosh. No. I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you before we go into this song. Yes. The the music and the production. Is okay. that Reno himself as well? Um uh, no. Um and I'm glad you asked that. Um there is a gentleman, uh very talented gentleman. I am not a Trinidadian, he's Argentinian. Oh, wow. But you know the music is similar. Mm-hmm. And he is he just believes in our our musical mm-hmm. um talent and so on. And he plays all the instruments. That's a one man band mm-hmm. that you're listening to. Nice. His name is Ruben. Aaron Sibir hmm. and I know he's I for sure Ruben is listening and I was hoping Ruben would call in and say hi but yes he mixes he does the whole the whole thing everything 
and and that and that is what is amazing that when Reno is playing in parties and in dances and so on, mm-hmm. that music people were wondering, no, it has, it has to be a band that that is playing here. Mm-hmm. No, the mm-hmm. music and everything comes from Ruben Aaron CB. Right, we have a caller. We have a caller. Let's take this call. It's eight forty-six in the PM. Good evening, caller. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Um, that gentleman, they, um, when they used to live at the corner of Queen and Duncan Street. You are oh. so right. Correct. Uh huh. To the top floor. You are so right. Correct. Right. So right. Your father was a tall guy. Oh, tall. yeah, you, yeah, you, you don't make me cry now. That's my father you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> well, I used to live. I used to live lower down Duncan Street to the uh-huh. end where to the end of Duncan Street where there was a bar, Columbus Bar. Columbus Bar, yes. Mm-hmm. I used to live there in the planning there, born and grew there. Mm-hmm. Please tell me your it, name. Annette. Annette. It was it was two of us. It was Annette and Lena. And oh. well, it's, it's three of us in all. Kenny knows my sister. Uh huh. Ingrid, Ingrid Johnson, Kenny. Oh gosh, you mean Liverpool? Okay, okay. <laughs> right, I, I, I just watching the face and I watching the name. I see, but that guy used to live on Duncan, right on Duncan and Queen Street. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That, I that, used to live lower down, and I used to go to Eastern Girls. All right, I went Eastern Boys. So oh, you yeah. see. You see that? You know. So we. You know. So you. Annette. Errol Springer, and Errol, and um. The Springers, uh, yes. Gordons, the Gordons, and they. Yes. Errol Gordon and they. Francis, yes. Francis Pierre. Yes. Right. Well, is that yard I used to live. Oh, Born okay. and good. So Annette and Lena went. Annette, you went to Eastern Girls. Lena went to. I Lena, Lena and I. Right. Lena was my, my sister after the Ingrid is the last. Well, I know Ingrid didn't go to school, so it had to be. I don't <laughs> figure out what. Ingrid went to Ingrid went to <laughs> Roses. Saint Roses. That was okay. Yeah. We will take that. <laughs> you know when I don't know if you remember when Piccadilly EC school was on fire. Yes, yeah. of course. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I used to go to Piccadilly EC. When that okay. school was on fire, the, the principal was Mr. O'Reilly. And I left Queen and Duncan Street and I ran all the way to Belmont, some part mm-hmm. of Belmont, where the principal lived. And I told him the school is on fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he came back. Down, he got in his car with me and he came back down but but I alerted him that is a yeah. nice guy I was said a nice child that is <laughs> brought me up. What about your sister? Petra. Yeah, Petra. Oh uh, my sister my my brother passed in twenty eighteen and my sister passed in twenty nineteen. And oh, left okay. me alone to carry the burden. Well, it's not a burden. <laughs> to carry but the now I am. I was the, the last, so now I'm the only one still, okay. still mm. fighting it. And I, I promise them that I will join them when I am a hundred years old. Mm. Yes, you're quite right. Yes, yeah, so I'm representing. Nice. All right. So you have a blessed night, and I'm listening. Thank you so okay. much, darling. All right. Very good. Thank you. Love right. you. I may say you are meant to see the shores will always be home to me. Island in the sun.
We have, we have a caller. Good evening, caller. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, then. Good evening. That song like my cousin Johnny. Yes, yes, the last, yes. <laughs> oh, trying to hard to get into the show, man. <laughs> but you said everything already. I don't have much to say again. <laughs> That's it? Most I can tell the guy who running the show there, mm -hmm. I am the guy who is to come for the CDs to send up for Leroy McKee. Leroy always listen to what? Mm -hmm. But the, the story is not on Leroy today. Mm -hmm. Leroy just gave me this number because then pick up the number good. Mm -hmm. But Reno is my cousin and Zilla is my cousin. Zilla and I are the wrong with Finney. Okay. So and you... Reno is a fantastic guy. As far as I can remember. Right. And you can't Reno remember very nice far. Hearing. <laughs> The beautiful music that he put through. It's no. unbelievable. Yes, it sounds really good, actually. As the last said, from Auntie K, the whole family used to be around the radio waiting for Reno to sing. <laughs> but we was proud of him. He was Man. always a great guy. And may God bless him. May you rest in peace. But let his, let his music go on. And let the last carry it on because he made that promise. And I know he will keep it. Yep. Because I know the last. Okay, Johnny. And, and, and Johnny, let from, him, so, you, are, you are in from, Trinidad. From, from, from. So you are calling from Trinidad. Johnny, what part so, of Trinidad are you from? You're calling from. Um, you don't know me, you know. I come, I come there many times to get TVs to send away. Okay. All right. right. So Where are you? Where are you? In, you're in Belmont, right? You deserve it. And may God continue to bless you all for what you're all doing at work. Thank you so much. Jo Johnny, where, 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 are where are you right Johnny, now? Where are you right now? Johnny, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, Johnny. I'm really thankful for you in the show. <laughs> I sing along with some of the songs you were singing. I really enjoy it. Thank you so much. Johnny, where are you right now? Oh, Johnny. It is, um, right. He's in Belmont. All um, right. uh, Johnny, what's your address? 59 Norfolk Street, Belmont. Norfolk Street. All right. Nice, man. Thank you. Yeah, boy, I, boy, I, I, drive from, like I drive from Norfolk Street. <laughs> All right. Down to work. They send me to buy the CD. Right. I, I bought it. They, they, they cut the the um, TV for me. All right. All right, and, and, I, and I bring it down and turn it up with somebody, just uh, Leroy. Right. I'm sure you know Leroy Marquis. Mm, <laughs> probably. Leroy always listen to Mark, the what? All right. Leroy drove me from Manhattan to Reno's place in Canada. Mm. In 1984. Mm. That's a good pull. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, Johnny. Johnny. Thank okay. you so much, man. All right. Yeah, yeah man. Thanks for calling. All right. We have another caller. Good evening, caller. Good evening, Mr. De Mr. <laughs> Johnny is on the phone. I'm Leroy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Leroy. He don't want me. Right. Because him and I, like you said, I drove him to Montreal. Right. We we spent some time in Montreal <laughs> with <laughs> his cousin. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but he, he said, he said, he said, Leroy, like I, I know the face or something. I mean, no, the I, face you wouldn't know. You right. hear the name on the radio because I've heard I'm the always name. on the radio with right. Desmond. All right. Um, all those guys uh, on a daily basis. I usually call them to the station. So nice. they know my name is coming Leroy Upstate New York. Up, I know the Upstate New York. Yes, yes. Right, I've never, right. I've never seen the, I've never seen the face. No, you never see the face unless no. if you see me on, if you see me on on our WhatsApp. Other than oh, that, right. I'm just another old old bag. They call me. My wife is calling me an old goat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> a goat is the greatest of all time, man. Eh? So try and know. Well, every time I give, every time I give her something that's parable, she used to say, "Thanks, you old goat." <laughs> <laughs> right. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny is my brother-in-law. He's married to my sister. Okay. And that cousin he's talking about, I met him many times. We because he, at that time he lived in Montreal. Mm-hmm. Are when you Joy saying Brenda, past, Brenda is your sister? Yes. Oh, God bless her soul. That is the, oh, she's such a, a loving person. Oh, my gosh. Yes. To me, wow. all my family are paying the butt. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, they know they're hearing you, right? You know they're hearing you, right? She, okay. She's the, she's the middle she's the middle child out of seven. All right. Brenda's okay. the middle child of seven. But they live in North Park Street in, in uh, Belmont. I haven't been to Trinidad. Well, I haven't been to Trinidad in 36 years since my father's dad passed away. Wow. I haven't been back. Right, Because right. I, I used to come down home to see the old people, but now all the old people are gone. Right. So it's kind of mm-hmm. tough for me. Yeah. So I'm listening to the program. When I heard the name, I said, oh, my God, I know that guy. <laughs> I knew him up in Montreal. Right. That's where I met him in Montreal. I know the family. Thank you. Thank you so much. But when I hear Johnny call my name, I says, "Oh my God!" He just called me up. He just called me up. What's the number for work? I said, "I have the international number." (laughs) Then I said, "Wait a minute. Let me check my phone." And I said, "Look, the number is six five two four nine zero one." Right. Yeah. He called (laughs) it. Right. 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 Okay, Okay, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. So you all have a wonderful evening. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye bye. All right, Montreal. If other if Trinidad could call, so what's wrong with you in Montreal? Come on. Come Good evening, on caller. We have a caller. It's minutes to nine. Two minutes to nine. Good evening, caller. Good evening, caller. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm calling to speak to Zillas. This Zilla? is Agnes. Zillas is oh, Agnes. Agnes. Agnes, my darling, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Agnes, uh, Agnes is uh, one of three sisters that we grew up as brothers and brother and sisters from Queen Street also. So it's so good to hear your voice, Agnes. Hello? Agnes, go in and come in. Uh- Agnes, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Right. I find you dipping in and dipping out, Agnes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so tell Shirley I'm and Sandra fine. I'm waiting on their call. <laughs> yes, I would. All right. Tell them that. <laughs> okay. Okay, sweetheart. All right, Agnes. Remember the numbers to call are 6524901 and 7862922. Two seven eight nine. Some men are so silly, they does boast and say, I had him some whiskey, I nearly killed something yesterday. But if they only know that can be so, they put that thought on the shelf. The woman get more strong, and you breaking down, so you're only killing yourself. That's why I'm a whoops, whoops, man. Understand this is bomb shoot. What man? This is this is bomb shoot. Yeah, you know the bomb bomb shoot. But that is, of course, that is Duke. Right? Uh, you, yes. You it's the original that is, Duke. That's Duke, and Reno was known for people saw Duke. So Reno and Juke or Juke and Reno, which one? In terms of dressing, mm-hmm. because Reno, when it comes out, his shoes matches the pants, and the pants match the drawers, and you know <laughs> everything. Wow, ma- everything matching, and Reno was representing Duke mm. for that for looking nice. Ready. From the day she born. But a man have to get energy when he have a task to perform. You go ahead, my friend. You kill yourself with them. Pat your back and take all the praise. And then later on, 
When you want some fun, I bet you can't get your hand to raise. That's why I'm a whoop whoop man. I done. I'm a whoop whoop man. Next, Next one. one. <laughs> Any woman that I meet, I just guess she's short and sweet. Whoop, whoop, I go. I just get me pleasure, just like everyone, but I have a little measure, and after that, I done. I know some men who claim they does make their name by the length of time they could stay. But look, that's not true. Is what you do for the little time that you day. That's why I'm a whoops, whoops, man. I done. I'm a whoop, whoop, man. Next, Next one. one. Tune, man. <laughs> so. Remember, the phone lines are open at 652-4901 and 786-292-2789. Call in. Those of you who know Mr. Reno Bayer or Mr. In fact, Reno Brother. Anybody who, anybody who, know, anybody who know Reno Brother. And Kenny, isn't there, I think maybe it's. they think it's long distance or for them but they could call on the on the what you call it whatsapp oh, whatsapp yeah the whatsapp line is seven six six four nine two zero okay seven six six four nine two zero that that's why i think they're not calling we cheap you know we, <laughs> we, we're not the u.s but i think the um the seven eight six two nine two two seven eight nine is a um what do you call it? Magic Jack number, something like that. I don't think... Uh, they, I'm not sure. You know? We've had okay. it so long, I really don't even know if there is what kind of... Okay, so come know? on, guys. Just call, say hi, and say bye. Yeah, 766-4920 is the WhatsApp. The WhatsApp line is ready. This is one of Reno's original songs and very appropriate for now. We have a caller. It's 905. Good evening, caller. Good evening, caller. Good evening. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you slightly. You have to speak up. You're hearing me now? Yes, much better. Good, good. Phyllis, how are you? I'm fine. That's, that's, that's Joyce. 
Yes, it is. Okay, Joyce so Amora. I thought, I thought you wouldn't call. Come on. <laughs> Joyce worked hard and sent out the invitations yes, for this program. Or oh, maybe about a hundred <laughs> emails went out. Thanks, thanks for your good. hard work, Joyce. I found that you didn't mention one thing. Mm -hmm. You didn't say that Reno used to play the mouth organ. I was surprised mm. that you haven't said that. Uh, I forgot that. Yeah, 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 okay. There's so many things Reno played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that it isn't I'm funny. Sure yes, Reno. Sure uh, as a matter yeah. of fact, Reno, mm -hmm. before it was a mouth organ, Reno used to take a comb, a fine thick comb, and we put silver paper on it. That, uh, and when you blow into that silver paper from the cigarette box, Reno would play tunes on that. That was before mouth organ. Mm -hmm. oh, That's what it was. But again, Kenny and all these young people, they don't know anything about that, you know. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right, Joyce. Thank you very much, Joyce, for calling in. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night. Against oppression, hunger, and sin, mankind will learn how to love again. Everything will be restored to its natural state. So, in the meantime, brothers, try to endure for a bit. I'm going to call a 907. But I yeah. want to say something about that cool man, the cool man, the paper. Ah. Ask <laughs> if you remember the, the, the telephone with, with the milk cup and a string. <laughs> oh, yes, telephone. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's how we had it. That was our first set of telephones. Ah, the cup, the, the, can, the can of the string. <laughs> yes. So then, I and knew, you then I knew. Then I. Then I realized, no, we are all that age category. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I know that. Only old people remember that. <laughs> and, and, uh, no, young at heart. <laughs> young at heart. My, my, like my grandson tell me, I'm grandpa, you know, you're getting old boy. I say, boy, I'm not getting old boy. I old already. <laughs> you say, grandpa, behave yourself. Grandpa, behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for calling, okay, man. Guys, all right. That paper and thing, I remember that. I used to do that as a kid. That was a fun thing, but that was back in the 50s. Eh? Yeah, yeah. You couldn't yeah. afford motor then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Bye, guys. Yeah, man. Thanks for calling. We have another call. Good evening, caller. It's 909. Yes. Good evening. It's Reno. I would, I would like to get on the Reno. Um, you are on. I'm on? Yes, sir. Okay. You need to turn your radio down. Oh, you're coming okay. to down in the back, please. Okay. Skippy, that's you? Skippy. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, I, I'm so glad you, I'm so glad you called. Um, Kenny, and to everybody, Skippy is Montreal's number one song writer. Serious? Yes, uh -huh. Skippy. Skippy, you you wrote a, a, a few songs for Crazy, right? Yes. Tell uh -huh. me, tell us about that. Which songs was? I wrote the last one that he had was a, uh, a Christmas parang called Sweetbread. Uh huh. And I wrote for him also um, Pan in your Fuebn. Pan in your? Pan in your Fuebn. Pan in a person, uh huh. Yes. I know that one I well, wrote, yes. And also, um, I, I wrote for him a, a tribute to Winsford Divine. Okay, nice. Okay. I'm, and, sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I was going to say, um, then there's uh, a tune, be, um, Kenny said that the tunes are not number are not oh, yeah. named. They are numbered, so you wouldn't know which one it is. But I so wanted people to hear "Let's Stay Friends" because that is such a nice tune that you wrote. And I think uh, what's his name who sang it also yeah. in ballad. Yeah, I 
I recorded that um, Frankie uh, um, Ronnie Macintosh Ronnie Macintosh on, on his 10, 10 album performed two of my songs on his album okay yeah but the yeah, song I, that I hope we would pull up, be able to pull up, would be "Let's Stay Friends." Well, I'm, I'm I'm going through all. We must have about only five more that we haven't touched in the background. Uh, so we, I'm going through all. So I'm, so okay. I'm listening. Uh, I'm looking for it. You mm -hmm. know. So Skippy. Okay. Skippy. There, there, yes. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so much for calling, man. Yeah. Yes. Um. I was saying. And Ronnie McIntosh recorded that song mm -hmm. with another yeah. one called Sweetness on his 10 album. Okay. I'll, I'm going through. We're going to find it. All you right. know, Kenny, you know I sent you uh, just lately another group of about 11 songs. That was maybe the first, you, maybe that you was haven't set. filled that up. Because in all... You're supposed to have 27 songs. I have 27 songs. Okay, so you have them all. Uh, yeah. The first set that you sent were the ballads that was playing first. Right. Yeah. But the other set, the Calypso, just have track one, track two. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm just going through. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Skippy. That's Kip, Skippy, thanks a yeah. lot. But anyways, okay. I would make sure that... Okay, I'm saying that you have so many originals in the, the in the bag there of over the years that anyone you know who wants uh, something to a, a written calypso for them to perform they could always get in touch with you well I'm through me or through whatever way but because you have a lot of music just sitting down there and you are Montreal's number one mm -hmm. songwriter. Nice. So, all right, Skippy, send me some music, man. All right? Yeah, if you could find me some singers, yeah, man. I'll send you yeah. some music. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Somebody... That's, that's the exchange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll send you songs so I can know who to sell to. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. All right? Good, good. Okay. I will send you some yeah, demos. Skippy. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, man. And good job, Jealous. Good job. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, Thank man. Bye-bye. Somebody's trying to call me on your WhatsApp. And, and um, somebody is asking for the WhatsApp number again. 7664920. Somebody is trying to call, but I was on the next line. So you could call back, please. Let us go. Let us go. The, the WhatsApp or what is it? Eight six eight or what? Yes, eight six eight. Yes. Eight six eight. Yeah. 